I'm blaming Rebecca Reed. I was... I, I nearly, I nearly didn't make it. We're in the dressing room chatting away about Festival of Quilts and I'm going to make an appearance on the Amber Make stand at Festival of Quilts, what day we're doing it, what birthday projects we're doing. I went, what time is it? And it was like, three minutes to, and it's like, ah! So anyway, I'm here now. Uh, good morning. Not your fault, Michael, at all. It was Rebecca Reed's fault. Uh, uh, now, uh, early bird. That's you, Michael. That is you, early bird sting. There we go. Here's today's early bird. How are, how are you all this morning? Well, I hope, well, uh, I'm just going to turn Ben down a little bit. I know you're very, very loud. Uh, no, it's fine, I've turned you down. It's great. Now, these should be £19.99 pence on a good day. These Ulfa rotary cutter, this Ulfa rotary cutter. But you know what? Excuse me a moment. Oh, you can't see me, that's fine. Right, £19.99. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, I've got an itchy nose day. That means an argument, doesn't it? Or hay fever. Nine ninety nine, £10. Oh, half price. Half price. Loaded with... I don't know what that means. Oh, that must be the, that must be the blaze. Uh, anyway, nine ninety nine. Uh, Hayley West's watching. Now, Hayley West, it nor can I just tell you, normally takes her 40 minutes to get from one place to Carmarthen. Four hours 15 yesterday. I saw that on Facebook. Um... The other Jan says, good morning, from sunny Portland. Sue says, morning, John, from a foggy Manchester. Yeah, it was foggy when I drove in this morning. I couldn't figure out why. Paula says, good morning, love you, from uh, Deep Car. Claire says, morning, John and all. Jackie, Jackie, I've not seen you for ages. How are you, my love? Uh, these are 9 99 Now, I've just got something to say about my garden furniture. Oh, you know my stripe that's normally... You don't know this, right? On my monitor, there's a line going across the screen. It's normally a solid black line. Look, cat today, it's like yellow and black. Most probably even more broken. They said they've got a new one for me. Where is it? Where is it? Anyway, I put my garden furniture out yesterday because it was baking hot in my garden. I sat there and it was like too hot, too hot, too hot. Then I had to put my PE kit on because the personal trainer was coming around. And he was like, oh, look at your lovely garden furniture. And he, he stood outside. I was in the garage doing the exercises and he stood outside in the sunshine. And then at 20 to 5, he went, oh, it's gone a bit dark. And then suddenly this wind came from nowhere and was howling gale. And then whoosh, everything got drenched. And then he went, right? And it came, the sun came out again. Anyway, 9.99. That's why all of you, you have little faith. And there's Jackie, she's okay. Morning, did you get some cake on Sunday? Pauline, I did add the lemon drizzle cake. Thank you, it was delicious. Uh, the big bit of chocolate cake, that was, um, Vix took that. And Hannah, uh, Hannah had chocolate cake as well, I think. Uh, Paul, Auntie Pauline made us. Uh, seven and a half hour journey home, Hayley West says. Oh, well, if you will go partying at the weekend, what do you expect? I bet she had a shacket on, though, a Dave Bradford shacket. 9 99 The Bradford. It, uh, it was supposed to be called the Bradford, not Tallulah. Who on earth named it Tallulah? It's supposed to be the Bradford. Anyway, keep going through. There's lots of you there. £9.99. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you. Look. Look, 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 left-handed or right-handed. Uh, it's got the blade cover there. This is filthy, this one. Um, beautiful, isn't it? You don't need to change the blade because... I mean, yes, you need to change the blade, but you don't need to change it for left or right because you cut at the top there. At £9.99. Brilliant for your stash. Gorgeous. It's, it's by Alpha. By Alpha, you only get one, obviously. Really, really, really good make. Right? Uh, it's got an insurance blade in this as well. Right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to take this back. No, you don't have to change it for left and right. I just saw the picture on the back, left and right, and I was like, oh, I've got it wrong. Uh, shall we do uh, the menu? Here it is, the menu. Designer block launch. It's designer block today. Flying already on pre-order. Absolutely flying on pre-order. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Rebecca Reed. Uh, now, there's no mention of Amber Makes there, look. Sewing school. I'm not blaming you, Michael. I'm not bl Oh, don't worry, Michael. We had a vinyl pouch the other day, and it was spelt completely wrongly on absolutely everything. And I said to Charlie, you've spelt that wrong. And he said, even on the website, it had vinyl spelt wrongly. I mean, you know what? Back to the menu. Yeah, no, no, I went round and showed every, every single thing. Even the one where you go to the TV guide was spelt wrong as well. Vanilli, it said. Anyway, back to the menu. Uh, so there's a... Pa oh, have we got a picture of the patchwork tote bag, please? That's one of them. There's the blue one. There's the Shibori one. And then there's the Portuguese... Oh, isn't it lovely? 
Now, it's sewing school for beginners, but do you know what? I'd make that, and I'm not a beginner. I've been sewing for 40-odd years. I'd make that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I love she's made the handles look like they're leather, but they're actually fabric. Anyway, so that's that. That's, the, that's back to the menu. Then we've got Quilted Go projects for the whole of the 10 o'clock hour. Then Catherine Savage. Well, it's not Savage. Savage, but I like to say Savage. From Treasure Cave is here with some of the most gorgeous projects. Should we just show a couple of them? Yes, you have. They're all, we, we, we didn't we have this discussion? We've got them all on the WhatsApp, haven't we? Oh, okay, okay, don't worry then, don't worry. No, don't worry. Uh, Michael doesn't normally work here, it's not his fault, it's not his fault. Right, and then we've got sewing machines at 12 o'clock special. Deals on the 550, 560, 570, 680 and 782. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. That's, uh, oh, oh, are we using the new ones now? No, <laughs> that's not the one we're meant to be using. Studio at sciencestreet.com, studio at sciencestreet.com. Uh, the second one is Facebook Live. The, the old ones, should we use the old ones because the new ones, uh, the rest of them's not ready yet. Because That's not your fault, Michael. Not blaming Michael at all. Yeah, what happened was they sent the new ones down, we were using them, and then we got a message saying, don't, don't use them, don't use them, because nothing else is matching them yet, so we have to stay with the old ones. There's the Facebook Live. Let's have a look if I've got any more. Um, Becky says, morning, John. Love Becky in Suffolk. Pam Minihani says, good morning, lovely. Mari says, good morning. Looks like a good programme today. Blimey, programme. That's old, isn't it? And then, I look different in this light, don't I? Then uh, the third way is uh, by the website, www.sayingstreet.com. What you do is you go to the website. Go to the top right-hand corner, click on Watch the Show Live. There you'll see the white box on the right-hand side. You write your message in there, and they'll come on the bottom later. Scroll down the page. Now, in a minute, there will be two columns. The left-hand column will be things you've seen so far. The right-hand column is here. Uh, that's everything that's coming up over the next five hours. So we've got designer block launch and tools. Might not get to any of those because it depends how well the, um, how, you know, how busy it is with the um, quilt block. Loads of them, look. What we don't get to, we can, get, we can do in the 12 o'clock hour if we have to. Then we've got Amber Make School Shibori style. Uh, that's the five inch squares. There's the how to sew machine. Oh, now they're all come out in a different order. Because that, what's that quilt she go do in the middle of Amber Makes his hour? Uh, anyway, look, 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 look. There they all are. There's the new ones. $24.99. Oh, that's a cushion cover. No, that's last month. Where's this month, then? Anyway, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Keep going. Right. Uh, they're all there. They're all there. Yeah, everything's on there. Just make sure you click on the right thing. Uh, then we got our June Teller. Now this goes on forever. I'm not even going to mention this. There's so many. Qu you love quilts ago. Project for everybody. Uh, Margaret says good morning. Shirley says good morning. Uh, Dee says morning, John and team. Nice and wet here in Norfolk. Oh, no, it's nice here, I think. Well, it was dark when I drove in, so I don't know if it's nice here or not, actually. What was it like just now, Ben, when you popped out? Oh, just grey here. It's grey here. There, oh, look at these. Then look, we've got new things. We've got the embroidery stitches, but look, we've also got the, um, these, uh, they're stitch and sew thing. What, they've got stick and stitch. Stick and stitch, they're water, water soluble. They're brilliant. They're fantastic. We're going to show you how to do that. We even have in water on the set to show you how to do them. T two easels there, two mini easels there, and four mini easels there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And scissors and hoops. Then, of course, we've got the sewing machines. You will not be paying that money. You will not be paying that much. You will not be paying that much. Uh, on any of those, you're not going to be paying that much on any of those. And there we go. That's the day. That's the day. Right. Do you remember this? This is last year's uh, quilt winners. These are last year's quilt winners. Look, I'm going to put them in the shot. There you go. Beautiful. 12 winners from last year. From last year. And if you're thinking, what on earth are you talking about, John Scott? I don't know what you're talking about. I will show you. So what it is, is we sell this panel. I'll get it up for you here. We sell this panel here for $5.99. Right? 
And what you do, I'll put it down, because everything, all that you need to know is on the panel. They're lovely, those blues and creams, aren't they? So what you need to do is you use the fabrics on this panel. Now, you are allowed to add to it. You can embellish, you can put your own fabrics in as well, but as long as the main block is made of these fabrics, you can embellish, right? Um, use the fabrics on this panel designed to make your very own quilt block. The finished block needs to measure 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So it's 12 and a half, 12 and a half. Do not bind it, do not put a backing on it, do not do anything, you're just making the block. But it's got the one you send me has to measure 12 and a half by 12 and a half because that has the seam allowance of quarter of an inch in it so that when it's sewn into the block, it will be 12 by 12. So do not put any wadding on it, do not put any backing on it, do not bind it, just send me the block, right? Just send me the block. Now you've got eight strips here with different fabrics. Eight different strips there, using different prints. And you've also got a plain square of fabric to use in your block. It's a lovely oatmeal-y colour this year. The quilt block can feature any sewing technique, such as patchwork, applique, embroidery, or a combination of several. The design doesn't need to be original. Just make whatever you please is you. Now, the 12 that are chosen for, as the 12 winners, they will all get £100 worth of credit added to their Sewing Street account. So you'll have £100 to spend on whatever you want to from Sewing Street. Right, what you need to do though, is you need to label the back of your block with your name and a phone number, so we can contact you, right? Um, and then we can't send them back to you, obviously, uh, because what happens is, so let me explain. So the 12, we got hundreds last year, hundreds and hundreds last year. They, the, the, I have nothing to do with the choosing, but the, the people who chose it chose the 12 winners. They all got their £100 credit. All of the others all get divided up and get sent to people to make quilts for charity. So nothing's wasted. Nothing's wasted at all, right? You've got to have the block in by the week before my birthday, look, 14th of June. Block's got to be in by the 14th of June. Here's the address of where you send it to. This word here is meant to say unit, not untit. But you need to send it to there for it to get to us, right? Sewing Street, designer block, designer quilt block even. Gemporia, unit 2D, Eagle Road, Redditch, Worcestershire, b 98 hf So you don't know where we are now. But remember the security on the gate and the security on the door. So don't try bombarding, ram raiding or anything like that. So anyway, there you go. So this is your block, £5.99. Right, I, I'm going to show you that. And then I'll show you last year's winners. So to give you some little bit of uh, inspiration, right? Okay, lots of you there. Keep going through, keep going through. Now, obviously, we're gonna, we will carry on selling these until about the end of May. Till the end of May, because you've got to get them in by the 14th of June, haven't you? You know what I mean? Right, so let's just have a quick look at last year's. So, obviously, this one... I, now, I don't think I've got names on these. They've taken the names off them, right? So, we had the uh, Dresden plate here in that one. Then we've got that gorgeous one, EPP, that one. So that's EPP. That one there's your Dresden plate. That one's your cathedral windows. Then we've got uh, a plique. Then this is a plique making a whole um, scene. It's a bit like a Delphine scene, that one, isn't it? Then, oh, now rainy days a plique. Now, wasn't that a Helen Newton design? That's very much like a Helen Newton design, that one there. Then we've got that lovely plique dog. Then we've got the cute little vase of flowers with a bird and everything like that. Then we've got the sewing cup, which is also plique, done with lovely blanket stitch there. Then, look at this one. EPP, tiny, tiny, tiny hexes. Well, it, it's, I've got the feeling of a bargello, but it's kind of done all it with little squares, isn't it? Then, Mariner's Compass, not easy, not easy to do. And then this one, I remember this one, this one was Christine's, this one with the folded, um, the folded what's it technique. See, so you can, but you don't have to do any of these. You don't have to do any of these. You can do totally your own. You could do a Bargello. You could do a log cabin. You could do whatever you want. But the 12, the 12 winners, now they could be completely different. Oh, hang on, Jan was lucky enough to win last year. Mine was the cathedral window. So this is the other Jan here from Portland. That's hers there. 
If you can see yours here, let me know, let me know, because they when it, when we were at Festival Quilts, I'm sure I had names on the back, but there's no names on the back of these. No, 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 it's, no, no, no. It's where, uh, it's Portland where that big barge is, where they're putting all the, you know, the controversial. Uh, was Oh, and that's Jan, yeah. Uh, Viv says, morning, John, got my tea and my heater on as it's freezing. Oh, no. Dear me, it's not cold here at all today. Uh, we will be going over to the big desk any second to do the shop, yeah, after I've finished this. Beautiful. Oh, you can enter as many times as you like. As many, as many of these as you buy, you can enter as many. You can buy one for a friend and get them to enter if you want. You can buy, you can enter as many times as you like, but you'll have to buy a block for each entrance, obviously. Because even though you can add your fabric to it, you need to use this as your main fabric. Because you can see here, we have pinks and blues last year. Let me see if anybody's added anything. You see, the bird. There you go, the embroidery on that one. They've added embroidery on that one. Let me see. They've used all the faint same fabric. They've used a bit of backing there. No, well, it's not funny. Very little. Em there's embellishment, obviously, but there's very little other fabric there, isn't there? Dog's nose, yeah. There, oh, yeah, yeah. The black floral there and the plain black there. Say that again. I didn't understand it. Okay, no, who, who was it from? Jane in Suffolk. Yeah, she might as well show it, because I'll, I'll explain it, right? Jane's put, would love to be able to make some of the winning blocks from last year. Could you perhaps consider that this year? Right, what you do is, what the ones that don't win, right, the ones that don't win, you apply, and we send out nine or 12, whatever, for, to you to make a quilt. Now, we had way too many people apply for it last year. Crazy Lorraine got some last year, and she made a quilt for her charity. Do you know what I mean? So people do then get them, but, but obviously there's however many hundred we get, we can only share them out. Okay, we've had three winners messaging. Mine was the applique sewing cup. I was stunned when I saw it had been chosen from Kay in Norfolk. So this one here is Kay in Norfolk. Beautiful. Next message. Uh, I was lucky enough to win the Mariner's Compass. Oh, it was FPP. And yes, it was difficult from Sandra. Yes, Sandra. So this one's FPP. You see this one. And then another one. I'm surprised Christine hasn't messaged in. Uh, morning, lovely John and all the team. My design is the person walking the dog. Oh, my own design. Sorry, I thought it was a bit like Helen Newton one. But there you go. We're so proud, says Melanie in Nottinghamshire. And then, and then now, like I say, that's Christine's there. Beautiful, aren't they? Sharon says, morning, John. Got my panel. Going to give it a go again this year. I'll be watching the rest of the day on catch up. As I'm up off north visiting parents. Oh. So it says parents. Oh, I had another window messaging. Morning, John. I did the seaside one. Enjoyed doing it. I'm going to see uh, the end result at the quilt show and meeting you from Susan. Oh, Susan. There it is. It'll be on display at Festival Quilts. And I'll be there on the Thursday to unveil it. Because I'm doing the Thursday for Sewing uh, Street. And I'm appearing on Amber Makes' his stall on one of the other afternoons. So, so a lot of you who've messaged me going, oh, I can't go on the Thursday. I'll let you know what day I'm going to be on Amber Makes' his stall. Uh, keep going through, keep going through. Nearly a third of the stock of... Now, now, obviously, I can, we can make more of these. We can, can make more of these. But we have a big stock today. And nearly a third of the stock's gone when you've all checked out your baskets. Look. Blue, lovely. It's like Delft pottery, isn't it? Beautiful colourway. And I like the fact this is parchment here. Oh, windmill. See, Michael's just said he wants to see some windmills and clogs. Beautiful, aren't they? Uh, ignore what it says at the top here, because you don't get a square of white fabric, you get a square of oatmeal fabric this year. Teacups would be nice, yeah. But you, you have to, oh yeah, because you could uh, embellish or use other fabrics. Now, I've got some other blue fabrics here. Let me go on to those and I'll come back to the block before I move on. Here we go. Look, so we've got some um, fabrics that you might want to buy just half a meter of just to kind of add to your design. It's late.
It is grey. It's bluey grey. Slate. It's bluey grey, isn't it? It's what? Yeah. Oh, it's really grey on the website, apparently. Cat saying it's really grey. Three seventy nine, three pounds seventy nine for half a meter. Like you just add, you don't have to. But you just buy some of these to add to it if you wanted to. Oh yeah, the web image is completely wrong. Right, this one's ZJ06. Cloud. £3.79. Beautiful. Then we've got the other soft blue one here. Powder blue. So I didn't know it was going to be blue, and I've worn a blue shirt today. It's handy, isn't it? Good morning, John. Nice to see you, says Anne. Julie Vaughan says, morning, John and team. Marie says, morning, John, from Stocksbridge in Sheffield. Beautiful. £3.79 for half a metre. And then we've got a lovely cream, or is it ivory, or is it vanilla? Vanilla. Beautiful. Right, now I'm going to go back to the panel. Let me just move that winner's quilt there. So now make sure you check out. You've got till June the 14th, but I'd get mine now. Get mine, get it now, get it now, get it now, get it now. You can get it, you can have a look at it, you can decide what you're going to do with it. £5.99. Now, remember, it's got to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Remember, the 12 winners will win £100 added to their sewing street account for you to spend as, you, as, as and when you please. I know. And you can spend that £100 on anything you want on the sewing street website. Emily says, morning, John and everyone. Good morning, Emily. Right, so that's five ninety nine. Make sure you check out, check out, check out, check out. Right, okay. So now, uh, welcome to the John Scott shop, uh, the John Scott Emporium. Right. So, what am I going to start with then? Best press lavender and vanilla. I'll do it from the front because the upstairs isn't ready yet. Eleven ninety nine. Now you know what best press is. It's like a starch that doesn't leave any, uh, uh, it's brilliant if you're doing your quilt fabrics and uh, you uh, want to stabilize the fabric, you know, cut out some half square triangles, some bias seams and things like that. 11 99 smells lovely. This is the lavender and vanilla. That's not in focus, that one, is it? <laughs> Sorry, cat. There you go. Thank you. 11 99 Soil guard is like when you scotch guard something, you spray, spray it, so if, if you get a bit of dirt on it, you can just brush it off. Wrinkle releases, if, you, if, you've got, if you're ironing your shirts and they've been wrinkled in that wardrobe, like Fabulon, like you used to do Fabulon, it gets rid of the creases. Hayden says, hi, John and team, hope you're all good. We are, thank you. 11 99 do not spray it on your face. And do not, when you're smelling it, do not do this. Psh, psh, psh. Like that, because it's like starch. Yeah. I only say that because somebody did do that once on it. Yeah. Anyway, eleven ninety nine. No, no, not not even here. Eleven ninety nine. Right, yeah, moving on. Bond the web five meters. There you go, beautiful, lovely. Make sure you come in for this. Oh, especially if you're going to make your block of the month and doing an applique, or applique as a lot of them are saying these days. I'd say, I'd say applique was American, yeah, but um, Yvonne Makatambi says ap applique. And somebody who was on last week that kept saying ap ap applique, like an applique. And Charlie, he keeps saying applique as well. Who? Was it Stuart? 
That's it. That's it. That's it. 23.99. 23.99. Bond the web. You get five meters in there. Don't leave it on your windowsill. Uh, put it in a drawer in a cupboard somewhere in the dark. It's especially with the beautiful hot weather with the south-facing garden and everything. Better not do. 23.99. Well done. Wall pressing mat, square. 100% wool. Uh, brilliant for, for doing bond web, actually, because it's nice and firm. When you've been ironing on it, it absorbs the heat. So you get, when you're pressing, you get heat from the bottom and from the top. You can pin into it, and it's nice and firm if you're doing, like, Mandy Shaw transfers and things like that. Sally says, good morning, John and team. Yeah, you go, you go and look how much wool pressing mats are. We do? I don't know if we've got Mountain Mist in this size, have we? The Mountain Mist big one is £52, £52.99. That, now, that one's not 100% wool, the Mountain Mist. This is 100% wool, this one. Yeah. Beautiful, £19.99. pence. I've got a message from Stephen. Uh, very good morning, John. Loving the show and your shirt. Stephen, thank you very much indeed in Lincolnshire. Thank you. When I bought this one, I wasn't too uh, convinced by this one, but um, every time I wear it, I get lovely comments, yeah. Um, I'm just looking for the mini iron. There it is. Oh, no, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I've got a question from who? Jackie. Hi, can you put a piece of stabiliser on the back of a panel for the competition? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You put stabiliser on if you're going to embroider it. That's not a problem, but you mustn't... Put the wadding on and you mustn't quilt it and you mustn't finish it off. It needs to just be the bare block, as it were. Yeah, so if you, if we can't put it in the quilt if you've already finished it. And it can't be any, it has to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half because you need the seam lance to put it into the, into the block. Uh, Kat, have we got the mini iron open anywhere? Do you know what? Uh, producer Kat came in the other day and she said, it's disgusting in here, but... Uh, it is, but it's all hobby maker stuff. So I knocked over. Oh, I knocked over. Thank you. I knocked over a glass of water the other day. There were two glasses of water were left on that thing. I know, not ours. They weren't ours. So and then I've just looked under here for the iron, and there's a dirty mug. There's some something from Hunky Dory. That'd be Auntie Pauline. Um, there's all sorts under here. None of it's our mess at all. Anyway, right. Little iron, mini iron, by Quilted Bear. Now you do get, I'll show you the iron in a minute, but you do also get the um, case that goes with it. Oh, there you go. There's the case. I'll show you on the image. There you go. Uh, it is the black mini uh, travel iron. Uh, it's a black case, and you do get the little jug for the water, and you do get instructions as well. That's using the new what's it's again. Does that matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. $24.99. No, it might, it might, they might have done it while I haven't been here. I've not been in for a day. Oh, no, it's, it's a bank holiday. No, no, it, no, it is nicer. It's a, new, it's a new logo, but not everything has got it. Uh, you see, there you go. There you go. Sorry, I'm, I'm not being pernickety, Michael. I'm just... No. No, of course you don't. You, uh, Michael's a brilliant little director, so it's not his fault at all. Little? Why did I call him a little director? He's not a little director. He's not a big senior one yet. I've known him since he was this big when he was so timid, before he got married and got all the tattoos. Anyway, it's 24, oh, hang on, 24.99. I think it should be 29.99, this one. Anyway, let me show you around the iron. Let me show you around the iron. So this is where you put your water in, because yes, it's a steam iron. There's, that's where you put your water in. I think it was reduced for a manager special or something, and then it's never been put back up again. Uh, you can see the max where the water goes to. That's your steam on and off there. This is your temperature, right? Then the little red light comes on when you first plug in. When the red light goes off, it's ready to go. There's the bottom with your steam. 
Uh, now, it's got a lovely ergonomic handle here. Not too heavy. Now, they call it a travel iron, but most people have them on their workstation next to their sewing machine. So they can do, with their wool pressing mats, they can just press their sewing as they go along. It's got 1.9 metres of cable. 24.99. Now, we're not, I'm not going to show it, but you can buy the case on its own elsewhere. Now, it was £16, £16.99, but they've reduced it. They've reduced it recently. All right, we can still show it, because even if it's still £13.99. No, we'll just double check. We'll double check. £24.99. Well, we'll have a look for you now. But you get the case with it. You do get the case. Sorry, could you show the picture, Michael? Sorry, thank you. You do get the case with it and the little water jug. £16. It used to be £16.99. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, there you go. Okay, right. This is not a direct comparison. You can buy a case very like the one you get here on the Long River for fifteen ninety nine, right? No, hang on. No, hang on. Yeah, yeah, case. Why does it say case only there? Then it says UK version plug, right? So there's no iron. There's no iron. It's just the case. Case only, right? Case only, fifteen ninety nine which makes my iron nine pounds. Excuse me, excuse me. And you've seen this used every day. Everybody uses this one all the time, don't they? It's on the, on the set. In fact, this is a clean one. I wonder where the one's got, because Kim Su Oh, no, Del no, Delphine didn't get any uh, thing on it, did she? 24.99. Beautiful. $24.99. I'll put that one back on the shelf up there. Right, the designer block, you don't need, you can use, look, you can, somebody's just asked what, what colour you need on the background. You can put any colour you like on the background, but most people use this as their background. Where's my tape measure? Because the finished thing has to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Let's just make sure before I say that this is 12 and a half. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's 13 by 13, this. Yeah, right. So you can use that as your background if you want to. Or you can use a blue. You can use whatever colour you want as your background. It doesn't have to be on there. It could be, you could use this as your background and use this on the front. Make sure whatever you like. As long as you don't, uh, don't quilt it, don't put wadding behind it and don't finish it off. And it needs to be, tw okay, be careful now. Be careful now. I'm, I, I'm not going to say it's going to sell out because we can print more. But it's very, very, very popular already today. Five nights out. Well, no, because internet it's Tuesday. It's the day off, isn't it? Long weekend. Blimey. If you worked in the office here, so you don't work Thursdays. They had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. Six days off. That's nice, isn't it? I know. Some of us have been here working our socks off. Oh, you're going to do a Dresden. You'll be able to get a Dresden one last year, didn't it? Oh, I don't know. Do you remember the year before? Oh. Four, four of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Beautiful. What called Kieran? That doesn't work. Anyway. Next one, Dresden plate. Oh, that's why he was saying he wanted to see a Dresden plate. He didn't tell me he was working toward, this one's too big though for your stripes, I think. Dresden plate ruler, 29.99. No, you see, look, that's, that, unless you did baby Dresden plate, you could do a four inch Dresden plate. What, that way? You could. You might not have... No, you could. You'd have to match. No, no, it wouldn't, because you, you, you'd only get one, two, three, four. Then your pattern would change, wouldn't it, you see? But a good try. Good try, Ben. 29.99. All right, Michael. You do. You know lots. Just nothing to do with sewing, that's all. 
So where's Ollie today then? He has a lot of holidays. You get more holiday if you're a manager. 29.99. Now, Claire, isn't it funny? Uh, Rebecca Reed and I were just saying that. Each year, they've given us one of those blocks. Those, not blocks, one of those um, panels to make a block. So I've made one. Rebecca Reed made a few last year, didn't she? Um, no, they didn't give us one this year. They didn't give us one this year. So no, I'm not going to. Well, I imagine, because it's only just arrived, has it? They don't know. Oh, hang on. Uh, if Haley's watches you go mad, hang on. Let me just read that shit. Shipology quarters mini ruler. So you know when they go, you need to cut a square out or with a quarter an inch or uh, and everything like that. And most of the rulers don't have the measurement on. Well, this does. This does. Uh, what day was it launched? Because Susie Duncan did a um, demonstration on it. Oh, 30th of December. We're not allowed to reduce the price of um, Creative Grids. I don't know why there was one yesterday in the sale. <gasps> ben, you really will get told off for that. No, no, it's not management here. It's if Rachel, the ruler here, she'll go mad. Okay, I, this is quite, this is honest truth now. He's not supposed to do that. Right? Okay, on the 14th of March, we had a special day when we were allowed to do this, right? But... So he should not, I know, I knew, I know because I know the rules with creative grids. What, I'll tell you what happens with creative grids. I'm going to be totally honest with you now, like I always am, right? So creative grids, we're not allowed to reduce creative grid rulers, right? Unless creative grids have done a deal on it and sold them to us for less and then said, you can, ch you can sell these for less, right? So it's when the creative grids have done a deal, because we, 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 we like to pass it on to you, but we're not allowed to reduce creative grids. Yeah, it'll have been a manager special or it'll have been a special, yeah, yeah. 44 99 is completely the wrong price. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 44 99 Loads in baskets. And, and I mean, by all means, take advantage of it. Ben will get told off, but he gets told off every week, so he's used to it now. I wouldn't call it a rebel. I'd call it a, like, um, no, I don't know what, let me think of the word. It'll come to me. Anyway, 44.99. No, that's Michael, isn't it? That's what he was just saying. Anyway, uh, please, please buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it. Because it's not meant to be that price and it won't be that price next time. Uh, Stripology quarter rule is fabulous for small cuts and squaring off. Oh, there's Susie. That's Susie who dem demonstrated it, right? Susie, look what he's done. I know. Susie didn't have it at that price when she launched it on, on the 30th of December. Sharon says good morning. Oh, now Susie's watching on here now as well. Well, she'll come on and buy one, I imagine, at that price because she wouldn't be able to get it at that price. You don't, you don't sound like you care very much that he's reduced the price to a ridiculous price that he shouldn't have done. Yeah, he's got nine days off now. Might not come back after the nine days, might he? <gasps> How lovely. Anyway, 44.99, keep going through. Hello, June. Ben is a liability. Yes, that could be the word, Susie. Susie Duncan. 
I can't believe he's done it. I did warn him, didn't I? You heard me say, don't do it. Now he's realised he shouldn't. This isn't a shopping telly prank. This isn't a shopping telly whatever. It's not April the 1st. Did you have to do a prank? I always refuse to do it on... Oh. And did everyone switch off? I refuse to do them. Uh, so busy watching, I forgot to say good morning, says June. Oh, June. How are you, my lovely? You're going for a walk on the beach later. Uh, Susie says she loves to apology rulers. We know that, Susie. Loads in baskets. She needs to check out, check out, check out, check out. Yeah, Ben's treat for the day. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Hayley makes him pay all of the extra nine, does it take nine pounds off or something? I can't remember how much it was meant to be. Nine pounds. So that's 900 pounds so far, Ben knows. You don't get paid that much? What, for a day? <laughs> I was going to say, I'll become a producer and press some buttons. Yeah, I know. 44.99. Yeah, it's time to move on anyway, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to move on. Check out, check out, check out on that. You're shell-shocked. Wait till Rachel the Ruler gets on the telephone. Then you'll, be, you'll get a tongue-whipping from Rachel the Ruler. What are we going to do? Oh, yes, that's that one. Hannah loves this one. $16.99. I love my quilting friends. Oh, Michael hasn't got any friends. $16.99. Oh, I'm not very Ben's friend anymore. Oh, it didn't hear me. I only heard the other names. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, sixteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Okay, a member of the early bird. We had uh, a, a rotary cutter. Got some blades here. Oh, mess you about the ruler. Morning, John. This is such a useful little ruler. It's worth every penny from Carolyn Cambridge. That, that, the, the red, I think you mean the little red one, do you? The little red one, yeah. It's beautiful. Right, rotary blades. Three of them in here. Eight ninety nine for three. For three. For three. We had the two the other day with, um, can't remember her name, Kim Suleiman, for way more than that. And you get three in there for £8.99. Three pounds a blade, yeah. Uh, that's ridiculous. Get these, get these, because you always need your spare blades. They're so easy. I love this. Warning, blade has razor sharp edges. Well, you'd soon complain if it didn't, wouldn't you? Anyway, £8.99. Oh, you're looking great. How's your personal training going? Um, Elaine. I know, look. Solid. And here, this is proper solid. This is... My knee's a bit dodgy, but... And then I had to go and see the doctor the other day, new doctor, and he went... And I thought he kept saying to me, your legs are very tanned. And I was like, it's a very odd thing to say. <laughs> Toned. He was saying, your legs are very toned. And then he went, then he went back to the computer, he went, are you really 63? And I went, yes. Yeah, 8.99? No. New month, new blade, and a new sewing machine needle, says Susie. Well, I think you should change it more than that, Susie. And of course you do that. Did you put your water tub up June? I put my dining table out. I put my sofa out. There's a space for the cold tub. Then the personal train arrived and then it started raining and I thought, I'm not going back out. I was drenched. I was absolutely drenched because we had to run out and get all the cushions. 
Yeah, I didn't make him. He offered. He's a lovely, he's a lovely boy. He's a really lovely boy. Um, morning, John, says Pauline. Uh, Susie changes says each project. Yeah, so you should. Have you not got any work to do today, Susie? Busy typing and chatting. 8.99. Aren't you supposed to be out on a dog walk? What time is it? 8.45. She's been up for about seven hours already. It was Dunks' birthday last week, I think. Beautiful. 8.99. Keep going through for that. Cheryl, good morning, John. I've both bought the Creative Grid Ruler. I can't... No! I can't believe the price, she says. So I wasn't going to buy anything else either after Jenny's block of the month. Well, it was worth it because he'd taken so much money off it, hadn't he? They'll, want, they'll, they'll, look, they'll, go to, they'll look at it later and go, why did so many of those rulers sell suddenly today? Hang on. As to why it happened, you went, I'm taking it cheaper. That's what happened. Anyway, look. We've got a bog off. No, it's not a bog off, is it, this one? It's a th three for two. Now, first of all, right, you're paying fourteen ninety eight for all three of these. Can we just show the picture, please? Not that picture. Crazy Lorraine says, good morning. It's, it was Steve's birthday yesterday, Crazy Lorraine's husband. Right, watch this. For one, for one, in Hobbycraft, £10.80. Ten, for one, right? For one, I've got three for fourteen ninety-eight for £15. So they're £5 each. That's ridiculous. I don't know why I've suddenly got to... These are normally saved for the bulk buy hours, which Rebecca Reed had last week. I'm not supposed to have these. Oh, she's just about to go on a dog walk, waiting for Hendrix, the dog, to wake up. Oh, pfft. 14 98. Is it named after the gin? You have. 14 98. I don't know. How much was it in the other shop? £10.80 for one. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Beautiful. Oh, now, these three packets are different. They're all the same thing. But one's the old, one's the old packaging and one's two of the new packaging. Fourteen ninety eight. You get thirty six meters there. Thirty six meters for fourteen ninety eight. Threads. I've got some threads now. Oh, crikey. How do I... Oh, I'll do this one first then. This is your Gutemann. You get Schmetz needles. You get prim pins. And one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve threads. Sue says, good morning. Feels like ages since I've seen you. Been super busy doing nothing. Sue, where have you been? I've been here every day. I was off yesterday. Uh, well, no, because Rebecca, Monday's Rebecca Reed's days. I like doing clearance days, but it was her day yesterday. She had a brilliant day, apparently. Because Ben, very naughtily, put everything on pre-order at 8 o'clock. Another accident, like the ruler. 19.99. So you're getting 12 threads, rainbow threads, a box of Schmetz machine needles, and a box of prim pins. For nineteen ninety-nine. Hendrix is named after my favourite gin. Better than being named after Bun Bunks Dunk's favourite whiskey, Jameson. Oh, that would be a nice name for the dog, Jameson. Get another dog, yeah. Nineteen ninety-nine. Isn't that the blue drink? <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. Oh, they're now naming all the dogs after all their favourite drinks. Mine would be a mine would have to be called soya vanilla latte. Or dash water, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
pedigree mine, soy a vanilla latte. Oh yeah, I, I, I bought some dash lime yesterday. I haven't had dash lime for ages. It's delicious. What did I have this morning? Oh no, I had peach this morning. It was, oh, was it peach or mango I had this morning? It was very strong, wasn't it? What's it called? What's the second word? As in... Oh, that sounds horrible. Nineteen ninety-nine. moving on. Now I've got the pastel what, version with the um, little, little ruler on it, little seam guide on it there. Thirteen ninety nine. So you get one, uh, one two, three, four. There's always must be one under there, isn't there? How many threads are in here then? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Is it eight or is it? Yeah, eight. Eight threads plus your seam guide, thirteen ninety nine. Mine would be called bourbon, bourbon, or bourbon biscuit, so. Do you mean bourbon biscuit or do you mean bourbon the drink? At 13.99. Lovely, then I've got the Quilters Collection Orophil. Uh, exclusive to so you can't buy these anywhere else. Well, that, yeah. Honey bourbon, the drink, she says. Honey bourbon? I don't, know. I don't drink, so I don't know these things. 39.99. Blue Nun, did you say? Michael says he's had Blue Nun. What would your favourite drink? Do you drink? Why, why am I asking that question? <laughs> I just looked at Kat and I went, do you drink? And she went, uh... I'd probably say a purple. A purple rain? Yeah, cocktails. What's that? A cocktail from Weatherspoons? Well, they do it all over the place. Oh, they do it all over the place, not just at Weatherspoons, Ben. Get it right. Anyway. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, I'm going to do the glue pen next. This is the studio sample. You get a glue pen and one uh, refill. Lovely, then I've got the refills. $7.99. Beautiful, back of six there. Then, just a reminder about the block of the month designer quilt block launch, which happened 53 minutes ago, or less than that actually. That's the early bird, didn't I? So, do you want to enter the competition to make design a block, right? You use this fabric, you can add to it, you can embellish it, you can do whatever you want to, right? It has to measure 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Do not quilt it, do not back it, do not wad it. Just send it to us 12 and a half inches so that when they're sewn together, they're 12 inches in the, in the quilt. The 12 winners will each be given £100 worth of credit on their Sewing Street account to spend on whatever they wish. Uh, but you need to have them in by the 14th of June. You can enter as many times as you like, but you obviously have to buy the... So if you buy two of these, you can enter twice. If you buy ten of these, you can enter ten times. Uh, half the stock, half of today's stock has gone once you've all checked out. And I'll keep reminding you all through the, sh all through the day. Because uh, I've got um, uh, Amber Makes next. Then I've got, oh yes, I'll keep that for the, um, I'll do that in the, at the beginning of the quilt you go out. Right, don't go anywhere. Amber Makes up next. She's not here. She's not in here. She's not coming or anything. She'll be chatting and she'll be late now. Uh, I'll see you back here in four minutes, Rebecca Reed, with the brand new, oh, they're lovely, the bags. They're gorgeous. I'll see you in four minutes from now.
Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? 
check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Rebecca Reed, are you ready to wave, Rebecca Reed? Morning, morning, morning. I've got my crochet cardigan on today. You've what? I've got my crochet cardigan on. Isn't it it's not crocheted, is it? I'd never have guessed. Sam Sabido made it and gave it to me. You get loads of freebies. I know. Sam, don't you? She'd made it and didn't want it, so she let me have it. Why didn't she want it? I don't know. She, I don't know. She didn't want it. I made it a bit longer. It was a bit short. She'd made it for a teenage daughter. It was a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. So I had to be very short on it because you're not particularly tall. Well, well, she had it as a crop version. Didn't want. Oh no, you know, no, no. I'm a bit older. So, so how I, did you get more wool then? Or well, I bought some more wool because I knew what it was, and oh, then okay. I just did another row. But it's lush, isn't it? What a nice gift. Very nice. Nice gift. Your wardrobe of crochet must be enormous. It is actually yes. To be fair. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now, uh, before we start. Uh, Rebecca Reed and I went this morning, because obviously we always do a, a collaboration on my birthday, don't we? And we've already decided on what one of the projects is going to be, mm. but we can't decide what the other project was going to be. So if you can think of anything that you would like Rebecca and I to collaborate on for my birthday show in June, then, because my idea is, and she just went, oh, yeah. And then <laughs> her idea is, I went, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so if you could, they're both brilliant ideas, but we're obviously not going to do either of them. So if you've got any, any ideas what you'd like us to do for the birthday show, let us know. But in the meantime, you've got to buy these. Now, I just need to explain something, right? There's been a bit of confusion here. The sewing school, which I think is a brilliant idea, it's designed for people who are just, no, it's designed so that people who are just starting aren't daunted by a task and each month they learn a new technique. But it doesn't mean to say only new people can buy them because these bags are gorgeous. So if we did this as a project on its own, didn't say sewing school, they'd be really, really busy anyway. I mean, they're gonna be uber busy because it's sewing school as well. But I just didn't want, a few people upstairs be going, oh, but it's only for beginners, isn't it? Like, no, it's not just for beginners, it's for everybody, isn't it? It is, yes, it is, and there's lots of, I've filmed, videoed it and written it. As oh, do you do video? Things? Yes, yeah. well, yes, my instructions just need them. Um, because I've videoed them and written it as if you've not done it before. So I cover like how to rotary cut, how to sub cut and everything. Yes, yes. But if you have done that, it's fine because I also, there's some basic bag making in there as well. And I go through other extensions that you could do if you are more experienced. So it's not just for beginners, it's for everybody, but it's written so that if you've never done anything like this before, it'll give you the confidence and the aspir aspiration, is yeah, that the right word? to have a go. To have a go at it, you see what I mean? Because they look like they'd be really difficult, but they're not at all, are they? We've got Portuguese tiles and we've got Shiburu. In fact, I've gotten the wrong way around. I've got that one the wrong way around. It's my birthday. There you go. Shiburu, beautiful, aren't they? So now, so let me do this. Let me just move them to one side. So we've got the two different colourways. Uh, uh, I've, got, well, I've got the Portuguese tiles here first, so I'll do that one first. So oh, Amy, most Amy's okay. designed them so that it looks like you've done loads of patchwork and you're really clever. Yeah. But the, the principle and the method is very simple. Right. But the finish looks like you've done a lot more than yes. you have. So let me just explain what Rebecca Reed means, right? Rebecca Reed. Uh, <laughs> this side here is pieced. There is patchwork on this side. On this side, that's the way the fabric's printed. Yeah, so you haven't had to do all the little ones, but you have done a whole panel of patchworking on the front there, right? But what I love is, look, I'll just get rid of all that. Beautifully lined bag. So if, you, if it is your first ever project, how proud of that are you gonna be? Do you know what I mean, to make a lined bag? They, they hold, Rebecca, hold your hand all the way through it. As she says, on the pattern, there's a, a um, QR code. Now, anybody can go and look at the pattern, can't they? The yeah, they instructions. can go and watch the tutorial. Because there's, oh, there's, there's nothing size-wise or anything written on there. It's just yeah. how you make it from the panel. Right, OK, this is my little tip, which I shouldn't really say. But before you actually cut anything out, measure all these bits, mm. right? Write them down. Because you can then, you've got the instructions, you can make it out of your own fabric afterwards. The reason this one's so brilliant and so popular, would help if I did it the right way up, is that everything is labelled for you, everything's been drawn the right size for you and everything like that. Uh, this is brilliant. Yeah, we'd love, why don't you do fabric by the half metre? 
Because this would be beautiful, this. Yeah, no, we should do. We should. And some do. of my birthday fabrics yeah, no, we, last yeah, year would be really gorgeous as half. I love winter. that one. And um, Amy's done the handles so they look like leather. And I said that. I and said she's that. put yeah. the holes in. Well, she hasn't. They're not real holes. No, but like drawn yes. holes, so yeah. they look like the punched. She needs to get out yeah. more, doesn't she? Imagine she goes on more holidays than anyone <laughs> yeah. I know. No, she's at home today. She's packing kits today. She's packing. Kits. Have you still got those boxes? The orange boxes. Yeah. Yes. They're very bright, aren't they? Yes, and she's had to make up loads of them because they come flat packed. Oh, of course. So she sent me a picture of the Tower of Boxes the other day. Because she's so popular. <laughs> oh, now we need to also say, I'm allowed to say this, you're going to be at Festival Quilts, aren't you? Yeah, we are. Yeah, gonna, uh, and the makes are going to have their own stand. It's our first ever show. So you've got to go and support them. You've got to We'll both them. be there. Huh? We'll both be there as They'll well. They'll both be there. We unless have... Reku has to be on air in the morning. We have never had a sh we've never done a show before. Uh, so. do, you, do you know the, all the other things you have to take, like a flask and don't take a kettle that has been pat tested and things oh, like God. that. Anyway, and you're not allowed to on the Sunday you'll be so tired because you'll have done your four full on days mm. and then you're not allowed to pack until we've all left. Oh, and then <laughs> when you leave there's a queue of vans of all the suppliers all trying to get their but it's worth it. It's worth it'll it. be me and Amy in the back of our cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because hopefully you've sold out of everything. So just go oh, home. Yeah, and just back. go home. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Anyway, look, so this is the green one. This is the Portuguese tiles one. Okay, over the third tile, it's gone already. We haven't even started, right? Uh, the, and the, oh, and the same mountain basket. So that's actually your back panel. These are your but gusset linings here. That, oh, it's gorgeous. This, that's your front lining. There, your side gussets. Then, obviously, on this side, so you this is the use, side that um, you're going to do patchwork. You could make two bags if you use the lining for another bag. And you oh, yes. Your own lining fabric. Yeah, lined it with calico or something. Mm -hmm. Look at these. These are like gorgeous Victorian tiles around um, a fireplace. In Portugal. In yeah. Portugal. <laughs> Did you go to. Now, you see, you've missed a trick here. You could have gone to Portugal, put it through on your tax yeah. and said it was research. We should have done that. I only say that because I went on holiday with a friend of mine one Christmas and we went to Sri Lanka and it cost a fortune. He went, well, it's fine. I put mine through on tax. And I was like, how? Because he's a film director. Oh, uh, So okay. he wrote uh, like a pre-treatment about a, a, a young man growing up in Sri Lanka and everything <laughs> and then had pictures of us on holiday as his research. <laughs> no, because he didn't, didn't even plan to make the film. Have done no, I was never going to make the film. Anyway, look, so that's your panel. Then you also get your instructions. Half the stock of these has gone. Half the... Look at these instructions, though. Look at these... Look, they, they, like I say, they hold your hand through everything. Well, right? at the back is terms and, and techniques because... That's what, what? At the back of it is terms and techniques because I think a lot of times... Oh, we, like a glossary. You talk yeah. about stuff. Oh, you know, like you could chain piece that. Like, yeah. What, what is that? What is that? So I've explained in terms and techniques what all these things mean that we talk about. Yeah. And why. And nesting seems... Isn't it supposed to be nestling? Well, I would say nesting. Yeah, nestling, I think you're fine to say. Is it? Is it? I've often... Because ah, I did the research in my book. <laughs> I always <laughs> call it nesting seems. <laughs> anyway, uh, hang on, isn't there... There's a thingy. Is it not a QR code? Yeah, is it on the inside? Oh, there it is. Yeah. And I don't mind showing, I don't have to cover it up or anything because you can all watch that without even having bought this. And I actually film sort of on the machine as well so you can really see it. So if there's any little bits you think, oh, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Right, uh, a bit of a warning. How many left? 50 left. You think that's loads. 62 in baskets. This is going to sell out. How many minutes? We're eight minutes in. Well, we're longer than that because she hadn't got her microphone on. <laughs> Five minutes and 12 seconds and we're about to sell out of that one. Now, uh, why do you feel you need a video then? Because these instructions are so thorough. Well, so many people are visual learners, yeah. aren't they? And so when I say... I'm not criticising, I think it's a brilliant No, there's thing, lots but... of things. You know, like when you say, well, sew that piece to the left-hand side of that. And you yeah. go, what, what? Wait. I know what I mean, because I'm doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. when you actually watch somebody sew that to the left-hand side of yeah. that, it makes sense. And when I talk about... Um, you know, using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. If you've never done that, yeah. if you can see it on the machine, it makes more exactly, sense. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, how many? 40 left and 70 in baskets. That's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. It must be so lovely for you as a designer and Amy as a graphic designer. She won't be watching. She'll be busy packing her boxes. <laughs> but um, to, to actually bring something brand new out like that and it's going to sell out in I know, the it's like, Well, it's really nice because we make what we love. Yes. And then if other people love it Oh, yeah, it you don't too. go by any rules, do you? No. What things that you we like. We just do yeah. things we like. Yeah. So with this, I designed the bag, and then I said to Amy, I'm thinking, like, tiles, maybe. So can, maybe... She, can Amy sew? 
Yes, she can. Yeah. Oh. Yes, she can. So, and so I she really could have made Amber on her own. And she, look, yeah, look and I own. really can't draw. No. <laughs> And you can't do all this printing or anything. And no, I can write instructions. Yes, yes. That's it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Seven left. I'm going to wait with you. I'm going to wait with you while this one sells out. <laughs> 57 in baskets. Oh. oh, 67, sorry, in baskets. Okay, so how many have I got left in physicality? Five left now. Five of those left. Okay, I'm just going to pop that there. We, we are checking with the upstairs, even though they're not in, because it's Tuesday day off if we can get more. Right, so that was the Portuguese tiles. Now, you might not know what shibori is. Look at this, look at this. I hope you've got an explanation ready. Well, I love blue and white. Yeah, no, so, well, and I love, do, you, do you love the panel, this year's panel? Yeah, love that. I was just saying, we weren't given one. I know, words, I did think we? when I saw it was scheduled, they normally go, oh, could you just? Yes, yeah, no, we weren't given we weren't one this given year, one. were we? I love blue and white, and when I was a teenager, I used to use like old sheets and make like trousers and tie dye them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine what I'm Ben used to have a tie dye like? business. So. I used to love my tie dye trousers. Mm. I wasn't very good at it. I was only elastic bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elastic band. You know, you used to have like elastic bands. Oh, yeah, layers. yeah. I think you meant around the waist of the trousers. Some people would do it and then re dye it and stuff. Yeah. Couldn't do that. Oh, you just did it the once? Yes. Oh, yeah. no. Just with dark blue dye. I thought yeah. it was great. Uh, so this is all tie-dye, isn't it, really? Uh, well, it's a little bit more than tie-dye. It's a bit more. Shibori is where they do stitches. So what they do, it's a, it's a dyeing art, right? Uh, yeah, and what they do is they get a fabric like this, a white fabric, and then they sew stitches into it and then drop it into the dye. Then when it dries, they cut the stitches out and it's created all these... Obviously, this hasn't been done like that. No. It's been drawn by Amy. It's like posh tie-dye. But that's what... It? Yes, posh... It, but it's a dyeing art. And Chang's fabric, you know, um, Sword, yes. Becky Sworn, right? Her family are the Chang fabric, a uh, fat Chang family, and they have people out there making these fabrics and they're trying to keep the whole industry going because it's a tiny cottage industry, which is dying because the youngsters. No, no, she, no, she has. She has. Anyway. Anyway, 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 $22.99. You wouldn't get any of uh, Be Becky's for this price because it's all hand, hand dyed and everything. Twenty-two ninety-nine. Oh, what? Ian's in. No, I knew he was in because I'm going to meet up with him later. He said he was in today. Oh, so I said they wouldn't. I said they'd had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off, but they're in today. Is everybody in today? Oh no, I can't stay today for a Hayley's meeting. on holiday. Oh, Haley's on again. I know she's always on holiday. Haley's on holiday again. She is on holiday. Yeah. I need her to do things. Is she a, not a contactable at all? Actually, she was contacting me yesterday, so I'm going to contact her. He did her email, her. say anything urgent, contact Ian. Oh, OK. Well, Ian won't be able to answer my question. Anyway, <laughs> What's that? half the stock of this one's gone. Do you want to see the finished thing? No, that's Hayley. That's, I go above Hayley for that. <laughs> look, 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 look. So this is your patchwork side. Then that's your other side that's already printed on the panel. And then there's all your gussets and everything like that. Now... Now, could I, has the inside got gussets as well? Yes, yes. Could I, if identical. I didn't want that one on the outside, could I put yes. that one on the outside? Yeah, they're identical. Identical. Oh, nice, aren't they? But the idea was I wanted it to have, like, those leather look handles, you know, those, like, little bags that you could put maybe a file or a book in. Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, so it's not your... It's very Parisian chic, this. It's not your normal tote size. No. It's more rectangular. Yeah. No, I like them this and the narrow, And also having the handles on the outside, because I don't normally do that. Yeah. That was a bit oh, of course, yeah, that's right. You're doing that. Mm. 22.99. Well over half the stock of that one's gone. Are you demoing in this one? Oh, that's good. I am, actually. I don't know why, just because I like that. Right, we're going to try and get more of those, especially of the Portuguese ones, because Portuguese ones are sold out. But I have got five-inch squares to match. So here you go, five-inch squares for Portuguese, Portuguese tiles. You get 40. Oh, look, I love that round the edge there. I know, that was just a space. <laughs> So and that's, you could that could be a handle for something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You got labels down the side here. You got that lovely. You see, even if you did a whole panel of that size, are they? Um, I haven't got my thingy here. Hang on. Ooh, what? I can't get to my tape measure. Um, uh, I've got a tape measure. How big are those little squares? Because they like what do they call those little? Um, not chucker buttons. What are they called? They're called. Um, 
Oh, honey buns. Yes, those. Um, no, no, no. I don't mean honey buns. Honey buns are the strips, aren't they? They're the little. Yes. What are they called? Can't remember. They're like so what's two. The, what's what's the strip? It's an inch and a half called. Then I thought that was called a honey bun as well. Yeah, but the little. Yeah. I don't know what. Oh, they're, they're an unusual size. They just fill the space. One and three quarters they are. Oh, well, it was just because there's a space. No, no. Amy gorgeous. doesn't like white oh, no, space. What I was going to do is measure these, because we had a panel the other day that said they were five inch squares. Dead on five inches. Dead on five, because we had some the other day that were supposed to be five inch squares and they were way bigger than five. Oh. So yours are perfect. Well, I find sometimes when you press them, they, they might change slight, shape slightly, but because there's a space around them, you can cut them to five yeah. inches. They'll only be like, a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah. Hour. Now, 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 now. You see these, you're thinking, what am I going to do with those? In a minute, I've got a Amber Makes pattern that uses charm pack squares. Okay, way too many people got them in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. It's 14.99. You can't get a, 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 a charm pack for 14.99 anymore, can you? No, not really. No. They are lovely, aren't they? 14.99. Oh, hang on, I've got messages. Hi, Rebecca, I love your cardigan, says Pauline. Oh, thank you, Pauline. Uh, just came back in the room. Which pattern is your cardigan? Mmm, that's a good but question. But it was, was it here? Yeah, it was. It here? Yes. Sam Sabido. Yes, it Sam was, Sabido. and I can't remember what it was called. Morning, John and Rebecca. An idea for your collaboration is a sofa caddy station, including a pin cushion, needle minder, pockets. Oh, yeah. It would be really good useful idea. for hand sewing whilst watching TV. That is a good idea. I'd quite like one of those. Well, we, we, we got as far as pin cushion. I've often got pins in the arm in the of sofa. the sofa. Yeah, in arm the sofa. That's a very good idea. Thank uh, you. Liz says, collaboration suggestion, travel wallet, spaces for passport tickets, currency. You have lots of travel experiences to base designs on. Ooh. Oh, Liz, that's a good that one. That's a very good one. We're going to end up with too many now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, but that's fine. We'll just keep doing them. We'll have yeah. a birthday every John's month. John's got to trip around the world. Yeah. Be brilliant, wouldn't it? That's a really good idea. Because I have a travel zip wallet yes. that I made an FPP one that I put all of my stuff. Well, in. no, the thing is, right? So the same thing <laughs> happens to me every time I go away. I go and in the morning I've got my bag, my satchel bag, and it's got and in the pocket next to me there's my passport, my money. If I'm going to America, you have to have your Esther and things like that, don't you? But then by the time you get to the thing, they go, oh, we need to see your passport, oh, we need to see Esther. You then get to the final one, you go, oh, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost, <laughs> lost it, I've lost it. Whereas if it's all in the same pocket, mm. then you keep putting it back in the pocket and it's all there together, isn't it? You don't have that horrible feeling that of panic. getting to come off the aeroplane, go, I've lost my passport, someone's taking my passport on the aeroplane. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, 14 99 the green one. There are only 10 of those left and 44 in baskets, right, yeah? There was another question. Uh, the green panel is gorgeous. Yes, it is indeed. Why do you keep calling Rebecca's surname and just not Rebecca? Because everybody calls me John Scott all the time. Yeah, I, don't don't you, I don't know why you do. You're and we've got, we've got so many Rebeccas. It's such a common name. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it might have been when we were at Sewing Quarter, there were two Becks, wasn't there? There was Bex Allen and me. Oh, yes. So you I don't know why I call you Rebecca Reed because I don't call her the other guests by their full <laughs> name, do I? But then I, oh, oh, look. A bit of sneaky mustard. Loving the mustard. I like that. So 14 99 Oops, my stand's just fallen to pieces. 14 99 Kat, can I just give you that? Yeah, there's lots of Adams next door. But then they've all got nicknames, you see. Maybe I need to give you a nickname. Because we've got Daddy Adam and Handsome Adam. <laughs> Hannah, they're Hannah's. Hannah and Kat gave them those names. Producer Kat. Uh, this is lovely, this one. There's even more patterns on this one that it looks like. Yeah, and I like the, um, the little cheeky mustard. It's what? The cheeky mustard. It's nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, really well with it. <laughs> At $14.99. Gorgeous. So which is your favourite, the blue or the green? They're both very, very popular. They're very different as well, aren't they? But like Yeah, but they both work with this style because it's, it's the simplest patchwork block. Yes. So I always think if your, if your block is very simple, the fabric needs to be complex. And if you've exactly. got a very complex Now look, block, this, pa this pattern here is if you've bought the five-inch squares, you, I don't know what to do. There's a bag pattern here. Oh, now, 
Have you got the bag? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. I saw I knew I'd seen cat with it somewhere. There you go. So you can use your five inch squares. Now, have you just used calico with this? Yes, yeah. You can use any, well, any fabric that's a plain that will, you yeah. know. And you've got the lovely poplin on the inside there. That's using five inch squares. And it uses five inch squares for the handle and for the pockets inside. So it uses up a lot of the, yeah. the panel. But imagine that using your shibori or your Portuguese tiles be beautiful. So the pattern is 9 99 And again, you get a lot in it. There is a video to go to. Video. Video. You can use any charm squares for it. but Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Use any five-inch charm pack with it. Because a lot of people buy them because they're very yeah. popular. And then, and then they go, <laughs> what am I going to do with these? <laughs> so that's that one. That's that one. We will go on with some sewing in a minute. But I just want to show you. Oh, you need to make 640 for the bag, don't if you? If you want to. You don't have to quilt If you it. want to. It's half a metre enough. Yes. Half a metre is if enough. If you don't want to, don't. Oh, OK. No. If you don't want to, some don't. Some people go, oh, you know, the quilting is the bit where they think, oh, I can't do that, so I'm not going to. But I do... Talk you through the quilt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five ninety nine for half a metre. You only need one of those if you're going to use it. You could just make a different bag, wouldn't it? Just be a bit of a squidgier bag. Yeah, didn't that's use it. all. Five ninety nine, and then we've got magnetic clasps again. Your old message. Uh, morning, John and Rebecca. All the Portuguese bad kick in the square panel on pre-order as early as I knew it would sell out. As usual, Amber makes fabulous projects from Susan in. Hampshire. Oh, thank you, Susan. That's really kind. Glad you like what, it. What have you been voted? Oh, yeah, what have you won recently? Oh, we won, yeah, sewing brand of the year. Mm -hmm. mm. Who knew? Who, who are you up against? I don't know. <laughs> magnetic clasp. You, now, if you don't want to put down a magnetic clasp, you don't have to. Oh, silver one's sold out. I've got the uh, um, antique silver or gun metal. It's only gray. if you want to hold the top together, but it's entirely optional. It's quite yeah. nice. One ninety nine. Just good to have in your stash, aren't they? And then gold. And it is in the instructions about how to put it in. Yeah. So if you would like to put one in. Brilliant. Very boring to look at, is it? If you just tuned in. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> There's a different shot of it there. <laughs> oh, different shot there. Ooh. Oh, he's on fire now, isn't he? <laughs> Timid Michael. Right. OK, now uh, I'm going to do this very quickly because there have been two months before this one, which I need to just show you about. So the first month we did vegetables and, and the... What's it market, didn't it? Yeah, so this was basic how to use your sewing machine. How so to use your sewing machine, this one was. So let's simple. do... Um, you have got them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they in the bag still? Are they inside the bag? Are they in here, Kat? Yeah. So this is like how to sew with a seam allowance, how to finish seams, how to hem, how to make a casing. But, you know, quite simple. Stuff. Okay, so the first one is... The, spurt, the, the sack for potatoes and your vegetables. Farm shop. Farm shop. Here it is, farm shop. So you get the panel. It's a huge panel. Look, massive panel. Get your panel and your instructions. And with that, from that, on your sewing machine, you can make this and this, can't you? Uh, you can make a bread bag. Yeah. A vegetable bag, a potato bread bag, bag. Bread bag. That's from the other. Oh, that's the other one. That's that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that's that one, and that one, and that's the um, little bag, and that's the bread bag. So and those go with that one. Yes, they? There, they right. go. there they go. There they go. Right. Everything there. Everything there. Everything there. Everything there. Plus your instructions. Twenty four ninety nine. So you keep all your fruit and veg fresh. Keep your fruit and veg fresh from the, what did you call that one? Farm shop. Farm shop. Farm shop. There's loads of farm shops around my way. I love a farm shop. Well, I love them apart from this one, the one that everybody loves around our way. I don't obviously buy meat, but when you buy your meat, there's a picture of the animal that came from it. This comes from Daisy. Oh, I don't like that. They, but they shows they had a happy life. In well, the I suppose it does, that's but what yeah. It was. This, where's, where's so that's that one. And then, what's this one called? That one's called... Grocery. Yes. And I don't know where the fourth one is. Where's what? Well, there's one missing. The oh. One. He's still in the bag. Ooh, I'll pull the telly off the wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the baby one's missing. Right, there you go. So you've got your shallots and your gingers and your mints, your leeks, your carrots, your breads and your sweet potatoes. So that's this panel here. 
plus the instructions. Thank you, Rebecca Reed. <laughs> That's that one, 24 99 Very popular, very, very popular. And then I had five inch squares to go with those. Yeah, there's uh, only one. One, just one five inch square. It's got everything on but it. But that's banana, what I use. banana. That's what I use to make the market bag. If you want to. Yeah, and that's what you could use to make the bag behind us there. So that's your five inch. I'm rushing through these so so that we can do some sewing. Yeah. Then we've also the next month we did cushions, which are behind you, yes. aren't they? So how to make a cushion? A pretty a pair. Yes, a pretty pair. William Morris first. So one is a zip cushion. One is a zip cushion. What date did we do this on, please, Ben? And one is an envelope back. And I don't know when we did them. 5th of March, so one's got an envelope back and one's got a zip. 24 99 You don't get the cushion pads, but you do get the fabric to, to make those two gorgeous. Did you see, um, you know Lorraine who does stencil up? Yes. She did this. This week with all different colours. Oh, did she? Not on ours, on Hobby yeah. Maker. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. I love anyway, £24.99, you get the panel and you get the instructions. And then the second one is... That's the, the sewing room. Sewing room, vintage sewing room. So, again, one's a zip and one's a, a, an envelope back. Gorgeous. You get the panel and the instructions of how to make those. Beautiful. Thank you. Then we've got two more five inch charm packs. We've got a William Morris. Oh, I love this one. Look at this one. I know, I like the squares because they're all framed. That would look nice as the market tote, wouldn't it? I'm trying to think of something else I'd want to do with those. Like, I, I, could you make a kind of, yeah, something, but something to go, I like above a door, like a pelmet above, you mm. know, like in India, you get those lovely. Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. I don't or know like what I'd want, something that I'd use tiles for. Or like a bed runner. Bed, oh, a bed runner would be lovely. Or two of them, you could make a long bed runner, couldn't you? Quite nice. Gorgeous, that's that one, that's that one, that's that one. And then the other five inch jump pack was from the machine sewing cushion day. Look, here you go. Oh, beautiful. Very vintage, that one. Isn't it? I like, I, like, I like the treadle machine. Love a treadle machine. Do you, do you like working on a treadle machine? I don't think I've ever worked on a treadle <laughs> machine. I've worked on a hand one, but not an actual treadle one. Treadle, like when you have to go like that. <laughs> no, no. Right, come on, let's do some sewing, woman. Right, we're ready. Ready. ready Shiburu, please. Okay, so um, everything on the panel, you cut it all out, and they've all got lay every piece has got a label above it so that you can pin it to the top of each piece. So before you start, press the whole panel and then cut everything out and the label that's above it, you need to pin to the top of the piece. What There's one piece of fabric that you need to cut into smaller pieces just because I thought it'd be really useful to learn how to subcut and also um, it, it's much more precise that these squares will be accurate. So because I've already cut up mine, I'm just going to use a spare piece of fabric to show you about the subcutting, which is the same size as the one you'll get. This isn't the one you will have on your kit because I'd already cut mine up, but this is what it looks like. So I thought I would just take the opportunity to show you how to do this. So this is your piece of fabric. Now, if you're going to subcut a piece of fabric, subcutting just basically means cutting something up into smaller pieces. And you read it in the instructions and go, oh, subcut, what's that mean? <laughs> oh, I don't know what that means. So the first thing you need to do, actually, I'm going to give it a little press because I want to have a go of this new iron that's no longer available. Why is your ruler got a ribbon on it? Um, because Kat said, and she's quite right, they're quite hard to get oh. off. So she's put ribbons on all of them. Because they don't come off those hooks very well. And no. you have to sort of bend them upwards, don't you? And it was driving her mad. So she put ribbons on all of them. Oh. There we go. So give it a press. And yeah. then what I do with mine is I line up one of the edges with the horizontal lines on my cutting mat. But just so it's extending, maybe like eighth of an inch, because you don't want to cut off too much. Although with this fabric, I have given you plenty of extra so that if you do cut quite a big bit off, it won't matter. Right. And then line up your ruler so that the vertical line, the line of there lines up with one of the vertical lines on the mat. And now you know, if you trim that off, because this runs straight here, if you trim this off, you know it's going to be a nice right angle. So the first thing you do when you ever cut fabric is always trim off the edge. 
make sure that doesn't move and then discard that piece. Are you using our uh, rotary cutter from the early bird? Yes, very nice, isn't it? Very nice. That was the early bird this morning. Please go and check that. I do like an old for rotary cutter. I know you do. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Do you think history? Maybe because I've always had one. Yeah. Just like them. Anyway, so you've strayed... In fact, I've got my favourite things. This is my favourite ruler. Oh, is it? Now I'm going to cut it into two and a half inch strips because that's what it says in the instructions. So just take your ruler, line up the two and a half inch mark. When you're using these creative grids, you can either do two and a half inches or you can turn it round and use the black marks where they're marked. Yeah. It depends how you do it. So just cut it into two and a half inch strips. I'd stand on tiptoes to do this. Oh, did you want the block? I forgot <laughs> you were doing right. cutting. Now I'm going to cut it into four two and a half inch strips. So you can remove this and then cut the next two and a half. Right. Or, if you want to save time, which is what I do, cut into two and a half and then move your ruler and line up the five inch, because that's two and a half plus two and a half. Yeah. And then to cut the third one, move your ruler and line up the seven and a half. Obviously, if you have a stripology ruler, you don't have to do this. Yeah. But I haven't got one of those. So there we go. So if I line up the seven and a half inch, that means I haven't had to move anything. And then you've got that bit left over. And so that means I've now got four beautifully cut two and a half inch strips that are accurate. So we're now going to cut these into two and a half inch squares. So again, line up the horizontal line with a little bit of overlap. And you can either, there's two ways to do this. You can put them all in a row like this. Right. And cut across all of them. Yeah. So we'll, then this just saves time. If you've never done it before, I would just go for one. Start with one strip and then do them as multiples if yeah. you've never done it before. And the other way you can do it is just stack them. That depends how you prefer. I don't like to stack more than two, sometimes three, but I prefer not to stack more than, I wouldn't stack more than three. Because sometimes, particularly if you're cutting smaller pieces like a two and a half inch square, it can start, it starts shifting, doesn't cut as well. So I'll cut them in twos, but if you've never done it, start with one. Now, because I've got those horizontal lines matched up, I'm going to trim off the very edge again. Make sure nothing moves. In fact, if you put your ruler on top, you can take those bits away and you know it won't move. And then you just do exactly the same as you did before. So I'm going to cut two and a half, five. When you do this, make sure that you, the right angle of your ruler matches up like that. Yeah. And then you know it's nice and straight. If you cut, because I'm only cutting a few strips, I'm not going to straighten up again, but I've cut three. If you're using this, so now look, I've got lots of little two and a half inch squares. If you're using it in another project and you want to do this, once you've cut about four pieces, I would square it up again because things do move. move yeah. So... It, and you only need to cut off the tiniest amount. So I, you can see I've got like almost eighth of an inch, hardly that. I would square it up because particularly when you're cutting layers, things do shift. Yeah. And you know then that you've got a nice bit to start with. So if you've, you're using a pattern where it says cut strips across the width of fabric, do about three or four and then straighten it up again. Yeah. And then you just carry on. I don't need to cut the rest because I've already done mine. Shirley says she'll see you at Festival Quilts on the Sunday. Fabulous. Fabulous. I hope we've not done the show, so we're quite excited. Right. That's how to cut. We obviously don't need those because that's not the right fabric. I just wanted to show you that. Oh, OK. Because I cut mine up. Yeah. My panel. I only had one panel. Um, so we're going to make a block now. Now, these... I've made a few already. So these um, are... These are called diamond in a square block because you see on the other side, they're diamonds that are turned into squares. It's a very, very simple block, but you will learn quite a few techniques. So to make one block, you take a large square and a small square. This all, it's all in the instructions about which, whether you need a fabric A or a fabric B. Fabric A is the one that I've just cut into smaller pieces, yeah. but all of the details for that, you don't need to remember any of this. Remember, it's all in the video anyway, and, um, Free video for anyone to watch. So you can, it's all in there, so you don't need to know that. Oh, have we got a six and a half inch square? Oh, honestly. Oh, I forgot that. I can't get out of it. Cat, can we have the six and a half inch square ruler, please? I knew there was another thing I needed. Just that baby one. Or a ruler. 
Thank you very much. With red ribbon. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the corners, which um, is also called snowballing, but it's basically it's cutting off a corner. There are many ways to do this. You can cut triangles and sew into squares, but that can be a bit tricky because when you start cutting triangles, you've got a bias edge, which is a bit stretchy and is can be trickier. It's uh, more economical with fabric, but what, if you're doing something small like this, I, it's just trickier and not something that you want to do if you're just starting. So this is the easiest way to do it. So take your four baby squares, uh -huh. and on the wrong side of them, and it doesn't matter which way, draw a diagonal line. With the friction pen, now, the friction I, pens in the last hour. I'm using a friction pen because they, I love them, because the, they just iron off. Always test them though. Um, you could use a pencil, because to be honest, you are going to be sewing along this line, but don't use anything like a pen or a ballpoint pen. Are you using a clicky top? Or a, no, no, I've just got a normal top. Oh, no, nah, we had both in the last I time. love the clicky tops. I've just bought myself five of them. Oh, have you? Because I keep forgetting to put the lids on these, and then they dry out. But weirdly, we, weirdly, the clicky top ones, which I forget to click as well, don't dry out. Oh. Whereas these will, obviously, because yeah. it's a pen. But yeah. the clicky tops don't seem to. Interesting, that. Interesting. Right, so now we, we're going to cut the corners off. So take one of your squares and put it in the top left-hand corner. And I do tell you in the instructions which way the, the diagonal line needs to go, so it's bottom left to top right. But that's sort of obvious, because you can see that we're going to cut off the corners. But if you just, in the instructions, I've put photos of this, particularly this bit, because it's really annoying if you get your line going the wrong way. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to put another square. So just make sure you've got the raw edges at the sides matching up. They, you will see they overlap a bit in the middle, doesn't matter. When you put your pins in, it's much easier to sew if you don't have to take your pins out, because everything stays in place and you don't have to be bothered with moving pins. Yeah. So if you put your pins away from the line, not on the line, then you can sew and leave your pins in place without sewing over them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew along that line, along that line. So that's why I chose this block, because you have got your sewing line drawn in there already. So you don't have to concentrate too much and worry about seam allowances. There are other sections that you do have to think about seam allowances, but for this one you don't. Oh. Oh. I did thread it. It's obviously come out in transit from the green room. <laughs> I tested it and everything because you know so many times I never bother yeah. and then I realised I haven't got any bobbin thread or, but I did actually do this one. Um, you don't need to reverse stitch at the beginning of this seam because we will be sewing over this seam in the next step so um, that will hold it all in place. So sew along that seam and then sew along this seam. Now when you are doing this if you've not done patchwork before I would suggest you do one block then, because you have to do six blocks the same, then do the others. When you do the others, you can then chain piece. So you can do them all in one go. And I have done in a video of how to do it, how to chain piece. So if I was doing another five blocks, I'd put the next square under here and continue sewing. Mm -hmm. But I'm not doing it with this one because I'm only doing one. But I never I, chain piece. I chain piece all the time. But then I suppose you sew a lot more than I do. Yeah, if you're doing lots of blocks. Yeah, but even when I did my like Ukrainian flag and my Bargello, I kind of still didn't do it, yeah. Oh, I love a chain piece. Oh. It's annoying having to cut it all apart afterwards. Yeah. Right, before you do anything else, give it a press because the motion of the needle through the fabric disturbs it and it doesn't really like it. So if you give it a press, it settles it all back down again. It's nice and flat. Now, we're going to cut these edges off, but before you do that, to make sure this is nice... Oh, I forgot that one doesn't go up, does it? What? <laughs> I forgot that one hasn't got legs. Oh no, had you left it down? Yeah, <laughs> only for a nanosecond. We're all right, I forgot it didn't have legs. Oh, I thought they'd have legs, these little ones. What? I didn't know the little ones didn't have legs. No, that has a light on it. Yeah, well, there we are. Light, no legs. So before you cut off the corner, to make sure that this isn't perfect, because you want this to turn into a square, turn it over and then match that top corner, hold it with your finger and press it. They Look, just, you didn't light oh, on. Wow! Oh! Don't oh. Get, we've sold out. <laughs> don't get, you can't have one. 
Who was it came in yesterday? Oh, Jenny Jackson came in on Sunday, went, oh, I'm just taking that Alisso iron home with me, if that's right. And we were like, no. No, that's, yeah, but you've sold out, so may as well have it. No, we'll have more in. No, no because they gave me one. Paul upstairs gave me one. No. And then I get an email from Hannah going, oh, Hayley says you have to bring yours back in. So I have to bring mine back in, so I haven't got one now. That's a bit mean. Did they, they just come in me. the one colour? It's only the one colour at the moment in Aqua. Oh, I like that. But they bought that one because it's the same street colours. It is. Mm, I'd have to get one of those. Um, anyway, then you do the other one. Fold over the corner so it matches up. Hold it in place because it just means if you haven't sewn exactly on there, um, you can give it a little stretch and pull it. You will get a neater finish. That's just, and you can use these little tips in yeah. all of your patchwork. When you've done that, all you need to do now is cut along those lines. What do you need now? Oh, you're going to do it with scissors? They're pinking you. Oh, they'll do. You could use a rotary cutter for this. Um, you're now going to need to trim off the seam allowances. Make sure you trim off this bit and not that bit. So okay. it's the extra Why do you do it with scissors then, not a rotary cutter? Oh, it's just quicker, isn't it? Are they going to be Not sharp? when the scissors oh, yeah. aren't very good. I could do it with a... <laughs> God, they're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> so you could do it with a rotary cutter. Oh, no, I've got instead. those on the show tomorrow. No, <laughs> I think they oh might, no, I don't. They're hot. I think they me. might be paper scissors. Then, yeah, I'll get rid of them. Uh, cut it about a quarter of an inch outside. You can use your rotary cutter if Just you like. Just break the handle on these. <laughs> They're so rubbish, the handle's broken. So cut off the seam allowances and then. Um, because you've folded it back a bit to do that, yeah. just give it a little press to put it back. There we go. So that's one side. Looks a bit strange now. It's probably there's probably a block that looks like that, called a something in a something. But we're yeah. uh, we're going to continue with the block. So take your third square. Now place that in the top left and the top right. Now you'll see obviously that it's overlapping the first two squares, but that's fine mm -hmm. because it's only overlapping by the seam allowance. So when you sew these squares all together it won't look like they're overlapping. You'll have nice little points. So in the same way as you did before, pin together, make sure you match up the raw edges, either side of the drawn line. So when you're making the whole thing, you can draw all of these lines in one go. So you could take all of the little squares and draw all of the lines and all of the little squares for all of the blocks. But if you haven't done it before, make one block and then when you make the other five, you, you can do it a lot quicker. So when you make six of them in total then? When you make 12. Oh. The set one and the set oh, two. Oh, sorry. Right. And they're different prints. Oh, they're made okay. in exactly... Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Exactly the same way. It's just... The, the different the, fabric combination. Yes, so that you get that kind of patchwork look. So exactly the same as you did before. Give it a little press. Fold the corner over and press and fold the corner over. Now, if you're ever doing anything like this, snowballing, always do this fold the corner thing over because it will give you a much more right angled, precise look. It doesn't take long, but it, it's worth it. Sally Ann Harrison taught me that. Oh, did she? Yeah. I never used to do that, and I wondered why my blocks weren't totally square. And then she showed me that. I thought, that is genius. And it takes You're a watching, isn't she? It takes a little bit longer to do it, obviously, but you do get a neater finish. It's good, see, it's good work in here. I get like lessons every day in something or other. Yeah. You won't need those extra pieces. Now, if you're Susie Duncan, you'd keep those. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> she's not watching, she's taking the dog for a walk. And you would sew them and you make them for others, but yeah. um, I don't. But you could keep them and turn them into other half square triangles. So that is a block of set one you need to make another five okay so. i'm new to this why aren't the squares me ma me me meeting at the end of the square the square inside right. why isn't it meeting so at the edge of the square? because this that's the seam allowance so you'll i said before about they will overlap but don't worry because this is the seam allowance when we sew them together in a moment you'll lose that and then these will be right so on don't the panic that they don't go to the edge don't panic they are supposed to be overlapped because otherwise you well, when you sew it to the next block, yeah. it would look all wrong. So if I show you on this, what these that I've joined together, you can see now on here that the points are right on the edges because that is the seam allowance. So you're doing it right, don't panic. So Lovely. now we're going to sew together um, in rows. So there's a set one. These are some I've done in advance. There's a set two. There's another set one and there's a set two. 
So we're going to sew those together into one long row. And it's easy to see which is which because they're different patterns. And if you're doing the Portuguese tiles, they're different patterns. So take block one and block two and place them right sides facing. If you put them in a line first, you know which one you're doing. So make sure you've got it right sides facing and we're sewing along this edge. Now, to get a nice finish, so all those little points match up, pin it together in the centre first. So if you put a pin through the point of that seam and then push the other end of the pin through the point of the other seam, pull it nice and tight like that, then put a pin diagonally across you can take that one out. You now know that those match up. You can then pin it at either end. So it's always best to do that centre pin. And that's another thing that when you're doing any patchwork at some point, not any, but nearly all patchwork, you will have to match up some seams. So if you always put pins um, vertically through first, it will match up better. So now I'm going to sew this together with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Because I've got this... Um, 720 it has an HP foot which means it's exactly quarter of an inch wide so I don't need to use the markings on my plate because I can use my foot but if you don't have one of those then just use the marking on your um, needle plate to follow the quarter of an inch I'm going to reverse stitch at the beginning of this seam to secure it uh -huh. and then when you get to the point of no return at the point of no return just before you get to it take the pin out because you don't want to take it out too early it needs to stay together and then make sure you sew over that point yeah and then go all the way to the end and reverse stitch and i will show you what that looks like now so you can see that my seam in fact if i draw over it that helps doesn't it you can see that my seam now goes right across those points and that yeah. means you'll get a neater finish then what you do is sew the next one on. So I'm just going to quickly sew those on so that you can see. Again, match the point. Mm -hmm. Just, it is really is worth taking this time. You could just put the two together and because they are the same size, in all likelihood, they will match up. Yeah. But it might not be perfect. And I think with all of these things, if you get into the habit of always doing something one way, like, you know, if you always chain piece or you always press, yeah. It becomes a habit yeah, exactly. that you then continue. And so when you're doing a design where you really want the matching up, you'll get used to it. So you could give it a go. And if your points don't match up, who cares, really? Who cares? Who cares if your points don't match up? Yeah, exactly. You might. But no one's going to notice by the time you've sewed it all together and quilted it and everything. And the busyness of the pattern. Yeah. But oh, if but. you want it to be precise, then yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's what, it's what you enjoy doing. Yeah. If you enjoy doing the point. Yeah. Janet Clare says she never matches a point. It's just, you know, kind of, she just goes for it because she enjoys it. Yeah, just whatever happens. But there is no right or wrong in it. No. It's just that if you want to have matching points, that's how you do it. But it, you don't need to. So, again, just stop just before you get there. Remove the pin. You might need to um, raise your presser foot to do that. And reverse stitch. Right, now we have all of row one. So this is where we're going to learn about... Oh. Oh, stitch that one. <laughs> Quite. Uh, Rebecca Harrison's just tuned in. I don't think she's got time to be sitting watching the... Rebecca Harrison. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. I've done it to her as well. Rebecca Harrison. Rebecca Harrison. <laughs> Maybe it's people called Rebecca. Maybe she's got it on Too in late. the background. OK. She might have it on in the background. Mm-hmm. Well, she's got to be, she's in tomorrow. <laughs> she was only on the other day. She's prepping. So now I've got row number one sewn together. Now, this is where we're going to learn nesting seams. So you will sew row one, row two and row three in exactly the same way. Obviously, they're in different configurations, which is in the instructions. Yeah. I've sewn these bits together so you can see. Yeah. Now, to nest the seams, we're going to press the seams to one side, but they need to be opposite. So the top seam, I've said, the top row, press the seams away from block one and row two, press them towards and row three away because they need to be in opposite directions. Okay. So with this one, I'm going to press them away from block one. So to do that... <laughs> just twisted that around so many times. How do you know which one? I don't, yeah, I know I'm going away. So with this one, the best way to do this is put your iron down and then give it a pull. She's sewing whilst watching, she says. <laughs> and press it. 
and then do the, the next one. If you give it a little pull and press it, yeah. what you need to do is not iron it. You need to press it because you've got these seams underneath. If you iron it, it starts pulling that over. Yeah. So just pull it to one side and press it. And then before you go any further, just turn it over and check because sometimes, you've, because you've got a bit of bulk there, sometimes even though you've pressed it over to one side, you might get a little crease. So yeah. just press it from the right side and then you know it's nice and flat and then make sure they've stayed in place, which they have. Sometimes they move. Now, because we've got the seams, let's hope I've done it the way I have. Yeah, <laughs> that would be so annoying. I've, I have done before, I've had to go repress them. So the seams in the second row are going that way and the seams in this row are going that way. So take row one and place it right sides facing on row two. You won't have sewn row three on yet. I've just done that in advance. Now, when you come to nest, nestle your seams, yeah. if you take the top one and it's, I placed it about a quarter of an inch away and slide it, across the bottom one, it will stop. It will just crash and put a pin diagonally across there. And the reason it does that is because you've got the bulk of the seam allowances on one side and the bulk of the seam allowances on the other side. It's like two little walls meeting. They yeah. would stop. So when you come to, so that's one seam nested. Again, we're sewing points together. So do the pinning points together method that I did before. Take out the pin and then you can pin the other end. So obviously, there's a lot of matching and pinning to do here, but you're only doing the front of the bag and doing this means that you'll learn how to do all those things. So again, with the seams, take the top one, just pull it slightly and when you feel it crashing, that's it nested together. Why do people call it nesting then when it's nestling? Just, it's I've just always been wondered. shortened. It's just been oh, shortened. See, I've always wondered why it's called nesting. I thought yeah. that's ridiculous. No, nestle, because they nestle. Yeah, and that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So if I start calling it nestle, though, people wonder what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. Right, I'm going to do the next one. Always, if you pop your pin in diagonally, it just holds those two to, to, um, together a little bit better than if you do it straight. Match your little points. And then the final point. So taking the time to do your pinning now means that um, it's much easier to sew because you haven't got to be thinking about it and holding it in place. I know a lot of people don't do a lot of pinning and they sort of hold it and adjust it as they're sewing. I just prefer to do all of that now yeah. before I do it. But it doesn't matter which way. I would say try and nest your seams. If you can't be bothered with the points, don't worry about it. Now I can just sew all of this together. So again quarter of an inch seam allowance. Start a little bit of the way in, like a quarter of an inch. Go forward a couple, back and then forward. When you get to the um, points, just like we did before, you might find, because there's a lot of layers there, that you need to help the machine over them. So what I mean by that is, let me just take the pin out. Because there's lots of layers, the bottom isn't taking it through as well. So just, if you hold the back of it and just help it through, you shouldn't really pull it too much because you end up skipping stitches, but you do sometimes need to help it go across those layers. So this, hopefully, if you haven't done patchwork, shows it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. It's just stages, that's all patchwork is. It's just doing one stage after, an after, after another, after another. And reverse stitch to finish. So that's the top row joined to the bottom row. Now with these seams, I first of all, I'm gonna press it to set it because it's easier to press it open if it's flat. If it's a bit bumpy, it's not as easy to press open. Um, I'm gonna press this seam open. It really is entirely up to you. A lot of people will press that to one side. It's just because I know that there's a lot of bulk here and you will get a flatter finish. Also, if you're going to quilt it, it will lie flatter. But honestly, if you want to press it for one side, it really doesn't matter. So just open up the seam with your fingers and then press it as you go. Try not to disturb the seam allowances that you've already pressed to one side in the other pieces. But 
you will always get some that are twisted slightly. I don't think I've ever done a piece of patchwork where I haven't got one seam that's twisted. It doesn't really matter. You just get a flatter finish. Then, just like I did before, turn it over and give that a nice press. And also, just for if you're thinking of making the block of the uh, the quilt designer competition, this is the state that we need your block in. Don't go any further than yeah, this. Yeah, just that. Don't, no backing. No, uh, it needs to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half, and it just needs to be at that stage because we will quilt it and we will sew it together. Yeah, don't trim it off unless no. you've made it bigger to trim off, but make sure it's got. It, and it has to be it, 12 and a half. When it's sent to us, it has to be 12 and a half by and 12. And give it a nice press before yes. you send yeah, it, and it will all come nicely. But yeah, don't wad it. Yeah, and don't back it. And don't back it or anything. Yeah. Um, now, if you are going to add wadding to your bag, which you can, you could also add bosel if you want to have a really structured bag. Do that at this stage. So you take your front, so that's complete now because I sewed row three on already. Um, and then you take the back, which is here, and you place those on your wadding yeah. or bosel. And then you've got your three gusset pieces and you place those on. And if you're using an H640, just press them into place. If you're using a non-fusible wadding, just tack them into place. And then if you want to, you can then quilt them. So what I did well, after I put my H640 on with the front, I just quilted along these seam lines all the way along. So I didn't have to draw any patterns. Actually in the seam lines? Or, yes, or, actually yeah. on the seam lines all okay. the way along, just because I didn't want to do any measuring or anything. Um, and then with the, with the back, I did the same thing. I just sewed along the seam lines. But you could do what you like. You could sew... Um, down here you could sew down the centers of them I also did a bit of quilting for the gussets and I just sewed um, horizontal lines across them but that's entirely up to you if you don't want to be bothered with the wadding you don't have to your bag will just be a bit less structured lovely um, right have I got time to just show you the gusset Ooh, very very right. quickly I'm just going to show you one thing about a gusset when you are sewing a gusset which is basically will look like this you'll have side ones and a base one and a side one you're going to be sewing that all the way around the edge so when you join them together leave part of the seam unstitched I'll show you what I mean so if you take your side gusset and your base gusset and place them right sides facing then measure quarter of an inch because that's the seam allowance in from each side and then quarter of an inch in from that side yeah then, when you pin them together, start and stop stitching at those points. I'll just sew that and then you can see and that'll make sense. I mean, again, this is all in the instructions, but this is just a sort of a, a quite a useful tip if you're doing a bag that's got a gusset, because it's quite hard to get a straight edge round a corner yeah. if you finish the seam. So do reverse stitch either side of those seams. So you've stopped a quarter of an inch before the yes. end. Yes, so if you look at this now, you can see I've stopped a quarter of an inch before the end where I've placed those marks. If you then press that seam open, mm -hmm. and the bag gusset and the lining gusset is made in exactly the same way if you press that open like this then when you come to join it together around the side of something if you see what I mean that will go pin all the way down and what you do is you stop stitching at that seam so you would stop stitching just there when you then come to turn it round the corner that seam will open up like this and you will get a much neater finish. So you do that all the way around. Lovely. Right, recap, recap, recap. Shaburu piece of tote bag. You get the panel and you get the instructions. Uh, 10 too many in bar. 10 people are going to miss out. 10 people are going to miss out. If you want it, check out, check out, check out. You get the panel and you get the instructions and the video of how to make it. So you don't have to refer back to this one. There it is, the finished thing. Uh, we had the five inch squares where the, we've still got the Portuguese tile five inch squares. Oh, just sold out, just sold out, just sold out, sold out, sold out. Then we've got the five inch Shiburu squares. 
Beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine. Uh, now, Rebecca Reed, I've got to go. But what are you doing next month? Ah, oh, yes, because you've remembered, haven't you? So next month we're going to learn how to sew curved seams because curved seams are really important. She's things. just brought a few samples. I just brought a few samples. So I have living on my desk at home lots and lots of storage pots with pens, pencils, paper clips, fabric clips, scissors, and everything. So this is about upcycling your tins. So on the, you'll learn how to do a curved seam and inside there's a baked bean tin, there's a golden syrup tin, there's a large um, vegetable tin. A mango puree tin. Mango puree tin because it was the right size. And on the panel as well, all the labels. So some of them say pens, pencils, some of them say fabric clips. Um, so there's two versions. There's the sewing room and then there's the um, textiles one. And that's next month. And that's next month, which I'm not sure when it is because of, I try to do it the first Monday of every month, but that's the bank holiday Monday, so I need to find out that date. But that's All right. Thank you very much. But you're not back in again today, are you? You're going home now. Going home now. Going home now. Just going home now. Say goodbye to Rekka Reed. Uh, I'll see you in four minutes when I've got Quilt As You Go and lots of June Taylor goodies. Mm. Do not miss it. <laughs>We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street.
Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. You may be wondering why she's still here. <laughs> Put your glasses back on. Sorry. You shouldn't leave them scratched like down like that. Scratch your They're cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> I could say something, but I won't. Right, <laughs> right at the end of that hour, they messaged through saying we've got 75 more of each of these. So this is your chance now. So let's do the Portuguese tiles one first. This completely sold out in the last hour. So if you want to be able to make that bag from this panel and these instructions, that's it, that's it, that's it. 75 left. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Complete sellout in the hour. Wrong, wrong background, Michael. Uh, beautiful. People flying in already. People flying in. Twenty-two ninety-nine. So it just shows around the bag, Rebecca Reed. So you've got the patchwork on the front. The back is printed to look like patchwork, but you don't actually have to do it. It's got gussets. It has these um, fabric handles that look like leather because it's got little holes printed on them. Yes, thank you. And then it has matching lining. And a little magnetic clasp. You need to buy the magnetic clasp and you need to buy the H640 to go with. Yeah. But there is your panel, 22 99 plus your instruction. And there is a free f tutorial video. Yes, yeah, so I go through every single step where I show you on the machine and how I do it so that if you've never made a bag or you've not done patchwork or you're just a visual learner and like to watch rather than read. I just um, love Rebecca Reed. I just want to watch it. So, and that's the details for that are on the instructions, so it's very simple to find. Fantastic, so that's that one. Uh, and then we've also got the Shiburu one. Now, these hadn't quite sold out. We've got another 75 added to the stock. There's the bag. Here's the panel. Your blue and white always looks gorgeous together, doesn't it? Oh, we're upside down again. Oh, upside down again. There you there go. go. It's a big panel, this one. There we go. So there's all the pieces you need, the outer, the lining, all the patchwork pieces, the handles. And it's all labelled, so it's easy to see what you're doing. Um, and it's cut, printed to size. Yep. Also, you can make two bags. If you want to play your own lining, you can make two bags because the lining and the bag are made exactly the same way. Yeah, they're identical. So you could make two with the patterns on the outside and then just get calico or, or some of your poplin or whatever to line it with. £22.99. There we go. Thank you. I'll now you can go. Right. I'll see you soon, okay, Becky. You, you take John. care of yourself. Have a lovely right. Show. Quilts you go. Quilts you go. Quilts you go. Right. Okay. Starting with the quilt as you goes. Well, they're all quilt as you goes. Oh, we've got zippity doo duns as well. Okay, then. Right. All right. So where are we starting then? Oh, this is going to be fun. Here we go. Dog place, Mac. Dog place, Mac. Got it. Got it. Got it. No, 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 no. That's fine. Dog placement. Now, the way Quilt As You Go works is you have a wadding. And this is a, a different kind of wadding, this one, because it's going into your dog mat. But basically what you do is you've got your drawing of your blue lines on here. It tells you on the paperwork how to cut them out. What you do is you place fabric one in the place of fabric one with the, fab with the, 
right side facing up. Then you go two, three, four, five. You lay your pieces down. You do not sew along the blue line. The blue line is your placement line, right? So you sew along quarter of an inch this side, fold it over, do not iron it. Do not iron it until the whole thing is done. And then you can, then, but what you've done is you put your back, you've, you've, this has got um, an adhesive backing. You've ironed that onto your backing fabric. So, so you basically, every line of stitching you do on the front is your quilting line. But it, what you stitch on the front will also be seen on the back. So don't be going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, because you're able to see it on the back of the, of the finished thing. I, I have no finished samples of this hour, I'm afraid to show you. 11.99. There's only four of those left. Well done. Now I've got the cat one. Now I always say, this is a cat placement, but if you do fat fish pie for a dinner party and you've got those, like Mary Berry, has got a fish pie uh, shaped dish, then you could just put this underneath on your table, put some, th th well, actually I think it's already Thermaland, isn't it? The um, interfacing that goes in here, but you could also put some Thermaland in if you want to. Eleven ninety nine, exactly the same. You must do it in order, though. You must do it in the order that it tells you. So follow the numbers. Remember, number one starts off face side up, and then two, three, four, five, six. From then on, goes right sides together. Fold it. Placement line along the blue line. Fold back quarter of an inch, and then. It, but you've put your fabric on the back to start with, so you're actually quilting as you're going. I've got a Venice placemat now. Look, I've got log cabin placement. Yeah, let's do that because I can't find Venice. Oh, oh, that's a placemat, is it? Okay. I've got Venice placemats. Let's do that one. Set of six Venice placemats here. So this time, oh, I can't split the bag, I'm afraid. Um, you get six of them. So what you need to do is cut each one out individually with an inch seam allowance around the outside. But this one has a pocket on it. This is the different one. It has a pocket on it for you to put your knife and fork and everything in there. So you've got your chevron detailing here. Then you've got your sashing detail either side. And then here, before you do that sashing, you fold your fabric in half and you do a pocket over the top of that main fabric there. Gives you all the cutting out instructions anyway. Lovely. All six you get in there for $16.99. Obviously, there's no fabric. You have to supply all your own fabric. But you only need a third of a yard of 10 fabrics or 32 and a half. Oh, you could do this one with two and a half inch strips. Half a yard of each of the two fabrics for your pocket panel. Binding and backing. $16.99. $16.99. Right, yeah. No, no, you go on. You, I've got another placemat here, uh, Casablanca placemats. Lovely. Beautiful. So this is your Casablanca. Uh, again, you get six placemats in there. Nice, aren't they? I uh, don't know how big... A finished size, 19 by 15 inches. Very nice. So again, if you've got a fabric you want to show off, these are lovely because you put the big fabric you want to show off in the middle and then I'm presuming they're two and a half inch strips, those. Oh, I can tell you now. Oh, no, they're not two and a half inch strips. Ignore me, they're not two and a half inch strips. Uh, anyway... A 16.99. I don't think I've seen those before. They're nice, those, aren't they? So you put the centre one in first, and then you work in the order, going round and round like a medallion quilt. 16th of August, 2022. Must have been demo on that day. Gorgeous. Loads of those baskets. Make sure you check out on those. Quilting Girl, always very, very, very popular. Very popular. Right, so I now finished table mats. What do you want? Because cats put them all in their different designs. So what do you want to do next? Mug mats there on this side. 
Yeah, they're both... Uh, right, so I've got the two and a half inch strap mug mats here. So you get three different designs in here. You get the chevron, you get the stripe and the stripe, and then you get the... Uh, this is called a... Something kaleidoscope. I can't remember what it's called now, because that's the one I did as my block. Anyway, uh, you get three different designs. Again, you do them all exactly the same way. These do use two and a half inch strips. So you've got jelly rolls you want to get used to or design rolls you want to use up. So chevrons. So I'd start with the stripe one because that's the easiest one. Then I go to the, the kaleidoscope one. Then I go to the chevron one afterwards. 10.99. Nice little projects to have to make as gifts or to give as someone's gift. There's the cotton polyester wadding in this one. 10.99. You have to think about these. You just want to, if you want to just do a bit of sewing in the afternoon, or you can do it in the morning or the evening. It's up to you. But if you just want to sit down, just do a bit of uh, mindful sewing. These are brilliant because all the lines are drawn out for you. All you cut in the instructions. In fact, these would be really easy to do if you're using a two and a half inch uh, jelly roll design roll. Beautiful. Now I've got log cabin mug mats. These are very popular. Now they, these are the same style. I mean, they're exactly the same, each one. But what they've done is they've used the same fabrics, just used them in a different order. You don't have to do that. You can make all three of them the same if you wanted to. But what they've done is they've used the same uh, fabric ranges, but used a different feature one on each one. 10.99, again, using two and a half inch strips. There are three in there. Mug mat, so there's room for your mug and for your biscuits. Beautiful. Loads, loads going into baskets. Remember, you put, the, you put the fabric on first. Uh, the next time I get a bag that's not sealed, I'll open it up and I'll show you the inside. At te they used to make them all with those like, um, you know those things, I don't know what you call them, the zippy lock, the zippy lock tops. They don't do that anymore. They just seal them in now. Is that Jill Rep? Oh, you'll be seeing Jill Rep in August, hopefully. Sewing machine cover. Oh, sorry, Cap. Sewing machine cover. Is that over this side yet? No, no, that's not it. And there, there we go. Got it. Sewing machine cover and caddy. Not just, so you get two in here. So you get the sewing machine cover and you get the caddy to go along the front of you. Now, I wouldn't do this personally. If you're going to be sitting here, you don't want a rotary cutter sticking out of there like that. But anyway, uh, now this op there are options to with a small, medium and large sewing machine. It's got, the sh it's got the measurements for the small, medium and large there, plus the size of the caddy on there. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, I'll tell, better tell you, where's the, the 720s there, isn't it? Yeah. 720, the tape, there's a tape measure in my, in my trolley cat, just measure across the length of it, because uh, I'm presuming that it'll go into the larger, which is 20 inches long. Oh, there you go, yeah, at, at nine inches deep. Yeah, and 12 and a half inches tall. Yep, it'll fit in. You make, you've got to make the large one. Whoever asked for the 720. Sylvia, it's a snug fit, but it'll definitely go over your 720. Definitely go over your 720. Good to know, isn't it? But then if you've also got a small one or a medium one, you can make those instead. Oh, sorry, Patricia. She's criticising my head in the, in the shot. It's because they keep changing, moving the desks, that's why. Yep, twenty six ninety nine. Beautiful. Do so you get both of those? <laughs> Lovely. Next. Yeah, that's the makeup. Sophisticated. Oh, that's okay. Sophisticated strips. That's this one. Yeah. 
Sophisticated stripped quilt. Oh, heads and chuck. Heads and chuck. Right. So the finish size is 40 by 50. This is a really easy one to do because you can do this one. It normally says how many seams, doesn't it, on these? Basically, you're just, just literally putting the strips on there. Oh, I've got a Ziploc bag. I can do this one. Look. Look. I can't open the bag and keep my head back like this. <laughs> this is how I have to stand if you don't see my head in it. Right, look. So what you do is you don't cut this one up. You literally open it up. You get your... Um, 505 spray, and you put your backing fabric down there first, right? Then you turn it over here, and then you find number one. <laughs> two, two, one, there you go. You sorry, head. You put number one, you put the fabric facing up in number one. Then what you do is you cut out number two, you place it right sides together, so a quarter of an inch inside that line and put it over like this. Don't iron it. Use your, your clover roller. And then you just work on. This is brilliant if you've got like a fabric range that you really want to show off. Because look at how big these pieces are. So if you've got a William Morris, if you've got a Tula, if you've got a Cafe, and you really want to show off your fabrics, then you can do there, can't you? And then what you do with this one is you just bind the edge. You just literally bind the edge. There's no sashing. There's no nothing on this one. It's a one block quilt, this one. It's a cheap one. The only thing that I find with this one is you do have to be careful with the big pieces. They don't ruckle as you're going along. So pin them nicely so they stay in place because you've got to make sure that the backing and the front uh, stay together with such a big seam, that's all. At 16 99 99 very popular, that one. Very, very popular. Wine totes next. They're over here. There you go. Now, this way you get three different wine totes. Now, Jill Rep herself made me one of these. And the idea is that you make your wine, you put it in, and then when you then, you re then re-gift it. So when you then take wine to someone else's house, you then take it with you to someone else's and you gift them the wine tote. Uh, Fran, I can do it this hour. I can recap the block this hour. Beautiful, there it is. So you get three different totes. Again, there's an easy one, a medium one, and a slightly more difficult. Not difficult, not difficult, more challenging. Well, you choose what colours you want to do them in, you see. You choose what colours, but that one's just got strips. That one's got long stripes and patching, and then that one's got diagonals. That's why I'm saying start with that one, then go to that one, and then do that one, if you're just learning. Now, the thing about this one is there are circular seams on this one, because I can't open it, I'm afraid. That's the shape, that's the shape there that you're making of your tote. And then what you do is when you sew the sides together, you've then got a round bit that you need to slice into the bottom where the bottom of the bottle goes. So you are, you are doing curved seams on that one as well. Tory tote bag. I've got the Alexander. Sophie Alexander. Oh, hang on, that Tory. Hang on a sec, we'll have a look now. Oh, yeah, there's Tory there, there's Tory, there's Tory. Right, okay, right, okay, that's fine. So, now it's really weird, right, because uh, oh, there's, uh, two of my nieces, one's called Sophie and one's called Alexandra. Which one are we doing? Sophie first. Sophie's the easier one to do. Well, I'm saying the easy. They're all the same, really. They're all the same. Fifteen ninety nine. Again, what you do is you've got your... Don't do what Delphine did as well. I explained what Delphine, one of Delphine's first show with me, she made one of these and she just put the, the, the handles on of the webbing. You meant to cover the webbing handles, look. But anyway, so what you do is you can't really see it in there, is you've got the shape of the bag with the box bottoms and everything, and you do all the stripes and everything. You then sew it together, but obviously the lining is already inside because you put your backing fabric on the back on the inside. So, and then you make your handles to go on there. Oh, look, there's some made up ones there. 
Uh, Quill, as you go. Sophie tote bag. <laughs> so they are your Sophie. You don't get three in a bag. You only get one in a bag. 15 by 14 by 4 are the finished measurements on there. You're loving that one. You're loving that one. Now we've got Alexandra, which is your diagonal one. Same technique, though. Get your backing fabric, put it on the back of the wadding, and then you quilt on the top of the wadding. Oh, did we miss it by one? Yeah, yeah never mind. $15.99. Oh, no, I haven't done that one yet. Is that one open? Yeah. Fabulous, thank you. Right, this one is your Alexandra. Oh, moving on. Blimey. Uh, right, here is your uh, Tory tote bag. Tory tote bag, right? So now if you see this one has got um, flying geese in the middle, but depending on how you put your fabric, it could either be chevron or flying geese. Right, I can show you this one open. Right, so there's your... Tory tote bag. Nice wadding, this one as well. So, this is the, your main bag hat here. Now, these are your box corners there. So, you start at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, you work that way first and then work that way. Oh, head, head, head. And then you've got your strips along here. And then that's your seam allowance in there, your dotted line there. And then these are the straps that you cover your webbing with. $15.99. I don't know. Oh, and there's your other bo box corner over there. So you've already got your lining on this side. You're stitching it through. Have I not got a picture of this one then? Michael not got a finished picture. Oh, Michael. There's the pattern. There's the packet, sorry. There's the packet. Oh, dear. The wadding's giving me an itchy nose now. Don't know. I have no idea, Michael, <laughs> I'm afraid. Fifteen ninety nine. Yeah, all the, pitch, all the pictures we've shown you so far are June Taylor's pictures. They're not any of them, are, none of them have been our pictures that our designers have made or our demonstrators have made. Right, where do you want to go next? Insulated shopper. Now, this one's slightly different. Can't open it. Because this has got, the, in here, you've got that, um, it's like insul break. Can you see it's got metal within the wadding of that one? So it can keep things hot and it can keep things cold. Right? This one also comes with an elastic band and a button. Oh, wait, I'm saying the button. It definitely comes with an elastic band because you can see it there. Now, I seem to remember... Oh, here you go. Webbing for straps, plastic base, and elastic for button clothes. You don't get the button. So it means you can close it if you've got hot things or cold things in it to keep them cool or warm, can't you? Oh, it's one there. Oh, okay, so this, is the, this, this isn't the pattern, but this is the wadding. So don't put this anywhere near your microwave or anything like that, because it's got metal in it. But that, this isn't the pattern. I'm, Kat just showed me the, the wadding there. So 23.99. Now, this is the one Delphine made. So in theory, oh, no, no. It, I, we won't have a picture because it was in the old building. No, not here. How long have we been in this building now? Two. You've been at Sang Street for two and a half years. No, you have not. $23.99. No. Anyway, is it really two and a half? I've only been here three years. Anyway, $23.99. We made, the, so you didn't work in the old building. Right, $23.99. B 
Beautiful. $23.99. Gorgeous. Right, you don't want to... Have we got any... We, so have we not got any that you've quilts that you put together? Oh, how weird. Why have we got... Why have we got... Why have they given me the um, sash and a dash if I've got none with sashing needed? No, 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 no. But you only need those for the ones that jo you join the blocks together. I'll bring them over, but you don't need them for any of these. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're two and a half years. You should know this by now, Ben. Right. Right, look, this, right... This is your grey, and we've got it in sand, and I've got it in white. What you do is... Oh, now Rebecca, oh Rebecca, he's left her bags here, look. Um, right, l just imagine... Ooh, just imagine you've got two finished blocks like this. These are fabric blocks, right? And you've got to do sashing. You're thinking, oh, I really don't want to do sashing. What you can do, this one's got very creased in the bag, is you push this one in here like this, and you push the one next to it in there like that and then you stitch you have to give this one a press you stitch along here and you stitch along here and you've got instant sashing now you buy it by the half meter so it, it'll be cut to order so you have to work out how much you need for your quilt and then what you do let, let's just pretend that goes there and that goes there and then what you've done is when you've done your rows and you want to add another row to it, you then take that one, head, head, head. I don't know how you're supposed to do it without getting your head in shot. And then that one goes there. So you create your sash. And then what you do is you then cut a piece of your fabric from here and just overlay it on there to give your window frame or your sashing we don't need that for security because it's already sti it's already stitched there and there and there and there. It's just for decoration to go down the middle if you don't want that line of stitching down the middle there. So hang on, that's the grey one there. Oh, hang on, yeah, catch, I've got an aqua, a teal, and a white, and then I've also must have a bundle of the, of the, the sand, have I? Right. Okay, so let's do camel by the half metre then. There's your camel by the half metre, 2 99 I was a camel herder in a past life, me. In biblical times. Uh, watch my uh, uh, regression, if you like, on ITV. 2 99 for half a metre, this one. You'll have more than one. Now, I think you've got regal blood in you, Michael. You've got regal, a regality about you. You haven't. <laughs> I think you're in up Pompeii. You won't know what this means. You're in up Pompeii, I think. It's a TV show when I was younger, and it was very, very funny. Got it in white. Do what? A lifetime of peasants. Sash in a dash, white sashing, half a metre. Obviously, you're buying it by the half a metre. Oh, he's on one now, is Michael. <laughs> Beautiful. And then we've got, did they call this one teal, this one? Teal. By the half meter. <laughs> and not even that. Two ninety nine, two ninety nine, cut to order, remember, for half a meter. Okay, now I've got a bundle of camel, four metres, did you say? Four metres of camel, so that should be about 12, oh, 
Oh, four meters, four meters, four meters. So it's eight, it's eight units then. Eight, I couldn't figure out what was 23. It's eight units in there. Eight threes are 24, yeah, there you go. Well, if you go by our panel, it's not called a unit, it's all done, isn't it? I'll show you in a minute what I mean. 23.92 for your four meters. So now, that one comes in a four meter length. If you buy two of those, you get two of them. You won't get eight meters in one piece. They've already been cut. They've already been cut. There it is. Oh, thank you, Michael. Scene one. Now, Ben had this on with Rebecca Reed one day. And they sold nearly a hundred of them in one go, and they've got no idea why. No, not no idea why, but they have no idea on this day that a hundred, nearly a hundred went. And then they had this day, and they didn't do anything different on it. There you go. Susie Duncan adores this, right? So it's really good, really good for quilts you go. Because I said, I said to you, didn't I, don't iron it. What you do is you just press this along your seam like that and it flattens the seam. But you can warm the end on your iron so then you've got a warm uh, warmth to opening the seam and things like that. At 13.99, the magic seam wand, there you go to open your seams, to um, kind of when you're doing quilt as you go, to press your seams, anything like that. Warm it up on the iron. Yet, yeah, Julie, it's Paisley. It's definitely Paisley, look. Definitely Paisley. At 13, I don't think he came from Scotland then. 13, well no, India, it came from India originally. Yeah, Paisley's a place. Paisley's a place in Scotland, but Paisley Patton came from India originally. Eric, I don't know where Eric lives. Yes, that, you're right, you're right. And then he bought a little flat there. I, I haven't seen, I've seen or heard from Eric for ages. Beautiful. 13.99. Have 100 sold yet? 200. 13.99. Oh, is that? Right, be careful, be careful, because there's only 25 left. They're going to go, they're going to go. 13.99. Right, quilting spray, did you say? Basting spray, sorry, not quilting spray, basting spray. So this is the same as your 505 spray. So if you're putting your backing on your quilt as you go, then use this. Now, the more sprays you put on, the more sticky it gets, just to warn you. Won't gum needles. Oh, there's Derek from Scotland. We were just talking about Scotland. Um, Multi-use fabric adhesive, colourless, odourless, stainless and spotless. Won't gum your needle. Temporary and repositionable. Danger. Extremely flammable. So what you need to do is you need to do it with the wind, not the, to stop it, don't do it, in it, don't have a fag while you're doing it basically, but also do it in an, with an open window. So you can use it for quilting or you can use it uh, for embroidery as a stable, uh, for adding your, st when you stick your stabiliser to your main fabric when you're embroidery machine. I didn't do quilts in the 70s. 70s, I was still at school. Thank you. I wasn't cool. I wasn't a cool school child. 15.99. Just bullied, that was all. 15.99. I'm still waiting to become cool. Keep putting my head in the, wind, in the window, in the frame, don't I? I'm not cool. Right, moving on. Zippity-doo done, zippity a Insulated lunchbox. Oh, no, it's a sewing kit. Hang on. Insulated what? Insulated lunchbox, insulated lunchbox. There you go. So now these, you don't get any fabric with these, 
but you get the different cut. Now these again are different. Can I open these? Yes, I can. Which one are you doing first? I'll open that one. Gray, first of all. So what you get in the packet of this is, because they're insulated, you've got that same wadding that Kat showed you earlier. So there's all of your uh, wadding. Now you can machine needle this, don't worry, it won't ruin your needle or anything, it won't ruin your machine. So there's your two main panels, right? So these aren't quilt as you goes, these are literally just the shape of your fabric, right? And you cut on the solid line and you sew on the dashed line. So you sew them together, all the instructions are here. There's your handles, which you cover with your fabric. But the difference with this one is again, like the sashing we had earlier, just put a zip in. It's the easiest thing to put zip in. So imagine these are two sides of your cosmetic bag. That one goes in there like that. That one goes in there like that. You don't need a zipper foot because you're not sewing anywhere near the actual feet. You just sew along this edge and sew along this edge and then your zip is in your bag. So you get the wadding, the handles. Here you go. It, batting, strapping. Oh, oh. Now, can't you need to... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Couldn't see it. Your plastic base and your zipper de doo dark grey zipper. Grey spelt with an A, zipper spelt with an E-R. Well, it's American. It's an American project, isn't it? No, because in his country, it's just called a zip. It's not a zipper in the UK. Beautiful. So that one there has got your grey zipper. I wouldn't make insulated pants out of that, Michael, if I were you. Right, okay, nut colour next. White one, exactly the same, but white. They've obviously used a lovely pink fabric on the front of theirs on this one, with the white zip there, and the insulated, you get a pair for your lunch if you go there. Beautiful. $24.99. And now, have we done this on any day, by the way? I'm sure I've made this with someone. Oh, 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 excuse me. No, this, is Ka this was Catherine Wright. This one was Catherine Wright, this one. Uh, it's black, obviously, it's a black one here, but it's got the plastic thing in the bottom. I'm not sure that this is the... Do you know what? I think that one might have been just a zippity doo dah project, but not with the insulate. Well, it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Maybe. Look, 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 look. No, I think that's the same. I remember, though, isn't this the one where she didn't put a seam in the bottom and you turn it around and it's the wrong way up on the other side? She'll go mad for me showing that one. Anyway, it's that kind of thing, isn't it? It's that kind of thing. So that's the white one. And then I've also got it in black. Oh, which is the one that Catherine made hers out of. There you go. Keep your head out of shot, John. Oh, that's a bit noisy, Michael, that chair. I'm standing up all day today because my knee's playing up today. Oh, God, what are we like? $24.99. Skill level easy. Oh, do you know what I think Catherine Wrights might have been? Because I just said I didn't think I had the insulated in. We've got a sewing kit coming up, which is identical to this, but without the insulated thingy. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Yeah, I will share it again for you, Michael. Right, yo, that's that one. So shall I do sewing kits now then? Oh, have you? I haven't. I haven't got any more insulated lunch boxes. 
There's a navy one. I've got a name. Oh, sorry, sorry. I have. There it is. There it is. Oh, no, I see what I've done wrong. I see what I've done. I've run. That one didn't say sewing kit. Oh, it did. I've seen here sewing kit, thinking it was a sewing kit, but it's actually the insulated lunchbox in Navy. It's a kit that you sew, not a kit that you make a sewing box out of. My bad. I wonder, you wouldn't leave, what are those? That little squash blueberries, you wouldn't just put those in a zippity up bag, would you? Oh no, because this one, they're in a bowl. Right, yeah. and then we've got this one here, which is your camel. Camel! Zippity doo dining camel, insulated lunch tote, lunch box tote. $24.99. Beautiful. Now, what have we got next then? Cosmetic bags or a project bag? Cosmetic bags in four colours. Four, yeah, four colours. These are zippity. I've got black, camel, or is it red and white? I've got the red first, then there you go. So no fa there's no fabric in these. Ed, oh, not my head. Oh, sorry, I thought my head was in shot. What biscuit are you doing? Oh. Uh, there's two bags in here for $29.99. Pre-sewn red zippers and printed backing, batting for two bags. That's the one with the red zip. Obviously, you do your own fabric, sir. Fabric, sir. You need a quarter of a yard of six fabrics and half a yard of backing fabric. And a brush. And a perfume bottle. And a nail varnish remover. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Small ones, nine by five by three. And the large is 13 by nine by four. You won't have made that by the 11th. Now, who's just come back from Amsterdam? Um, Louisa Galt's just come back from Amsterdam and her lovely husband, Justin. They, because the pictures were on, on um, Facebook, yeah? Down the canals and it, with all the lovely night shots and everything. No, they weren't there. 29.99. Well, no, you need to go to the, there are certain roads that you should have gone to then. Further up, not where the normal thing bit is. Twenty nine ninety nine. Then we've got the white one. Again, two bags, two zips, two waddings. But the white, the white zip. This one. Beautiful. Twenty nine ninety nine. If you want to see things like that, you need to go. Well, when I lived in New York. And you I mix with all people from New York and everything. You don't go to see the sites. You get to see some. I spent most evenings in a Puerto Rican transvestite den. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Loved it. It was in a basement. I have no idea where it was. 29 99 And then we go to Dean and DeLuca for our lunch and have zucchini toasted sandwiches. <gasps> oh. Well, I worked on Broadway, didn't I? 588 Broadway. Oh, dear. It's in my book, just briefly. No, it's in my book because I became friends with, um, oh, I don't know if I should say this, a lady that was on television who didn't wear very many clothes. Well, you have public broadcast stations there, so you can put anything on at night time. And she was from Essex, she was lovely. Right, then I've got tan. Oh, that's, you see, the fabric, it depends on the fabrics you choose as well, doesn't it? Those lovely fabrics. No fabric in there. Just your two zips and your two waddings. Uh, Julie Vaughan's daughter did her first marathon in Amsterdam. I don't, don't think they're going to Amsterdam to do a marathon.
Is that Rebecca Reed? She's still here. Oh, she's going home now. The dog will be starving by the time you get home. No, the dog, I said. Oh, you're stopping at Gloucester Services. Rebecca Reed will be in Gloucester Services in about an hour. An hour and ten minutes she'll be there going that way, going away from Redditch towards Bath. Oh, south, that is, south, south. No, no, somebody was waiting for her last time, weren't they? She'll be wearing a crocheted hat. Right, then we've got the black one. Lovely. Twenty nine ninety nine. Beautiful. Uh, that's the end of those cosmetic bags, but I've now got your project bags. Now we've made these. I've made these with Susie Duncan. These I have. Black first. So now this one, you get in this one. Where's the instructions? What you get? You get your two pieces of vinyl already in here. Or if our team upstairs have got anything with spelling, vanilla, two pieces of vanilla, two zippity doo dum black zippers, and patterns printed on stabilizer to make them. You can make two project bags there. They're both the same size, 16 by 18 inches. So you quilt the back of it is actually, this is identical to the one we made with um, Jenny Jackson on Sunday. Absolutely identical to the one we made with Jenny Jackson on Sunday. $24.99. That's the black version. Then I've got the tan or camel version. They're frightening, aren't they, camels? When I went to Petra, they were all and um, they were all there chewing the cud. Well there wasn't much cud. No, no, that was a holiday. That was a holiday I went on. That was a holiday. Twenty-four ninety-nine. But you see, I'd um, I'd been. It's very strange, and, and, and I know some people don't believe in this, but I'd been regressed before then, and I'd been a gem um, supplier in biblical times, right? And then I, I, I who also had cat herds of camels. So, and I did this whole thing about that herds of camels and everything. Anyway, we got to Petra on holiday, and we just kind of you do this long walk from to, to get there and everything, and we suddenly stopped, and I started saying, "Oh, and this is where such and such lived, and this is where such and such lived," and it was like. I was suddenly back in that life and it was the weirdest thing. And then the tour guide said, so this is where the gem hunters would live because they weren't allowed, the gem traders, gem traders would live because they weren't allowed into the city. And I just said all, all of this and everything. It was the weirdest thing, weird thing. But at that slight, when I went to Paris, and I was filming in Poirot uh, in Paris once and we got out of the minibus and this French person just walked up to me and said in French, oh, how do I get to such and such? And I said in fluent French, oh, you go up past the church, turn left, and it's the third one on the right. And everyone said to me, how do you know? And I went, I've never been here before. But I knew. And I, was able, I remembered all the words and everything. Oh, yeah, apparently the minibus driver said I was exactly right. But then, yeah, there was no little. It was Bon Marché, actually, Bon Marché. Um, but the same thing happened when I was in... Uh, I was doing a show called Showtime 84 in 1984 in Switzerland and we all had to share rooms and everything. In the middle of the night, I woke up and was speaking fluent German. Well, I can't speak German. Fluent German. And they started asking me questions in German and I was answering all these questions in like complete fluid ger fluent German. It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, moving on. Uh, I've now got the red one. Yeah. 24.99. John. I love your book. Thank you for sharing and making me laugh. Oh, Debbie, that's lovely. Thank you. Available on Amazon in both paperback, Audible and Kindle. Oh, don't. Everyone keeps asking me for the sequel. And I haven't even started it yet. Too busy doing my Threads of Life TV show now. 24 
Look at the time. I've got to do this quickly, 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 because fans are waiting for this. Uh, nothing to do with June Taylor. This is, we launched this this morning. This is the design a quilt block. What you need to do, over half of today's stock has gone. We will be able to print more. Don't worry. We'll be able to print more. We'll have it on sale till about the end of May because uh, it has to be in by the 14th of June. You can enter as many times as you like. So this, your finished block has to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Do not wad it. Do not finish it. Don't do anything. Just make it up. You can embellish. You can do applique. You can do embroidery. You can do traditional patchwork. You can do whatever you want as long as it's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. That's the size you need to send in. So when we put them all together, they're 12 by 12. 12 winners will be chosen. The 12 winners will each get £100 worth of credit added to their account. Um, and then all the others will be sent off to be made into charity quilts. But the final 12 will be on display. I'll launch it on the Thursday at Festival of Quilts in August. Right, going for a break now. We have got, oh, lovely, uh, Catherine Savage up next with her beautiful, and we've got some lovely new embroidery bits as well. We'll see you back here in four. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products, we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. 
whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm, and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Now, Catherine's here, Catherine Savage, not Savage as I like to call her. I went to school with a girl who's called Lisa Savage, right? And every time I said, Savage, you go, it's Savage. So I presume you were going to be a Savage. You, you can I'll call be, whatever. I'll be Savage. You'll answer yeah, to anything. I'm happy with Savage. Okay, so first of all, you've been before, <laughs> welcome back. You've had a bit of a, an eventful time since you last, because you've had a stall at um, Stitch Festival, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And yeah. tell everybody. I won, a, I won an award oh, for the best too stand. Shy, you? She won an award for, and it looked gorgeous as well, your stand. But how lovely, because you're quite new to all of the stand and everything like that, the events and everything, aren't you? Yeah. So that's a, quite an accolade to get when you we kind of knew, because it's kind of that kind of industry where you have to be grow, you know, grow into it and everything. And there you are getting an award straight away. So yeah. with, that was at which one? The, that was at Stitch Festival. So in Islington. Islington. In yeah. Islington. Are you doing any more events this summer or this I year? I am going to be at Thread in Farnham. Oh, OK. And then Knitting and Stitching Show. Is that October. in Harrogate? Uh, or, or? No, the one at Ali Pally. Oh, you don't yeah. go. You don't go far from home then. Because the kids are still a little bit small. Yeah. Um, I haven't. I haven't ventured north yet. They haven't been trained <laughs> to work on the stand yet. They help make boxes, but yeah. Not. So where are they today then? <laughs> they're with Granny and Pops today. Oh, and they're going to be watching, or they're going to be out playing. I think they are watching. Oh, so where are Granny and Pops then? They are in Farringdon in Oxford. Oh, not Farringdon in London. No, is it? no, no, no. Farringdon in Oxford. Oh, yeah. and they're having a nice day with Nat. Who Gra are they? Granny and Pops. Granny and Pops. <laughs> Granny and Pops. Oh, right. Okay, so they're all safely what's it? Like when you were here last time, what what would you call your art? It's embroidery. Yeah, embroidery. Embroidery, embroidery and hoops, everything. But we've got new things for you today as well. But last time you were here, we did a bumblebee. I thought I'd put it next to me. There is it there? Right. We, I'll let Cat show do you close up. This completely sold out last time we were here, uh, last time you were here, didn't it? Completely and utterly sold out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through everything that's for sale and then we'll do some um, uh, demonstrations because we've got, we got some new things in today, which I'm really excited about to get to. But let's start with the bumblebee. So what you get in your bumblebee for your 26 99 is you get everything you need to make that in front of you there, including the easel. Right, now let me just show you, because I've got... Oh, actually, I'm going to do this so I'm upstairs, aren't I? So this is, that's how yours arrives, in a box like that. And then inside the box... Hang on, I'll, I'll do this for Michael. <laughs> right, so inside the box, you do get 
Tell me what this is then. Instructions. So all your instructions with everything you need. Yeah. So um, written up fully, and then there's also video links. In oh, there. there's a video link as well? Yeah, so on page two, there's video links with all the stitches. So if you stitches you haven't done before, or there's ones you want to recap on, I filmed them all in advance. And you oh, fantastic. Type it into YouTube and then find the video link. Lovely. So you get the hoop. Nice. You thing. get the ribbon to hang the hoop from. Yep. You get the needle. You get a needle threader. Very important. Plus you get all of your threads. Plus you get, now what's this fabric, is it? So the fabric's all pre-printed, so there's no drawing your design on. Um, so it's ready just to pick up and put straight into your hoop and start stitching. Okay, and then what's that for there then? That is to back your fa um, back the hoop. So I like to back my hoops with a piece of felt. Um, so if we turn any of the samples over, we can just have a look on the back. Oh, I see, so it yeah. goes behind, so you yeah. don't stitch through it. Sorry, I'll hold yeah. it up for Kat, I'll put it so on there for Kat. You don't stitch back. through it once you've done your stitches, you put it on the back. Yeah. Before, so it doesn't stick to the hoop here. It just goes on the stitches yeah. behind there. It just kind of helps, like close the back, so you don't see any any of the. Edges. Okay, then what's that for there then? Sometimes on some of them, if there's extra bits you want to add on, so these flowers, for example, if you don't want to add those on, that makes the design ever so slightly harder. Oh, so, okay. So on yeah. there is just your just you some get your bumblebee, bits. your bee, yeah. and then if you want to embellish with the flowers, you can do it or not. But then you've also got that for future projects exactly. as well. Yeah. So it's not just a one-off kit. What lovely gifts these are, be, aren't they? Twenty-six ninety-nine. There's your bumblebee with flowers. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. So I'll put all that back in the box there. Okay. Now the other bestseller of, of yours is the ladybirds, isn't it? Yeah, the ladybirds. Right, that one back there. This is this is your ladybirds one. Oh, <laughs> this has been going on. Pre I'll hold it actually. Going on pre-order. Aren't they cute? Now, there seems to be an awful lot more stitching on that one. There is a little bit more stitching on that one, okay. but it's still really beginner friendly. Beginner friendly. Right, why are you called Treasure Cave? So, um, Catherine with a K, so that's cave. Um, <laughs> that's a bit <laughs> convoluted. Catherine with a K, so that's cave. Uh, so I can spell cave, it's just, yeah, Catherine with a K. And um, embroidery, I always think, is something to treasure. So, you know, oh, it's a, okay. Yeah. So how did you get in? I'm just going to show you what's inside the box here and then I'll ask you a question. So again, instructions, video link for all the stitches there. You've also got a, a plan of what stitches go where on all of the... So look, hang on, if I open that one. There you go, look, look, look. So there you go, there's the whole design and what stitches, what stitches you need to do on each design. There you go. Then you've got your hoop, your threads, your cotton with it already printed on, your velvet. Do I get another, do I get a drawing in this one or not? No drawing of that one. No drawing, oh, no drawing <laughs> in this one. But it's on the instructions. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> 30 pounds, 30 pounds. And you get the easel as well. And you get the easel. The easel's not in the pitch there. And the piece of ribbon to hang it on. Uh, now, how did you get into this then? Did you go to college to do embroidery? How did it come about? My grandma taught me initially when I was seven. Right. Um, and then I went on and studied at London College of Fashion um, and carried on ever since. And really. Did you do embroidery at London? I didn't do embroidery specifically. I did product design development. Right. And then I threw embroidery in onto absolutely every project I could. So we Because do, you love doing it. Yeah. 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 And then outside of when I was not doing pattern cutting or design or whatever I was doing for the projects at the time for uni, I'd always do embroidery. So what did you do when you left uni then? I went on and I became a buyer. So I worked in fashion buying and merchandising. And oh, okay. For Hugo, Bo Hugo Boss and Harrods. And then eventually moved over and worked in consulting for a while. Consulting? Yeah. What, consulting <laughs> buying? Well, like kind of customer research. So oh, advising okay. buyers on what like customer trends and things for, like that. For, for a shop or for, for a, a for a brand a consultancy called verdict it was the, oh, okay the and they oh yeah. so they were a consultancy company and yeah. you work for them and, and then people out. come to them and say we want to find out this yeah. okay so yes yeah, so lots of talking to people to finding out you know what what they're you, liking what they're not liking and did you love doing that i did enjoy it yeah it was quite nice to kind of have some of the answers yeah, yeah you yeah, never yeah. sometimes know what buys no what, exactly what works and no, what doesn't. No. So, yeah. so then so then how did we go from there to this then because this so is this, your job now isn't this it? is my job um I was made redundant between my two children and I was pregnant at the time. Oh, hang on, so, hang on. So you had one child. Yeah. And then, then you got made redundant while you were pregnant with the second child. Yeah, handy. <laughs> and then I was doing an awful lot of stitching um, for myself, really. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. some friends gave me the nudge and said, come on, you should, you should do something with this. Yeah. So I set up an Etsy shop. I was going to say, are we near, are, are we, uh, uh, how old's the youngest child? 
she is five. Oh, so it's before COVID then? Yeah. Yeah. So not even you can't even blame it on COVID. No, then. no, no, no. Because no, no. a lot of people come on going, well, I had a proper job. Then COVID came and I had to start <laughs> stitching. So no, I. Oh, so um, it was just before COVID. Just though. before. No, Handle. so the little one was one um, during that time. That yeah. was fun. Um, and I had I used uh, the time and I, I needed some, something for me and I do an awful lot of stitching. Mm -hmm. And then people said, oh, can you teach my daughter? Yeah, sure. So I put kits together. And ah, that's where the kits started. I see. So you really started as an embroidery teacher, but you needed the kits to teach the, 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 the children all the grown-ups. remotely, yeah. So teaching remotely. And oh, how, of course, because you're at home, you, yes. How would you teach a, a child? I mean, so you, you send you them the write. kit, they buy the kit, you send to them, and then you teach remotely. Yeah. Oh, clever. Yeah. So, and then I sort of filmed the instructions. So I thought, well, how can you teach a nine-year-old how to stitch? And they want to see. Yes, yes, and of I'm, course. And yeah. I'm a visual learner. I want to see too. So yeah. I filmed all the instructions. And then it kind of carried on from there. Yeah. yeah. And now it's full-time, every day, all day? Almost full-time. Oh, almost. Full -time. Yeah. You got another job as well then? I no, do. You, got children. <laughs> you do it as well. It's bringing up two children. And as well, what do you do for a real job then? A real job? This is my real yeah, job. Yeah, no, no. What do you do? Okay, what do you do as your part-time job then? My part-time job, I'm a swimming teacher. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit different. Oh, yeah. no, 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 but I, brilliant. Children's swimming teacher? Yeah. Oh, how fun. Around southwest London? Yeah. How brilliant. I didn't know that. <laughs> that came as I wasn't expecting that at I all. I keep that quiet. <laughs> that, no, that, but it's brilliant. No, but I think it's good because if you do it 24-7, yeah. it's your hobby that you've made into a thing. But there is that thing of over... You can overdo it, you know. Oh, uh, you know, you can ruin your hobby by. So you've got to go after your swimming. You've got your yeah. kids and everything, and a husband to <laughs> support and love and obey and all that rubbish. Yeah, right. Obey. Um, <laughs> that, wasn't that your, isn't that when you get married? Don't you say to only because I watched Vicar and Dibley yesterday, and Alice got married in it, and it was all the it was all the things. I was like, anyway, let's move on. Let's do. <laughs> let's do. This one, this one, this one, this one. I'll hold this one up for you. In fact, I'll leave it for Kat to catch up there. So now this one is your baby, a baby bumblebees, this one. Bees and daisies, that one's called. Bees and daisies, £27. You do get the easel. You get everything you need in the kit. So it's drawn on the cotton. You get the hoop. You get the threads. You get the needle. You get the needle threads out. You get the easel. You get the felt to go on the back. And that's about it, isn't it? Everything you need. Everything. Everything you need in there for £27. Right, now I want to move on to, so that's those three there. Th this one here, can you see that on Kettle? Do you want me to bring it in shop? This one here is a little bit different, right? So this one here is your dandelion one. Now, what it is, yes, it's smaller, and yes, it's on, is that a linen background that one's on, or is that just it's, coloured it's cotton? Still, yeah, coloured cotton. Coloured cotton, right? Now, you're thinking, well, it's £20, John, and there's, it's much smaller. You get, right, I need to take, oh, I can get have I, have I you got that? No, 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 no. I've, got, I've only got one box. Brilliant. Oh, now the brilliant thing about Catherine's box, if you buy them as a gift for somebody, you can unpeel the label, have a look inside, have a rummage inside it, and then the label goes back down again, doesn't it? So it's really brilliant. Everything's... So do you sit at home packing all these boxes then? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so children aren't quite old enough yet to pack the boxes. They're very good at making the boxes. Yeah. Sorry, I've made you rip it's that one fun. open. Right. So in this one... It's called Dandelion Upcycling Embroidery Kit. So why is, why is, it, why is it an upcycling, first of all? So I initially put it together because I really like stitching on clothing. Right. And I really like, you know, sometimes you get an old splatter or you get a little um, hole and you want to, like, actually just revamp an item of clothing. Oh, yeah, because so, you've ruined it. Yeah. yeah. So but you can do it because you love it as well. You also, want to embellish to make, it. Yeah, yeah, to make it. So in this box, you get the instructions... You get a needle. What are these? Some pins in case you need to pin the stick and stitch. Fabric right, okay, on. because you get thread, you get the hoop, you get your threader, you get your fabric, but then look, you get this. Oh, sorry, I've just dropped out the box. <laughs> Uh, you get your felt and you get three pieces of this as well. So just explain to me what these are and what this is. So this is um, often they're called stick and stitch fabric. Right. So it's really, really simple. I've got a little example here. Yeah. So with this... I'm just going to bring it into shot. There you go. There you go. So you cut that out, cut out from this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's quite soft on the surface. It's a little fabric on the surface. And on the back, it's a bit of paper. Yeah. And you peel it off. Right, we're going to and do a demo on this later, but and you stick so it. you take you peel that off and you stick it down onto. If you're doing this one, yeah, 
you stick, stick it down it onto, onto there, fabric. right? Or if you've got clothing, oh, it's not, I thought that was on the, have I not got one with this on? But you can do it on clothing as well. Look, I'll show you these in a second, right? So you stick it on. Stick it on. Yeah. You then put it in your hoop to have your tension. Yeah. Stitch through. Yes. Your embroidery stitches like you would yeah. do if it was in a hoop. And then you can dissolve it. So it just dissolves and once you finish stitching, you just put all this in a little bit of um, water, like lukewarm water, cold yeah. water, absolutely fine. Lukewarm water. And it water, dissolves, yeah. Yeah. dissolves away. Brilliant. But the reason you get three in here is you can put one in the hoop, then you can put one on a denim jacket, you can put one on a little bear dungarees, you can put one on, if you've got a blouse that you've spilt some olive oil on and you need to cover it up, you can put it on there. And exactly, well, how many t-shirts have I got through where I've dribbled olive oil or something <laughs> down myself, I'm filthy. Uh, and then it doesn't wash out, sometimes it doesn't yeah, wash out, doesn't does it? Wash. While I was watching Vicar Dibley yesterday, <laughs> exactly. So it's kind of like, so you get three of those for your 20 pounds, plus your fabric, plus everything. So why, what's this for? So if you're stitching on jersey, sometimes you want to have a bit of interfacing. Right. Because there's nothing worse than when they've, you've got um, something rubbing against your skin. Oh. So yeah, this is just there. It's only if you're using something like a jersey, you might need it. And you put it on the other side of the yeah. fabric. So you've, you've printed this onto one. So if it's on a T-shirt, you print it, not printed, stuck that down on one side, yeah. but then that goes on the underneath, which is why you need those little pins to hold it all in. Exactly. Do your stitching, wet it, this one will disappear. And the one on the back will just stay, but kind of conceal any, any yeah. bits that might rub it. But it's like, it's like when you buy a, t a sweatshirt for a, like a... Bat, I don't know why I'm saying the baton backing. twirling, but you know what I mean? And you have like the... Exactly, yeah. And you have fabric on the back, so that's the equivalent yeah. to that just to hold... So you haven't got stitches scratching yourself inside. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's your upside, upcycling dandelion one, which we will show you more of later. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. I'll put that one over there, because that's yours. Right, what else have I got along here? Let's do... Um, let's do the big butterfly with Heather now. Oh, actually, I'll put it here. I'll put it here because Kat's gone to get the water. No, 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 because Kat's just gone to get the bowl of water for us. There you go. So now this one looks a little bit more, I want to say intense, that's the wrong word, isn't it? More, there's lots more stitches closer together. Yeah, so this is a split stitch. It's not really, really hard. Um, it's probably a little it's bit more It's the black stitching as well, or is it black felt? Black all stitching. Oh, it's, so the whole yeah, thing stitched? All stitched, yeah. So you stitch all the colours first and then little bits of white and oh, then you bowl, go round and... Oh, sorry, yeah, put it in a little bowl so we can just dip it into a bowl. Thank you. Thanks, Kat. Uh, £30, so, sorry, Kat. So, it's all so you, you stitch all the colour bits first, little white dots, and then you go back round and you stitch, stitch all the black. And then there's a couple of little stitches. There's some just some straight stitches over the top just to add those details. How? Because I thought you'd do it the other way around. I thought yes. you'd do black and then colour the orange ones in. You could do it. Either. No, 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 no. I'm not I telling you what it. to do. <laughs> Yeah, and then these, this, these are um, lazy daisies, but they're yeah, slightly they're free. Big. Yeah, quite big. And then a little colour in the middle, just to kind of fill that area in. A little what? Just a little stitch in the middle to fill the area in. And then how's the, how's the stem done then? The stem is a stem stitch. Oh, <coughs> I don't know much about embroidery, I'm afraid. Uh, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, gorgeous that one, isn't it? Uh, so everything comes in the box. Let me quickly show you the box. Have I picked up the right box? Yeah. There you go, look. Everything's in there that you need, all the... Go now, do I, do I split the threads? Yes, yeah. And will it tell me, or are they all the same, or do they tell me how to split it? It will tell you it? on every single one what to split them to. Okay, brilliant. two strands or three strands. What, what, one, two or three? Yeah, two, one, two or three in most of them. And are some of them more than that then? To some, uh, I have one design that I use four, but it's okay, not here. But that, no, no, yeah. no. But that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's only because when you do, when we have um, Jane in from um, Cross Stitch Guild, hers are mainly three. Yeah. But then when she does back stitch, she just has sing, single threads on hers. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's your butterfly one. Remember, they all come with the easel as well. Then I'm going to move. Oh, I love this one. Look at this one here. This is beautiful. So this is like poppies and daisies and cornflowers. Love this one. So now, how do they start life? How do how do you like if you if you're going for, going for a walk with the children around Bushy Park or wherever? And that used to be where, near where I lived. I only think of Bushy Park because I used to take Charlie the dog for walking around Bushy Park, where there were deers and things yeah. like that, and I loved it. 
And, um, and, but you, you'll see things. Do you sit and photograph them? Or do you just think, oh, I'll remember that when I get home? How, do we, how does it start? I have endless photos. On your but, phone? Yeah, my phone is either, either filled with embroidery, photographs of what I'm going to be stitching next yeah. for my children. One oh, of one yeah. one no of three. husband. Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, he has a feature occasionally. Oh. <laughs> um, so, so then you go home and you do you recreate Draw. it as a like a pencil drawing or are you one of these people with an iPad and a I, stylus or something? I have an iPad now. Oh, okay. Um, and tend to use Procreate. Um, so it's a little design tool that you can like draw almost like trace over and then I kind of adjust. Trace? Not trace, but it's my, trace. my photos. Yeah, yeah my <laughs> photo. Add, add yeah, but that, that's not going to be from a photo, is it? You're going to have no. had a photo of a poppy, a photo of a daisy, a photo of some leaves yeah. and you've had to so incorporate have, yeah, them all in. It it's not going to be like that in the, in the park, is it? No, if only. Uh, so you draw it up and then does it then, then, does it then get transferred onto the yeah. cottons? So, so that one there... I think that's gorgeous. How much is that one? Thirty pounds. Maybe you do get the easel as well. Oh, you're halfway through one. Yeah. There. So that one's that's one I brought as a bit of an, a bit of an example. Oh, so, uh, that's so that's nice. what it looks like. The fabric for this one is all pre-printed. Oh, is it coloured in already? Some of it is coloured in. So if you don't want to stitch, or just to kind of give you a bit more of a guide. Then it's or there. also, if you do like miss a stitch or your stitches yep. aren't so close together, then at least it's not white coming through from exactly. the background. You've got the yeah. colour. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So again, yeah, a bit of a safety net. So in the box, you get everything you need, the stitch guide, the access to the videos, um, all the different... I mean, it's all written down as well as the access to the videos, isn't it? And all your beautiful colours in there, your needle, your needle thread, your hoop, your felt, your, your printed up... Look, there's your printed up piece of cotton. All beautifully wrapped in a box. These make gorgeous gifts, you see. There it is, £30. £30, that one's lovely. And remember, as I say, you get the easel as well. So put that one there. Now, I've only got a couple more to show you. This sunflower one, which you'll notice is in the, in the stand now. I'll do that. Now, again, that's, that's kind of quite, not intense. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. What, what is it when there's more stitches than there are? Um, I guess it's a more, more full design. I don't know what you, it's not a word for like lots of stitches. That one actually has only got four different types of stitches in it. Oh, is it? Yeah. I like to do the smaller ones almost as like um, samplers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're just they're something that you'll actually want to look at after rather than they're just being a, a panel with, you know, a stem stitch and a back yes, stitch. Yeah. So this one, you do lots and lots and lots of the same stitch to really kind of get okay. lots of good practice in. Are the ones in the middle? They're not. Fre they're not. They are French nuts. Oh, crikey. But really tiny little ones. Tiny, gorgeous French nuts there. Again, in the kit, you get everything. Now, is that one? Oh, no, that one's, that one's there, look. You can see what that one looks like on the, on the stand there. So when you get it, it's got that picture in it on it. The th you get the hoop, the, the cotton with the picture on it, the needle, the needle threader, all the threads you need, plus the felt for the background, plus the ribbon, plus the... Instructions. Instructions. And you need <laughs> something else. Instructions. And the easel. Thank you, Michael. And the easel. Right, that's everything that we've got. Oh, no, 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 no. The most important thing that I think, the most important thing. Now, these um, are, you saw it in the dandelion one. And in the dandelion one, you got the three different one. I've got four different. Now, these, uh, do these work in exactly the same way as those? Yeah, exactly. So if I just show you here. So you've got butterflies, bees, daisies, stick and stitch, embroidery patches. Right, but look, there they are. So you get one of each. Uh, so you cut, you obviously cut round them, put them onto wherever you want to stitch, whether it's a piece of cotton for something like this or on a piece of clothing or something, and then literally stitch through, do the same thing. We've got a little bowl of um, tepid water here. And you, you stay, after you've stitched it, you dunk it in the tepid water and this disappears and your stitching stays there. Yeah. Aren't they lovely nine pounds they are? There they are, nine pounds. Oh no, I've got that. Where was, is that in your house? That is. I've got that tray. Have you? Yes, <laughs> but I can't think where it is now. Yeah, we live in the same house. Yeah, we live in the same house. <laughs> There's that one. Then I've got spring flowers, which is this one here. Beautiful, aren't they? Not necessarily in proportion. <laughs> Don't shake your head like that. You've been once, you've, been, you've had your nice show. Now it's reality. This is the real life. Nine pounds. 
Nine pounds. My brother, when we went on holiday to Greece a few years ago, he saw these trees they absolutely adored. And I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, I thought for Christmas, oh, I'll get him one of those to grow. Like, Could I get them? And they're everywhere in Greece. They're absolutely <laughs> everywhere. And they look a bit like this, but they're upturned sort of thing. Uh. Uh, Dense. Yes, I am a bit dense. dense. No, 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 no. Where, thank you. Where the stitches are, it's more dense. dense. Thank you. Not me. Dense. Right, floral vines. Oh, now this is the one. I've got some. Yeah, you hold on to that, and I'll go and get that one. Is that that one? Yep, that's yep. it. So look, this one's slightly different, because on the other pack, you got several. This one, you get a reverse. Is that right? One goes one way, and one goes the other way. And then, so what you do is you embroider it, and then you, well, you'll, we'll show you in a minute, you un, I won't show you the back. Then we'll unstitch it, uh, 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 dip it into tepid water. The stitch, whatever that's called, the patch disappears, and the embroidery stays where it is. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Nah, uh, nine pounds. Have I missed this one? Have I got that one? Um, it's there you similar. go, is that that one? Yeah, but this is a really good example of like um, how to use the stick and stitch patches. So stitching on dark fabric, it's really, it's impossible to transfer your pattern on um, without using chalk and then chalk often isn't particularly accurate. So using these means you get a really nice accurate um, transfer yeah, of yeah, the pattern yeah, yeah. Onto, onto fabric. And what, what did you spill on here then? That had a little dot of bleach, I think, over here. Oh, that's yeah. really funny, shirt, because I was doing my house this day and I had my favourite Rolling Stones T-shirt on, and then I'd bleached the kitchen, gone upstairs to get changed, and the whole of this yeah. bit where I'd splashed up the sink, I've got great... Not that I'm going to cover it in flowers, because... No, no, my favourite T-shirt that happens to have Rolling Stones on it, that's all. <laughs> anyway, £9, £9, that is. Right, no, I don't wear T-shirts, I, I just round the house and when I'm doing my PE. But I don't wear them to go out out. I'm, I'm not very good, I don't like n nothing around here. I don't like it, hang on. I don't like just a round neck here because when you get old and saggy, it's not very nice. What are you going to show us? So, oh. Some satin stitch. Yeah, <laughs> dense. Something nice and do smooth. Do some dense satin stitch. I will try. We're doing the sunflower. <laughs> Okay, so with the sunflower. Um, I thought I recognised that bee. I, my, I bought my daughter that kit. As a, it's a great introduction to embroidery. Well done, Kat, on growing your business so much since I last saw you. Oh, well, that's nice. You. That's Anna Sewing Nut. <laughs> Wendy says, on a, as a child, on, I'm reading this without checking them first. Uh, as a child, on a school trip to North Wales, on a woodland walk, I started to describe to the teacher about a, oh hang on what's this got to do with embroidery now i'll come back to that one i'll come back to that one right okay so what do we do so satin stitch there's yes. one really good way of making your satin stitch look really good right so first you've got to cut your thread mm -hmm. so um stretched out fingertips to your elbow right what else um, have i got super long arms if you, you might have longer arms then that's absolutely fine okay um, what you don't want to do is keep using longer lengths because then you're really going to hurt your shoulder yeah. over time or if you're sitting in a workshop and you're stitching next to someone oh, you like, yes. you might also then Stab catch them. them. Yeah. Um, so satin stitch, the way, it make, the way you make to make it look really nice is actually to split your stitch, split your threads out. So take one strand at a time. So we're going to use two strands. Yeah. So uh, just okay. take two out separately. Right. And if they're nice and split out already, all the twists that they will be putting on to get them like this. This is what you've cut yeah. ours off in our kit, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All the twists, because all, all, um, all threads are always twisted up. Yeah. So it just means that they're now going to be nice and flat when they're sitting on your fabric, rather oh, than being okay. all rather twisted. Than being twisted. Okay. And when you want a satin stitch, you want it to be nice and smooth. So right. that's the best way to make it look really nice and smooth. Lovely. Top over there. I've prepared Got one already. Yeah. yeah. So I am going to start with the petals um, at the back. So there's some petals that look more at the front. Oh, like yes, yes, here, yes, yes, yes. And there's yes, yes. some that look at the back. Yeah. So I'd always do the ones at the back first, because then the ones that sit over the surface actually then kind of cover up any little okay. imperfections. So I'm going to do this one here. So I'm going to start from the middle. And I'm going to do a nice big long stitch oh. down the centre. Right, OK. First one. And then I'm going to put my next stitch in as close to the first one as possible. So bringing my needle up at the back. So you've gone back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. So you're so always a long going stitch early on the... all oh, okay, the way right, around. Right, right. Bring your needle to the surface. And then as close to the 
first stitch as possible. Yeah. So I always stitch one side first, fill that one half first, and then go back and fill oh, the other okay. half. This stitch. But now as you can see, you've got a line, you've got a... Got a little line there, so I'm just going to fill. Oh, I see. So it really is just colouring in, basically. Yeah. yeah. So as close, stitch as close to the previous stitch as possible. And then you can take your needle and just... What's that called? Um, I guess just loosening these stitches. <laughs> You're not very good with words, are you? <laughs> Dense, no dense, dense. not no. dense. No, it's just making them really nice and smooth. So by so what? So what? So you just run your needle yeah, underneath them, just to even like giving, them out. Almost like giving it a little bit of a brush. Yeah, yeah. Really. So to have those stitches really nice and smooth, Brilliant. you want to just make sure that they're not crossed over. Yeah. So yeah, you can just oh give, yeah, you don't give, give, them a give them a little brush. Yeah. And then by running your needle underneath all of them, that it works perfectly. Lovely. Then sit nice and nice and straight on the surface. So yes, you fill all one side. And then you go back and do the other side. So always go back to the centre. Right. And keep going out. So lots you have of quite a calm life, because I imagine this is very good for your mindfulness. I have two children, so it's not No, no, calm, no, I, I didn't mean as in everyday <laughs> life, like at breakfast time. But when mummy goes to work, have you got a room that you go to to do your embroidery? Um, yeah, I do. I do have a room. Or do you wait for them to go to bed? <laughs> I do my stitching in the evenings, just to be honest. I suppose when they were little, little, they'd have naps during the day, wouldn't yeah, they? So and you then you could stitch. just pick this up, couldn't you? It's not yeah. like if you're making a dress and you've got big pieces and oh, everything, yes. you just literally pick this up as it's, and when you need to. It's so portable. I mean, if I ever get the train and go out um, and see friends, I always take well, it you? on the train, always. And people always talk to you. They never talk yeah, to yeah, you yeah, yeah. if you're doing anything else. But if you're doing any oh, no, form uh, of craft... If you make wigs, I did wig make, used to do wig making on a train and everybody would talk to you then. But that was a bit weird because you looked like you had a dismembered head in your block on your table. But I'm also thinking yours are going to get to an age soon when they're going to go do gymnastics or yeah. they're going to do sports or they're going to do after school yeah. classes. And you're going to have an awful lot of sitting in a car park or if any of them do swimming, if you're a swimming teacher, yeah. do swimming yeah, galas. Does. And you know how boring they are because they have 20 races, but your child's only in one, one. of them. But you can't get up and leave, can you? You've got to See, stay. This this is perfect because you can take it with you and the boxes I've made so you can actually, you know, almost keep reseal it, all, it. Keep it in there yeah. and reseal it. Uh, obviously, you've got this amazing block that you're um, sewing on, but you could do this if you had this in the car. You don't need, you don't take this you with don't, you. No, do you? I don't know. I don't tend to take this no. with me. I haven't got to that level yet. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> but no. I, well, imagine that in your handbag <laughs> on a night out. <laughs> I think my friends would disown me. Yes. Um, no, I, I, you can do nearly everything without, just take, as long as you've got your hoop, it's fine. Yeah, so, so everything that fits in that box, basically. Yeah. yeah. So do you always holiday. do it with a hoop, then? I always do it with a hoop, because it's really nice to have the tension. Yeah. I mean, if you're using, like, an ADA, so if you're doing cross-stitch, I mean, maybe you don't always need that, but yeah. um, for something like a, like a cotton or a linen... And, al and also, yours you fit, it. it's not like you've got to move, because if you're doing a big project, you yeah. have to keep moving the hoop, don't you? Whereas once yours is in, it's on all there. of them, it's there, isn't it? It's not yeah. going anywhere. And they're all printed onto square bits of fabric. So if you don't want to frame it in a hoop and you want to frame it as a square, you can. Or use it in a quilt yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah, totally. Um, now, when you're doing it on the clothes, did you put that in a, in a hoop? I also put it in a hoop, yeah. But a bigger hoop than that? Yeah. So that one's using a smaller one because yeah. the design's a bit smaller. But for those designs, the jumper, um, I would have probably used um, a five or six inch hoop. OK, so which are available on our website if you want to get them separately. How big is that one? Then? This one is a four inch hoop. OK, oh, um, small. It is a bit small and I've wrapped fabric around it. So I can pop it up here. Yeah. So. Um, I've wrapped fabric around it. So thing. often if you have, um, there you go. Uh, if you're stitching on jersey um, and you've got, some hoops it can kind of almost leave a little bit of like a burn mark oh okay it can leave like Where a shiny yes, yeah, yeah shiny mark especially if you leave your hoop on the fabric yeah. for a long period yeah, of time yeah you might not do it all in one sitting yeah you? so i wrap fabric round and often a lot of my hoops when i'm stitching if i'm stitching a big design i would um on a cotton i would put uh like a bias binding on the inside oh, both of them on just on the inside inner but for anything I'm stitching clothing-wise, I have it on the outer. Oh, I don't oh, want, okay. I don't yes, want to leave a ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just helps with tension as well. But also, that, that if you're going to leave it on that, it looks pretty as a decoration it as does, well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, there's your satin stitch. I've done yeah. sort of... Your dense of satin stitch. My dense satin stitch. <laughs> Fill that in. 
Oh, uh, Wendy's message was all about knowing, like I was saying about when I was in France and when I was in Petra, she said she was on a school, school trip to Wales. She'd never been there before and she knew exactly what was around the corner. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Okay. Lovely. So now, that have you done two far aways or have you done a far I've away done, and a close? I've done one far away and I've done half of a close one. Okay. Now, you I'm see the lines that you've got coming up on your, on your drawing there, like little veins. Do you do those in a different colour? I do. I do those in a different colour after. Okay. I do that one. But if you cover... Oh, you so, do, as you, so do you have two needles on the go at the same time? How do no, you know where I they are do once you've done it? That one you can do from the pattern, so from the picture. Of course, yeah. After. So then yeah. you just do a little stitch up and then... And this one, you want it to sit over the top. You don't want to pull that down too hard because you don't want to, you want to be able to see it. It's very subtle, isn't it? Yeah. And it's got one or two, and then this one will have one or two. two. Lovely. So this one has satin stitch. And what satin stitch is that then that you've just done then? That's just a straight stitch. I've and that's using the, the two again, the two that threads again? That one's using one strand. Oh, just one strand. Yeah. Okay. So then what, is that the one that's got... Um, the French knots in the middle. It does. Shall I show you some French knots? Yeah. Have you got the right needles threaded? I yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, what, how many um, threads have you got this for This one's got three. Right. So the rule with French knots is if you want a bigger knot, you use more threads. Yeah. And if you want a smaller knot, you use less threads. Okay. But um, you don't do more twists of the needle? One then. wrap around the needle. Only one? Only one. I only do for one. Every, for every French knot that you do? Every French one. knot, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Because you want it to be nice and close down to the fabric. The more yeah. wraps you do, the more likely... Or the, oh, more okay. Like so if it knot. was one... Um, like that you really want to stand, like when Jane does her house and she has roses around the door. Yeah, you, you might. want it to stick out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a French knot, you bring your needle through to the surface. Yeah. And I'm right-handed, so I can show you both ways. Okay. Um, so I then point, take my thread yeah. out facing. Michael, can you see that? Please. West. Thank you. I put my needle in north of it, but facing west. Yeah. And I do one wrap around, and then the thread comes down south. Right. And you've got to have your needle up from the fabric around about half an inch. Right. Then your needle wants to go down into the fabric at exactly the same place as you've just come out. If you've got a knot at the back for the first one, being really careful not to stitch through yeah. your knot. Then the most important thing to do is to bring that knot down to the fabric. If your knot's down at the fabric here, it's not going to go anywhere. Right. Then take a little bit of tension, take the thread out to the west again and you can push your needle all the way through. And thread it all the way through. Okay. So it's sort of separate, splitting out. Um, I'm gonna move this thread out of the way. One second. Never leave loose threads at the back, because you get tangled. Oh, is that what's happened? Yeah. I was about to. Oh, so you'd left, so finish off your yellow before, before. you start doing this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I'm going to bring my needle through to the surface. Yeah. Thread comes out west. Needle in front. One wrap around. Yeah. And the thread comes down south. So you want to have a little bit of um, little loose. So it's not really really close down. It's really up and see people down here trying then yeah, to get yeah, any yeah, needle yeah. into the fabric. So needle then goes into the fabric, and at which point you can take your hands off. But you want to first, the most important thing is to put bring your knot down first, knot down to the fabric, then. A little bit of tension and you can push your needle all the way through. Brilliant. People asking about the easels. Yes, we've got them for sale. We didn't have these on their own last time, did we? I've got it in a four. Oh, I'll hold them up. We've got them in a four and a two. So four first. So it's four little easels. Most popular on pre-order. 12 95 So there you go. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, oh, what's that leaf? Is that a real leaf from the garden? No, but it was on my stand. Oh, okay. Are <laughs> oh, they plastic leaves then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 12 95 for four easels. Yeah. And then we've also got two easels on their own. That's the pack of four. Now the pack of two. Oh. Oh, picture won't change, so I'll just hold them up. 7 45 for two. These aren't just good for the, uh, for the embroidery, though. If you've got little plates or little saucers or anything you want to just display, these are cute little... Um, Easels just to hold things up. There you go, there's the two. At seven pounds and 45 pence. Now, we don't have yet this amazing table, top, hoop, holder. Right. I don't know what you'd call it. 
So anyway, uh, station, yeah. But at the, for the, at the moment, we've just got two we can offer you. I've got a table clamp one that clamps your table. Oop, that way. Tamps, clip. Now this one has... Now, this one won't fit these little things in because this has got like a 10-inch hoop or something, yeah. hasn't it? So this is if you... Oh, there it is. If you're doing bigger... Oh, dear, ten inch, that's got a 10-inch hoop in it. None of these will fit into that one, but this is just if you're doing bigger ones or doing your clothes and things like that. And then I've got one you can sit on. That's your seat frame. Again, it's got a 10-inch hoop, so no good for any of these little ones. Um, but you get the hoops with these anyway, so it's fine. But this is just if you're doing a bigger one. But you see the paddle underneath, you sit on that, so it doesn't go anywhere. Good for in the car, that one. Okay? Right, so... French knot. Oh, she's whizzing along now with her French knots. They're just really nice to do. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so uh, so we're moving on then from this one. Should we go into... Um, the, I want yeah. to know about the stitches, first of all, as well. I know you okay. finished them all, but if you could just tell us what stitches... I didn't finish the French knots in that one, but that's not a problem. We can no. leave it. What are those little y, y stitches, then? They're just some back stitches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me put it up here and I can show you. So we're going into the dan little dandelion -y one now. That's got... Actually, this one probably doesn't need to go in because we're not going to do any more stitching on it. OK. Um, but these are little back stitches. OK, this and let's just, let's just put it in put shop it in there the so that Michael this can is, see it. These, this is a stem stitch. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's got a couple of little French knots in the middle. I think each of them have got about five. Yeah. And then all the way around, it's just a little back stitch. But so back stitch really done nice in like a little... Like you draw seeds. Oh, is it a cross? Yeah. Are they crosses? No, just a little, you go a little line out, back stitch, and then a couple of little stitches oh, out. Okay. Um, quite effective. So they're quite, they? yeah, really effective, but they're also really good stitches for on clothing because they're quite sturdy. So if they're washed. Oh, which it, they're going to be if you're going yeah, to use so this one on clothing. Will, I think, it, yeah, so it looks, they look nice for a long okay. period of time. Certain stitches, like the satin stitch we did on here. Yeah. Um, they do look really effective, but after time of washing, it's far more likely to, to pill and bobble. Oh, yes, and yes, get, yes. And yes, get yes. Uh, uh, yeah, and also catch your finger in it. Yeah. Thing, yeah, so certain stitches like this, which are really, really good. So the stem stitch is really nice. It kind of creates a nice effect. Lovely. And the French knots with one, one wrap are really, really good. And how many, how many threads, how many, these, the, the French knots and these little back stitch, how many threads have it you got in there? It was two around for everything else, but three for the French knots, just to okay. kind of give it a bit more a elevation. A bit more depth, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you're going to show us how these stitching thingies work then? Yeah. So you take it out of your uh, hoop. Let me just reach over and get you some lukewarm water. So you take your hoop out. Pop that to one side. Well, she arrived with a plastic cup, first of all. And I said, well, I think we've got to dip it in, Kat. So, oh, <laughs> it's icy cold. Is it going to work in icy cold water? Yeah, you yeah. sure? Let's right, put it okay. to the test. Let's put that there. It's well. <laughs> Let's put it to the test. Well, we're going to see now, aren't we? Right, OK. So let me just show you. So that's the that's it stitched there, right? This is freezing cold water, and I don't know where this bowl's come from. But <laughs> I'll let you do the. Di oh, now hang on. We've got some blue roll to wipe hands with afterwards. I'll, I've got some fabric under here. You can wipe your hands on this. Yeah. No, no, yeah, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So right. This bit is almost a bit magical. So um, I love watching this. I could lose oh, myself okay, right. watching this Let's all the time. So out. you put it, just dip it in the water, and then take my hands away you just start seeing it bubbling away this you can see it's um, starting to lift away from the fabric now and start reducing in size yeah. oh yeah look 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 yeah it took a few minutes didn't it to go oh this water's a bit cold but then it's just how straight so what uh, uh, without giving any secrets away what is it is it it's just yes yeah, like a dissolving fabric so you could use now either a little paintbrush um or your finger if it is kind of looking a bit um tough it won't go yeah um, or you could run it under a tap as well um oh, it's not as much fun running it it's no no not in it yeah and it just all disappears all dissolves away and you're just left with your stitching how brilliant yeah i can see that yeah. there So on a dark fabric, when it's really, really hard to, yeah. um, you know, to, to transfer a pattern on, thank you, um, it's, um, it's perfect. That is and brilliant, then, yeah, isn't it? Can I take, take it, it out? out? Yeah, take it out and let, let it off a little bit. There. Oh, yeah, yeah, but don't worry. There we go. Now, can I scrunch it up to dry it, or do I need to dry it flat? I lay them flat, um, but yeah. Can you see, look, it's completely it's gone. gone. 
Yeah, where's the, where's the tumble dryer or the drying rack? I'll leave it in there for now. <laughs> right, uh, that was, oh yes, thank you. I'll just wipe the table as well. Uh, how brilliant is that? So let me just take you through. So now you've seen that working, you get it in the, in the little set of the dandelion. That's that one, isn't it? Dandelion embroidery upcycling for 20 pounds. You get three of those, but one hoop and the threads and everything like that. Or, because these are brand new today, you can get it in one of the four little packs that we've got. So I've got Tropical, first of all. There you go. Tropical, there you go. I like that one, Tropical. That one's your Tropical one there, nine pounds. They're really cute, aren't they? Then we've got Spring. No, it's called Spring. Nine pounds there. Then we've got butterflies, bees and daisies. Little cutie, isn't he? Chubby little bee. Is that a wasp? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, in my house over the last few days, there have been quite a few big, big bumblebees yeah. in, in the house. And just sitting in the windows and everything. So I've kind of put them in a cup and put them out and everything. Made sure they didn't need their um, honey in water and things or sugar in water and things. And then yesterday there were so many butterflies. They must just be waking up in the warmth. Yeah. They had a bit of a shock when the rain came down. Then we've got the floral vines, which is you get two. And they kind of, they're like the opposite of each other. One goes that way and one goes that way. For nine pounds. They're brilliant. They're such a brilliant idea, aren't they? Also, that's something, for, if you're doing it with a child, it's kind of going to be magical, isn't it? You know, oh, kind yeah, of, don't tell them what you're going to do. And you get them to you through and put it in the water and just watch it disappear. It's going to be like magic, isn't it? So that's brilliant. Right, have you got anything else you want? Oh, yes, on the um, pop-up, can you show us a few more stitches? Yeah, of course. Right. So the poppy, <clears throat> the background, the red, I've already... I've Design so it's already there. Yeah. Because what's quite nice about the poppy on the design is you just want to kind of add the little details, and I think that's what makes it look really nice and delicate. So I have two different needles threaded up. So this one on the left I've already done, so it's a back stitch all the way around the outside. Um, so you're just stitching with two strands all the way around. So I won't show you the back stitch because most people know a back stitch. Yeah, it's one yeah, of your yeah. first stitches. But to kind of give it a really nice rounded edge, I do um, what's called a whipped back stitch. So you bring your needle up to the base of one of your stitches, and then I put my needle underneath, yeah. going from right to left. You can go left to right, but I go right to left. So underneath that stitch and pull through. And, and what's this to, called? It's called a whipped back stitch. Oh, okay. So it's just a really nice So you've way. done all the back stitches first, yeah. and then you go back over the back stitches. Yeah. And it sort of gives that back stitch just a really nice rounded edge. If you see it at Christmas time, it's often what's used for like candy cane stripes. So oh, you yeah, have yeah, like yeah. a white base. Yeah. You're not doing your Christmas kits already, are you? I am working on some Christmas stuff. I have to say, they'll be working on Christmas stuff upstairs because we do Christmas in July here, so yeah. they'll be doing that soon. The, uh, the nutcrackers I have were really popular. So, so yes, yeah, so you just go underneath. So it, it creates a really nice rounded effect. Yeah. And also, if you have maybe haven't got your back stitches the same size, it's a lovely way of um, masking e any... Evening them out, yeah. yeah. Now, is the whole poppy done like that or only the outline? The outline is all done like that. And then the little tiny details, so the lines that you've seen I haven't filled in yet. Let me put my needle over here. I've used just one strand. Right. I've got one threaded up already. And I'm just going to bring my needle up. Have you already done, are those grey ones drawn in or have you done those? Those are drawn on. Oh, they, we haven't done those um, yet. No, I haven't done those. And these are just little straight stitches, but just in one strand to cover that up. So really nice, because the poppy's really nice Oh, they're delicate. quite long then, yeah, those Yeah, these are quite long. The poppy's really nice and delicate, so you want to kind of have really nice, delicate stitching. And because the background is already there, you don't need to do as much. Yeah. I don't think it would look as nice with a full satin stitch. I bet Ben and Michael don't have never done hand stitching before, and they don't know how you come up at the, in right, the right place. place. That's a really good question. Um, I use my other hand, right. so I always have like two hands on the go. So, which is why you need one a frame to hold it. With yeah. Each other. So 
if you're holding your hoop, certain things, it's um, you've got to have your hand in, a, in maybe different positions. Yeah. But I always use um, a finger like behind the, the yeah. hoop, and I almost guide my needle right. around that way. So I actually use that side of my hoop and run my needle up. up oh, okay, that's, that's what I'm actually doing at the back. Um, it's quite hard to show you that from yeah, no, no, no. upside down, yeah. but um, that's what I'm doing. And I think over time, your um, maybe muscle memory. You yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, definitely. I agree with that totally. Yeah. But if you um, if you were brand new to stitching, hand stitching, and you wanted to get your back stitches right, what you can do is you can mark on your um, on a nail. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like sort of a quite an old old. You know, it doesn't work if you've yeah. got like shiny nails. But yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can mark on with like you know a, a pen. Yeah. Um, you know the three four millimeters yeah. that you want to do. I used to um, bead bodices for like the Royal Ballet and the Festival Ballet and everything. And the first one, because you'd have to follow a pattern, you couldn't just yeah. go willy nilly. You had to follow pearl here, glittery one here, and it, it kind of you just get so used to having yeah, your hand having, there and where it comes through and you'd uh, the, the first ones you'd draw out then after about two you'd be like oh yeah yeah this is it yeah, yeah. after a while you you do so yeah so just little stitches over the top yeah. with some of this some of my kits you can stitch them in two different ways as well yeah so this one I think the cornflowers, are, you can stitch those in two different ways. So there's right. a way of making it a little bit harder, or there's a way of making it a little bit easier. You haven't got blue threaded. I don't have any blue threads, <laughs> you know. Okay, so what two different... Do you have to show so us? Just it's tell the, us what to It's do. this little bit down here, so you can add extra details on. Oh, or okay. Or choose not to. So there's option one on the instructions, which you can do it a little bit harder. Oh, oh so it's all, it's all in there. It's all in there. Everything's yeah. written down. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. All right, let's do recap. Oh, cracky, look at the time. I'm too busy enjoying this. Right, <laughs> recap, recap, recap then, please. Any particular order? Oh, hang on, I've lost you. Yes, I've, I, need, I need to tell me an order, but I can't hear anything. So I'll do the order. I'm going to start with Bumbly B, the big Bumbly B, which is this one here. So if I can remove you and then put you there. There we go. Big Bumbly B, so you get the easel. You get the hoop, you get the fabric, you get the instructions, you get the ribbon, you even get a needle threader, you get the felt to go on the back, you get everything like that to go on there. Thank you. Let's plug myself back in. Twenty-six ninety-nine. Beautiful. And this is the one that's got the drawing in it as well, yeah. which means if you want to do the flowers, you can do the flowers as well. Oh, no. The people who didn't sit in the water, you'll have to watch your back because I haven't got another one. I haven't got time to it, but I haven't got another one to drop in. It is amazing, though. Right, so that's Bumbly Bee. I'll leave you to tidy up Bumbly Bee. <laughs> then I'm going to move on to Ladybirds. Ladybirds with flowers. There you go. Oh. No, don't you move. I'll move. You stay where you are. There you go. I, I, I don't know which way to move it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> The camera's on a funny angle. So that's this one there, £30. You get the easel, the instructions, the thread, the needle, the needle thread, the felt, the already printed, I love this one, the already printed uh, cotton, all in a lovely gift box, £30. Gorgeous, I'll give you that one. And that one can go on there. Then I'm going on to the, oh, this is beautiful. I want to open this one. I've got the butterfly on lavender. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to leave it still. You can move the camera. <laughs> Why is the camera on a, a different angle? Right, so we've got all your threads in there. There's your drawn butterfly. That's what I wanted you to say. Right, there's your drawn butterfly. So you said do the colour... Oh, I can see it now. Do the colours first and then do the black afterwards. Yeah. And what stitches are on there then? That's a split stitch. All of it? All of the butterfly is split stitched. I, I think the body, oh, is, the body has got some satin stitch and then a few little stitches over the top. And the antennae, I think, are back stitch. OK. A little you stitch, not... You no, know, it's a back stitch. <laughs> and then you've got your um, lazy daisies here. And then have you got little, just little... Some, yeah, tiny little details, which are just straight stitches. There. They're beautiful. I love that one. Uh, that's, that's that one. Lovely. Then I'm going to move on to the wildflowers with the poppies. 
This is beautiful. This is beautiful, this one. I'll not touch it. You get the easel with all of these, remember. You do get the easel. Oh, hang on, that's yours. Okay. Uh, 30 pounds. Beautiful. Look, they can turn it around so it's the right way up for you. I think that's beautiful. Now. The two different colours. Have you, you haven't yeah. stitched then in that one there? No, you? I haven't stitched in Are it. Are you meant to have stitched in no. it? No. Oh, okay, so you like only it. do the yeah. outline and the little fronds yeah. and then the rest. But it's a different colour background to that one. Ever so slightly. This was the sample. So oh, so you won't get so, this yeah, one. Yeah, it's You'll ever so slightly one. darker. Yeah. But this one, because I couldn't decide between cream or white um, daisies, I have put threads in to do both. So you might decide you want to do all of the... All of the so I've got enough thread to do two white ones, but I've and also got enough thread to do two cream ones. Yeah. And which, if you did it again, or you could do one of each like you have, but which, what would you do? I think I'd go two white ones. Oh, would but you? Michael, I'd... what would you do? <laughs> oh, 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 no. He'd do alternate petals, cream, white, <laughs> cream, white, cream, white, but then he's just a obtuse. Controversial. <laughs> yeah, controversial, that's it's his middle name. He's the one who ra he ran off, you know, and got married to his fiancée. Didn't tell anybody at all. Really? Just went off the two of them. The, uh, the um, registrar and the, the gardener or something were his two, um, were his two uh, witnesses and everything. Wasn't well, so somebody who worked there, wasn't it, Michael? Oh, the photographer, that's right, the photographer. And there you go, there you go. Look, bumblebees and daisies, this one. Now, you've only given us purple daisies in this one, then. I have, yeah. I was more decisive there. Yeah, but it's not a daisy then, is it? It's, oh no, there's those, there's those um, like Michaelmas daisies, aren't they? They mm -hmm. can be purple, yeah. 27 pounds, again, you get everything in the kit that you need. The hoop, the felt, the thread, the cotton, the needle, the needle threader, the instructions, and a link to a video to see how to do the stitches as well as write, uh, the writing. And the easel, and the easel, thank you. I forgot about the easel. <laughs> Honestly, I won't, oh, I'll do that one last. Then we'll do the baby sunflower. Sorry, there you go. Baby sunflower there, £24. Cute, isn't it, that one? And you get to, I'm not going to enlist it, you get everything in there, absolutely everything in there for £24. Even the easel. <laughs> Same size easel as all the others. And then last but not very much not least of the kits, is this one here, which is your dandelion one, your upcycling dandelion one. So I love it. Now remember, you are getting three of the, of the um, what are they called, stick and stitch. I'm not going to rip yep. that box open. Stick and stitch in there as well. 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Then last but not least, I've got the four easels. Oh no, not last, I've got the stitchy things, right? Four easels. It's like a Ronnie, what's it sketch, isn't it? The four easels. £12.95. And the two easels. Oh, no, they're not yours. Right, uh, there's the two e. Uh, you've got a picture of four still. Oh, there you go. Two easels there. And then now, last but not least, these are just brilliant. These uh, stitch and. I want to call them stitch and tear. Stitch and embroider. Stitch and embroider. We've got the floral vines there. That one, you've got one going each way which are these here on this uh, pair of dungarees. There you go. Gorgeous. Then we've got the butterflies, bees and daisies. Then we've got the spring flowers. Oh. <laughs> What angle are we on? There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, no, we're not here again. We're going home. We're not coming to this table again. No, no, we're not coming to this, back to this table. And then here you go. Last one, tropical. I am not the boss in any shape or form. They're just saying they're all going home because I said they could. But we've got a whole lot other hour to do yet. If you set the cameras up, Michael, I'll do it on my own, it's fine. Yeah. There you go. Right. Brilliant. When are you back next then? I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. What event is next then? Um, next event is Farnham. So Thread in Farnham. Thread in Farnham. When's that? Can you remember the dates now? That is June the 8th. Oh, I ages away. Yeah, June the 8th. June the 8th, I think. <laughs> Three eight. days before Ben's 40th birthday. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Go, go and get your children. Go and get your husband. Have tea with 
Grandma right. and Pops. Yep. Granny and Pops. <laughs> and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Don't you go anywhere. Check out your baskets. Don't you go anywhere. I'm back at, uh, straight after this with sewing machines, but apparently someone's nicked one of them. I'll see you in four. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m., and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p, &P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. 
and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Now, sewing machines, you know, you know I'd normally have for the family, the 550, 560, 570. 550 has gone missing. We found out, we thought it had been stolen, hasn't been stolen. Uh, they took it for, was it sewing for pleasure? That was ages ago. And some, they've just dumped them in the garage somewhere. We can't find it in the garage. It would be there somewhere. But, so I'll have to show you the 550 on, on, from a picture rather than... Uh, I'll, well, what I want to do is I just wanted to explain to you that... The 550, 560 and 570 are basically the same basic machine, right? It's the same machine, look, same chassis, same motor, same design, same everything, right? But the, the, as you go up in number, the, 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 you, you get more. Now, don't put any graphics in to start with because I just want to explain because there's kind of something weird. Ben hasn't told me the prices they're actually going to go to, but there's something weird going on with the pricing at the moment. And it's good for you. It's really, really, really good for you. But if I remember rightly, there's something quite, not quite right between two of them. But anyway, let me explain to you. So the 550, first of all, which is the one I haven't got here with me, looks exactly like this, looks identical to this, apart from the fact it doesn't have three buttons here. It hasn't got the, the needle, uh, the thread cutter on it. And it only has one of these here because it has 50 stitches in it, right? So that's your basic, well, it's not even basic. It's not even an entry-level machine. It's a really, really good machine. But that's, that's the 550. Then you go to the 560, which is this one, and we add on to it, we add on to it the thread cutter, and you get an extra 50 stitches on this one, right? Then you go to the 570, which I would say, if you can do, get this one. This one has 200 stitches on it. It has an alphabet, or it has several alphabets on it. Uh, and it has all the memories and everything like that. Right now, I can show you the prices. I just wanted you to know what the three different things were, right? So, the 550, right? 550, this one that's not here. This is the beginner one, right? This, uh, this is the baby of the three. The price that Elna, because you know we are the home of Elna now, and you can't buy these anywhere else. We're the sole distributor in the UK of Elna, right? So Elna say, because they're still in charge, we, even though we're the sole distributor, we are, they're still in charge of everything. That's the price that they say we should charge for the 550, right? Which is five split pays of 133 pounds something, is it? Oh, it's on five-way split pay. It's not meant to be on five-way split pay. Anyway, but that's not the price. That is not the price that we charge you for this, right? So this is the beginner one, crash. Right, under £500. So look at the split pay now. Because it's five-way split pay, £97 a month. £97. So you pay £97 today. No interest charge. What? Well, £97.80, sorry. £97.80. Uh, right, OK. So, 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 right? You ready? So, um, 50 stitches. It's got everything you need on it, same motor, same everything, £489. Uh, now, interest, the split pay, we don't charge you any interest because we do it in-house. We don't send it out to a loan company. And we don't charge you for the use of using split pay. Right, let me, I'm going to do all the pricing to start with because you're going to be a bit shocked, right? So, remember, that's got 50 stitches and it, this is the 550. I haven't got it here. There's, there it is. Uh, 550, it just has the needle up, needle down, the da -da 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 lock stitch, reversed up, and 50, 50 uh, stitches, right? That's the 550 for £489. Now, I've got the 560, so we now go up to the mummy bear version. So that's baby bear. This is mummy bear. So this is the 560. Don't put the price in. Oh, yeah, you can put the main price in. This is how much Elna wants us to sell it for, right? Now, remember, you get 100 stitches on this. 
you get your needle, uh, uh, a thread cutter, sorry, and you get a membrane thread cutter on this one. They all have, they all have um, thre needle threads. I'll go through the whole machine in a minute for you, but look at the price of this one. Remember, this one's got a 50 more stitches. The last one was how much? 489. This one, you're upgrading. Watch. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. For £10 extra, you get 50 more stitches, you get the thread cutter. and So if you were coming in today to buy the 550, don't. Don't buy it. Buy it. For £10 more, you can get... You can get the 560. Now, this is the one that uh, Helen Newton's got. This is the one Helen Newton chose to buy, right? £419. We're still under 500 Well, it's £100 a month, isn't it, look? So that's, you know what I mean? It's incredible, isn't it? So you're upgrading to the next machine but you're only actually paying £10 more for the actual machine. Now, I think when upstairs realised, because they've just said, they, haven't given, they just said, oh, just, just do it, just go with it, just go with it, right? I don't think this deal, I think this was, excuse me, supposed to be a one-off deal. I really don't think we're supposed to be able to offer you that. £10 more to upgrade from the 550 to the 560. Hmm? I know. So four hundred and ninety-nine pounds, right now, uh, and I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go into this one, right? This is the five seventy A, and then I'll tell you about all the machines. So this one, you get two hundred stitches. You get all these extra buttons here, which I'll explain to you in a second, and you get alphabet. Okay, this. So so um, Elna want us to sell this one to you for £769. That's their recommended retail price. It's on five-way five -way split pay, obviously. Watch. Right, OK, so the first one was 489 The second one was 499 So if you're thinking spending £500, if you can afford another £50, you get so much more... So much more for your money, £549. It's what? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it's confused me. Right, split pay, this is 10980 and the 560 was 9980, wasn't it? On split pay. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? At, at these they don't make any sense. They do not make any sense whatsoever, these prices. Uh, so I would just literally, if you were going to come in for the 550, I'd bypass that. At, this, at these prices, it's a brilliant machine, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic machine. But for £10 more, you can jump from the 550 to the 560. And then for £50 more, you can jump right up to the top of the range. The Daddy, which has 200... Well, let me... T I'll take you through it all right now. So you've got 200 stitches down here. They're already built into the machine. All the machine, all of them are here. Now the 200 stitches do not include your alphabet. Your alphabet's on top of the 200 stitches, right? Okay, let me just switch it on. Here we go. So across the front here, you've got your da -da 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 lock stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down. You've got your uh, needle, uh, your thread cutter. You've got your reverse stitch. Now you can use all three of them without using a foot pedal. Start, stop. You've got your um, needle threader. You've got your thing that you pull down for your, for your buttonhole. I'll tell you about the buttonholes in a minute. So all of that comes in there. It's got a top loading here. You can drop the feed dog so you can do free motion. Then over here, over on this side, you can, these, this, is your, this is how you choose your stitches. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Stitch width, stitch length. Then these are all your shortcuts here. Shortcut to your straight stitch, shortcut to your zigzag. This is like an overlocking stitch. Obviously, it doesn't cut the, the fabric, but you can do an over... Instead of just doing a zigzag, you can overedge. This is your shortcut to your buttonholes. Then down here, you've got memory cutter. You've got a memory for when you put your alphabet in. And you've got a um, clear button to clear where you are. Now, your mode, you haven't got a mode button on either of the other two because you've got different modes on this machine. So what you need to do, like just for example, if we want to go to mode two, 
stitch number 37. What we do is we go mode two. Oh, hang on, hang on. There, two, there you go. Hang on, where's the green light? Is that, am I in mode two there, right? Mode two. What did I just say? What number did I just say? 37, did I say? Right, so you've chosen your stitch, right? It tells you that your foot pedal is not in. That would be over here. Uh, it tells you what foot to use. And it tells you what default stitching this goes to. So it's a seven wide by 0.4 long. Now, every single stitch is bespoke. So you can change this. You can go down. If you try and do something it won't, it can't do, listen. It just won't let you do it, right? So you can't make it wider than a seven, but you can make the width much narrower if you want to. Or you could make the uh, this one, you can make it close. Now look, see, there you go. You can make it bigger if you want to. Oh no, it'll only let you go to eight, look. So it, only, it, it tells you the parameters, but it does mean that every single one of those stitches is bespoke, right? So you've got that. Then when you want to go to your alphabet, now I don't know if we've got a slide with the alphabet on, for the, with the alphabet on or not, if I need the brochure. Hang on, let's have a look at some of the slides I've got for this then. Okay, so now this is all of the machines, is it? This is all of the machines, right? But as you can see in the brackets, you see, so underneath Sewing Street, says number of stitches there. It says 350 for the 570A, right? Then that's the only fact. Uh, then you've got an alphabet on the 570A. You've got your one-step buttonhole on your 570A. You've got your stitch combinations 50. Maximum stitch went seven. Maximum stitch width five. Variable needle positions 15. Then you see standard accessories. You get all of those with all of the machines. You get all of those with every single one of the machines. You get the standard foot, the satin stitch foot, the over edge foot, the zipper foot, the blind hem foot, the quarter inch foot, the automatic buttonhole with stabilizer plate, the bobbins, the seam rippers, all of that you get with it, right? Then if you go down the other side, you'll see that it's got a sewing space of 170 millimeters, got a free arm, uh, you've got the screen there, the horizontal full, uh, that's uh, uh, the loading, the bobbin from the top. You get a built-in needle threader, you get a feed dog so which you can drop down, you've got your white LED lights, you've got your thread tension control manual, you've got easy guided bobbin threader. Uh, all of that comes on all of the machines. Right? Until you get further down, you get the automatic thread cutter only on the 560 and the 570. And you get the thread cutter memory only on the 560 and the 570A. And then the memory key is only on the 570A, which is this one that's in at the moment. So it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant thing. So how you, do, how you, choose, your, um, how you choose your alphabet is like this. So you've got two different modes for your alphabet. Right? This is your mode A. So what you need to do is when, you, when you're doing a word, say you're doing Ben, right? What you do is you type in, you put in mode A, which is the third one down. You type in 11 memory, 14 memory, 23 memory, press to go and it will spell out Ben. That's how it works. You've got spaces. So if you wanted to put your surname in, you could do Ben. Then you could put in 89 memory and then his surname. Yeah, 16. I don't like that. Anyway, so there are all letters. But also, look, you've also got, as well as letters, you've also got your um, numbers, obviously, at the top there. But you've also got, look, uh, comma, inverted commas, full stop, colon, uh, exclamation mark, question mark, those, brackets, equals, all of those. Is there an anthesan? Yeah, there's an anthesan there. So you've got all of that in there. And then you've also got this one here as well, which um, you'll use if you're using a different language. FIFO, a joy and very easy to use. Instruction manual, very clear. Not too heavy to lift up, 6.6 .6 kilos. And if you do not like me, have a sewing room, says Diane in Warwickshire. Uh, fantastic machine. Oh, this is Margaret. This is Margaret from West Yorkshire. Oh, sent me a lovely Easter egg. Uh, fantastic machine. Glad to wait for this one to come back in stock. Margaret, that one. Uh, there'll be one from Kate as well in, in uh, Merseyside as well. Oh, beautiful machine. I've been using it every day, says Jackie in Somerset. Oh, we've got Debbie in Merseyside. No, Kate's a collect collector in Merseyside. Uh, it was well advertised on the channel. It was very well explained. Thank you, Debbie. Excellent product so far. Oh, so far, Corrine. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. 
£549. Pounds. It, it's a brilliant machine. If I was going to buy a, a, a new Elna, uh, uh, this is the one I'd go for, especially at that price. Especially at £549. Pounds. I'll, I'll just explain what the 560 is then. If I just show you the 560. I would bypass the 550 today because for £10 more than the 550, you can get the 560 now. Here you go. Exactly the same layout, except there's 100 stitches in here. This one's got exactly the same details as the 570, apart from the bottom couple on that green slide. Uh, hasn't got the memory key. Hasn't got the memory key, but it's got everything else. It's got the automatic thread cutter. Uh, so on here, because there's no alphabet, you don't get the alphabet on the 560, which is why for £50 to get the alphabet, I think is a... And 100 more stitches is fantastic if you can afford to go an extra £50 up to the 570A. But it's got all the shortcuts that that one's got. It's got all how to get to the stitch. You can move the needle. Um, and then this one, he's got a memory uh, thread cutter on there as well. Drop the feed dogs to do your free motion. You've got a top loader bobbin. You've got your um, ne needle threader on that one. And you've got, you get the buttonhole foot as well. The big buttonhole foot comes with it as well. Uh, for £499. I just think it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant buy. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. I know. Right, yo. So now, the machine, if you want, now, that's the 400. So they, that was 499 and 549. Oh, the 580. I've got a five. I've got. I'll, I'll just check. We've got them in stock. I just checked that we've got them in stock. Okay. So the five eighty is a kind of a hybrid because the five eighty is the body of the six eighty, but the insides of the five seventy. Uh, we're just making sure we've got some before I start telling you about it. Well, there's very little to tell you. Very little to tell you because it's this machine inside the casing of that machine. I'm just checking to see if we've got any in stock, or Ben's chucking it. Let me move on, let me move on. Okay, have, have we got a 580 cat? Is that it on the shelf over there? What's going on? Oh, some flirting going on in the corridor. Oh, it's Jimmy. Don't let your girlfriend know, Jimmy. Michael Wolf. Oh. Right, here you go. This is the 580. Now, we're, we're not where this one wasn't scheduled. Oh, I don't know. I've not played this one for ages. Oh, I've lost them. Have you lost them as well? Can't be my battery. Hang on, I'll switch them off. Oh, do you know what it is? In my tray there. Oh, I haven't brought my thread. I haven't brought my... Um, just pass me my... Um, on the second shelf, there's a can of air. Let's see if I can just try it. Sorry, keep looking at this at the moment. I don't know where my little thing's going. Let's see if I can do this. Mm. If you've got one, let me just see if that's worked. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a new earpiece, I think. I've got them. I've got them. I've got them. Just be quiet then. Cat, it's worked. Thank you. Right. Okay, we weren't supposed to be doing this, right? Well, I don't know, because I haven't done this one for ages. We're doing a deal on this one as well. Oh, 200 pounds off the price tag. It's just, now, this is the 580. So you've got, look at all the stitches you've got here. Loads and loads of stitches on this one. So you've got your um, utility stitches, your heirloom stitches, your satin stitches. You've got your alphabets. Uh, and everything like that. This one goes up to a seven millimeter stitch width. Um, and again, the way you choose your stitches is like this. So if we look at mode two, number 12. So we go to mode two, number 12. So this one, it's like, can you, oh, let me twist it around for you. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to do it so you can see this. There, there you go. So what you've got on here is you've got stitch 12, what floor you've, uh, what floor, what foot you've got on, the actual stitch detailing, how wide it is and how close it is. Uh, can you see that? It's a bit difficult to see, isn't it? The lights are kind of shining on it. There you go, there you go. Can you see it there? 
So you've got all the information you want on the screen. But then this time on here, you've got twin needling, you've got reversing, you've got uh, memory, you've got shortcuts to your buttonholes, everything like that. It's a really, really lovely machine. It's the next step up from the 570. Oh, there's a slide there with it with its table. So it gets the same table as the 680 has. Then look, look at the standard accessories there. So you get all of the feet, the bobbins, the spool holder, everything like that, extra and extension table, foot controller, and a semi-hard cover. You can drop the feed dogs to do, there you go. Designed with the aim to flawlessly support users, its robustness ensures remarkable efficiency in all situations. It will allow you to discover all your same talents in peace. And it's, who wrote this rubbish? And it's ideal for sewers looking for comfort and perfect work quality. It is equally suited for the beginner in sewing. 120 stitches, including seven buttonholes. Wide workspace to the right of the needle bar, which means throat space. Uh, Built-in superior needle threader. Easy and guided bobbin threader. E auto declutch and easy bobbin winder, automatic and programmable thread cutter, exclusive Elner accessory fr frontal storage, and extra. That's this here. So these are what they think. They're not there at the moment because Kat won't let them be out. As in, she, 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 yes, yeah, she wants them all in a bag and she gives them out to the designers they need them. But it literally sits forward like this, like that with your, your things in there. There's your uh, needle threader on this one. It's really good needle thread. And then you've got your bar to bring down for your, there you go, the bar to bring down for your um, buttonhole foot. So it's a fabulous machine and just upgraded, upgraded. So basically, if you don't want to go over the thousand pound mark, then this is your, this is the closest you're going to get to what I've got, the 680 plus. But obviously, 680 plus is over a thousand pounds. Oh, here you go, Kate in Merseyside. 578 is the price of brilliant. There you go. I paid 599 pounds from you two and a half years ago. I got five fat quarters with it. Right. But with today, today's price, a wonderful machine. Love it. So basically, she paid 599 got five fat free quarters. No, five free fat quarters. No, no. At the time, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. I, I'll tell you who's got this. Dawn's got this. You know, Dawn, she's got this one. She absolutely loves it. Absolutely loves this one. £789. £789. Can't you just kick your camera? She doesn't care. She's too, she ate her jam donut in secret today. So she didn't, didn't have a chocolate muffin today then? No. no. Oh, I... Okay, Ben thought he'd had a delivery from Greg's this morning, but it wasn't. It was Kat's pastry, which she buys the ham, beans, and what is it got in it? Bean sausage, bean, and cheese. Then checks the sausage out, and then she has a. a she had, so do you get the donut from them as well? She, wait till she's older; she'll suffer. Anyway, anyway, seven hundred eighty-one pounds. We weren't supposed to do that. Somebody just wanted to see it. It's lovely. Seven millimeter stitch width on this one. Anne wanted to see it. and you don't have to buy it. I so just wanted to see it, didn't you? Anne, were there any questions you wanted to ask about it? Oh, here you go. It's 580, a 7 millimetre or 9 millimetre. It's 7 millimetre. And, oh, it's the... Hang on, let me just have a look. I think, I think you'll find they're high shanks, aren't they? Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will double check. I think I think it's high, but we'll just double check. We'll just, just double check on it. Hi, Shank. I can't see the thing from there. There you go. Hi, Shank or low Shank means if you want to put your um, ruler ruler foot on it and things like that, you need to know whether it's high Shank or low Shank. But it's a seven millimeter. This you only go up to the nine millimeter on the six eighty on the 680. And you only get one, and you only get one needle plate on this one, I think, don't you? Yeah, you only get one needle plate with this one. 789 pounds. However, if you want to go to the same machine that I've got, the one that I own, uh, now I've ordered the furniture from a sewing room. So um, it'll all be set up again soon. Right, 
So now this, it looks identical to the 680, but there's so much more going on here. So much more going on. So you've got the front uh, compartment on this one. Uh, you've got your stitch to this, but this one goes to a nine millimeter stitch width. This one also comes with two needle plates. So if you, oh, so if you see up here, you've got your professional plate. You've got your, your, your um, which is that one there, your professional plate. Uh, which you can only do those stitches on. And the machine knows when you swap the plate. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. The machine knows when you swap the plate, so it won't let you do any of the other machines. But you have got nine millimeter stitch width on this one. Look at all the stitches you've got there. Now, this, now, this is not 1449. Okay. Okay. One, two, four, nine. That's the price we're supposed to sell it at. I went quiet because Ben said something that he's going to do and I don't think he should. Fine. Do you know what? I bought mine. I've got this and I bought it from Sewing Quarter, right? I paid more than this for mine. Yeah. Look at some slides while I just sit it. While I just sit here getting upset. 170 stitches, including 10 buttonholes. Uh, 170 stitches with 10 buttonholes, built-in superior needle thread, a large sewing space, maximum speed of 1,000 stitches per minute, free arm, automatic and programmable thread cutter, Fre pressure foot, no, we'll start again, presser foot pressure adjustment, easy and guided bobbin threader, uh, bobbin thread and up in thread sensors. Uh, you see, I read that out every time and I don't know what that means. Because I don't, I need to read my thing because I didn't know that I had a bobbin thread and upper thread sensor. Well, it should, a sensor means it tells you when it's running out. X wide table and 10 bobbins, right? There's a slide with everything you get with it there. There's the X wide table, the semi hard cover. Second needle plate look. And you've got your guide, you get a walking foot. You get a walking foot with it, you get all your free motion feet with it. Hmm? Yeah, go on, give us another slide. More info there, 10 kilos. Um, what else? Yeah, you can read all that, I don't need to read it all out, do I? <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine millimeter stitch width. So now if you look at this, right? Show that one then, Michael. Right, the stitch, the, these alphabet ones down at the bottom, right hand corner of your screen, they're nine millimeter stitch width those. <coughs> but all of your satin stitches, all your decorative stitches can all go to nine millimeters. Uh, here we go. I love my 680, which I got from Sewing Street in 2020. I even used it to repair my tent zip, no problem. So? Your tent zip, I know they're sturdy, aren't they? They're really sturdy. I'm looking at it again, because I'm just going to need to take some water. <coughs> Thank you. Um, wh what can I tell you about this? Because I've actually got this machine. It's so easy. This here is the same as the 580, the way you thread it, right? But it has, uh, not thread it, the way you, you, you will use it and everything like that. Uh, program it. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. I was going to show you how to change the needle plate. So you get two needle plates, right? This is your regular needle plate here. Right, this, this, this is your needle plate, Michael, here, this uh, silver thing here. I'll just tip it up like that for you to see. Right, now, normally, on a big machine like this, you have to get your screwdriver out and you have to unscrew the um, needle plate. However, on this machine, you see the button here? Oh, hang on, I'll do it from this side so you can, because what, I'm going to press the button, watch this bit here, right? Right? Pops out, you see. Uh, lift your foot up, slide it out, then you get your other one, and you slide your other one in. Oh, hang on, I'm doing it from the back, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Right, yeah, you slide your other one in, like, oh no, wrong way, John. Oh no, it's not. Slide the other one in, there you go. Oh no, I've done it the wrong way, haven't I? Sorry, I'm doing it from the back and I can't see it, I'm making it look more difficult than it is. Right, okay, slide this in. You can do it the right way around. Right, so you lift this up, you slide it in like this. 
No, I've got it upside down. Come on, John. Oh, what am I playing at? Right, hang on. So you slide it in like this. There you go, there you go. Slide it in like this. Oh, no, I've done it wrong way around again. I'm ever so sorry. I'm doing it all from the back front. I'm trying to make it sound really, really simple. Cat, which way am I getting it around, the wrong way around? I've done it a million times. That way. That way, and press on the target button. Why couldn't I get that to work? I've got this machine. Thank you, Cat. How many times have I done this? I'm going to have to take it out again now, though, because when the people come to use this, the wrong plate will be in. But it'll only let you... Right, let's make sure I get it the right way. John. Yeah, I'll put the other one in there. Take that one out. And put that one in. What hot with? There you go. There you go. Look, and then you press on the target button there and you push it in. Thanks, Kat. Thank you. She could say, you know, it's one of those things where you don't, it's going to, and you can't get it to work. Don't you be laughing. We've got Sizzix coming up after the break. There'll be a mistake now. Don't you worry. I'll, I'm going to sabotage your machine. Oh, you haven't even got an electric machine for me to sabotage. Lovely Sharon's in. Anyway, anyway, and then what you do is you keep this spare table in your gobbins box like that. So when you put everything away, it lives in that little box under there. So you can't lose it and you can put it back in properly. Oh, honestly, how rubbish am I? £1,149, a brilliant machine. I've got it. Now, the other thing I need to tell you about this machine is uh, it wasn't during lockdown, but it was still when we had to not stay distant, because people come into your house, but it was still during the COVID time sort of thing. And uh, Molly, who lives in my road, was doing her... What's it called? D-Tech? B-Tech? No. It was like the equivalent of designer technology. DT. DT. Is that called DT? What kind of O-level do you do? They, we didn't have this sort when I was at school. No, no, no. Well, it's a GCSE, but it was called design and technology. or It's one thing like that. And she, you could, they could choose something. They had, to, they had to get a client, see what the client wanted, and then make it for them. So she came to me and she said... I'm saying that you need a beanbag to sit on. And I went, have you seen me sit on a beanbag? Anyway, she said, you want a beanbag that you can sit on. It's got your remote control in it and everything like that. I said, that's fine. I saw the project that she'd written and she went, a neighbour of mine, John, aged 45, because she thought 45 was ancient, you know what I mean? I was like, I'm a lot older than that. The, basically, she had to make this bean bag. She was using her mum's sewing machine, which wasn't very good. So I said, come round to my house and use my sewing machine. So I put this out on the dining table, not this one, but mine, out on the dining room table. So I've just got to pop up, says, get some scissors. And she looked at me, oh, I can't use that. It's really, oh, it looks so complicated. My, this isn't like mum, her mum's was just a basic. Salad's was just a basic and everything. Went upstairs to get a pair of scissors. When I came down, she's happily sewing away. And I said, I thought you said it was too difficult. She went, it's really easy to use this one. Really now, Charlie, who doesn't do much so neither, who stayed in my house while I was on holiday, he uses this and he absolutely loves it. He keeps saying, When am I going to upgrade so that he can have my 680? Chance to be a fine thing. Anyway, 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 it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine for £1,149. Right, I've got to move over here now. Um, it's like trying to do something in the mirror, John Scott. Can't get your hand around. No, I couldn't. I couldn't, but you're not doing it in front of thousands of people, Christine. Anyway, oh, my knee's really seizing up today. This is a brand new machine that we launched just recently, right? This is the Elna 782. Now, this one is a beautiful machine. I'm not going to go too much into it because uh, what date did we launch? Oh, actually, first of all, let's do this, first of all. Yeah, you see, now I'm in a bit of a quandary about this one. 18th of February, it was Susie and Jane from Elna, right? So this is wrong because on that day, you hear me say, and this came from the management, Elna would like us to sell it for £3,799, yeah? It will always be available on our web at £3,599, but our introductory deal for today only was going to be £3,299. So when I saw, I was at home one day and I don't know who was on, right? And I saw them, I think it was Rebecca Reed, and I saw them and I was like, so I messaged Hayley going, oh, this one, this one, oh, oh, oh. and it, I'd, well, I'm not snitching, but like if I've stood here saying at this price is fair only, it's me, it's on my back, isn't it? Anyway, they've decided that Ben can do it today as well. So yes, it's still a considered purchase, but you know what it is about this machine? It's this here, right? It's this box here. Oh, I haven't got no, oh, I've got no head. 
Hang on, let's make sure I'm in the right place. Look, 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 look. Accurate stitch regulator. Now, what this is, is if you're doing free motion, right, a lot of people who hate doing free motion, let me just explain this, right? When you're doing free motion, you get your quilt thing and you go like this and then you drop your feed dogs. The, the speed you move your fabric, right, de determines the size of the stitch, right? With one of these on, the machine determines the size of the stitch. It doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go. If you get tired and you start, because if you're doing it normally and you're going, oh, I'm even, 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 then you get a bit tired and you go a bit slower, or you suddenly go a bit faster, like that your stitch length goes all over the place, with this accurate stitch regulator. So what it is, is this plugs into the back of your machine. Now, obviously, if you're gonna race or go at naught miles an hour, it's not gonna work, but this has got a camera in it here. So this knows when it goes off the edge of the fabric and it'll just stop, right? But what's brilliant is you have three, four feet that fit on it. You've got an open toe foot, You've got a ruler foot, so you can use it with your ruler. You've got an echo foot, and you've got your closed foot. So this, that's only part of it, but that's what... Now, I know some uh, manufacturers sell these separately, right? Uh, and they're really expensive. They're really expensive, right? But we include ours in the price. Now, I understand it's a considered purchase at £3,299, which is what, something like 650 60 pounds a month, something like that. Oh, 65980. Five, five, six, but I tell you, on that day, so many people came in and got them, and we've had so many comments. Now, on the machine itself here, you get you get this box, right? You get this box, right? And uh, inside the box are all of your feet and your walking feet and everything like that. You get so many. I'll show you the slide in a second. You get so many feet in it. You get three needle plates on this one. Three needle plates on this one. I'll show you why. Look, look at all these stitches, right? So what you've got is you've got your normal stitches, you've got your professional stitches, and you've got your straight stitches. So there are your, per you know, your perfectly straight stitches in there. So you get all of the stitches in there. I mean, I'm not doing any justice whatsoever. Let me switch it on. Um, here you go, it's all on the screen here. Oh, look, look, look. You can choose your, all your, let me twist it for you, there you go, so I twist it, there you go. So you choose your stitches, look, you see the stitches down here, but if you want to change the size of them, look, you can just turn the knobs, here. look, look, you see it changing. Can you see it changing on the screen? So you can see exactly what you're doing. Just, I mean, you can change the stitch and the width on here as well, but if, if you just want to change it as you're sewing along, but everything you need to know, look, is all in here. Oh, now I'm going to have to clear it. Go to your home. Okay. Look, yeah, there's, that's your home there. Now, you can go to your different... I can't see again from here. You can go to all of your different... Look, oh, hang on. Now, if you do something you're not supposed to do, <coughs> what does that say? Oh, so I've not got the right foot on to do that. Okay, so get rid of that one. Right, so I can go to this one here. Ah, uh, no, I mean that just... Oh, they've done the same thing again. Uh, these are the folders here, look. So this, these are your quilting. Look! Applique, cross-stitch and everything like that. Um, then you can go into here and then go back there because you've got your letters. Look at your alphabets. Loads and loads and loads of them in there. Then you've also got here, you've got your satin stitches in here. Look, and decorative stitches and everything. Look, look, look. And then again, if you change it here, you can see it changing on the screen. It's, I mean, there's more to it than this. It's just incredible. At 3,299 pounds, when you get it home, just sit and play with it for a while and just read the brochure, read the instructions manual and everything like that. 300, like, have a look at the slide that comes with this one. I mean, I'm not going to read all of those out, but there's so much. You've made that slide. All you've done is cut and paste. Anyway, so there's your slide. Accurate stitch regulator, the most important thing down there at the bottom on the right-hand side. Uh, loads and loads of time. Look at all the feet you get with it. 
You get also, you get two different walking feet with it. You get all sorts of straight, just so many. A circular pivot pin. You get your guide bars, your button shank plate, your cloth guide, your bobbins, your clothes. I mean, just so much going on there. I bet you any money you'll be playing with this for ages and ages and ages. Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right, I've got a few other bits and bobs to show you here. Right, so now, you shouldn't... Oh, now, will it, yes, it'll fit on this one. This is the big slip mat here. If you bought any of the machines at all, any of the machines at all, if you need to... They're very quiet, I have to say. When you watch the, uh, the day with... So, please, after we finish now, instead of watching Sizzix, go to the, go to the YouTube. What date was it? OK, we'll just have to quickly put the graphics back in to he's the date. Your heart, pff, if you're old. Uh, well, February the 18th, right? We had an hour and a half of Susie over there and me and Jane over here launching it. Did all sorts of things with it, right? But it's very, very quiet. But if you work at night time, or if you don't work, if you haven't got a sewing room and you work on your dining room table, and these is a must, because not only does it, it swallow any noise or anything like that or any vibrations, it's, it keeps your table nice and safe and clean and everything. Um, but you see, at, um, if you work at night time, this uh, absorbs some of the noise as well. Um, it cares for your work surface. Um, I, I, it's just a, a brilliant thing to, to put your machine on, basically. Fifteen ninety nine. It's what? Here. Oh. Anyway, that's your mat. That's your mat. Now, if you've got a smaller machine, like the 550, 560, 570, or you want to be, and you want to be on brand with your machine, there's your Elna mat. Do not buy this for the 580, 680, or anything above there, because it's not... Literally, the 580 and 680 literally just sit on the corner there, so they could just drop, drop off like that. So don't do that. Yeah. At fourteen ninety nine, but that's different. That's not count. That's kind of like quilted. Whereas this is like um, f like a doormat. Same purpose, different things, right? Then I've also got needles. A needle set here. Now these are. We should keep this cat because the amount of designers that come in go. Oh, if you've got this needle, you've got that needle. And it's like oh, good idea just to keep something like this here, isn't it? Or maybe that one. But anyway, so here you get stretch, embroidery, microtex, you've got quilting, you've got top stitch, you've got jeans, same as top stitch really, uh, leather, we've got universal, and we've got jersey. £32.51, you're saving £2.52. It's a funny old price, isn't it? That's two pounds and fifty-one pence. Oh, okay. Okay, right. That's what. That's wait. This is you're now saving you. Two, there you go. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Now you're saving you two pound fifty-two. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Well done, $29.99. Now, this box here, these are your Schmetz needles, quality without compromise, universal needles. They're all the same size. They're all size 70. Uh, size 70. There's 100 of them. They're all size 70. Hang on. The, the box. There you go. There's the box. Now, if you're going to get through a lot of needles, what well, Susie messaged in this morning, didn't you, saying every new product, every new project... New needle. Um, but we also say after every eight hours of stitching, you should change your needle, shouldn't you? Yeah, $39.99 for 100. You get 100 in there. There's only seven of these left. The first, when we launched these, they sold out on the day. Beautiful. Yeah, they, these are Smetch, though. They're not um, John James. Right, Joe. At $39.99. Now, I've also got a bobbin box. Now, it's... Ri oh, head in shot, sorry. Uh, now, it's always important...
to use the right, when I was training, you could use any bobbin in any, any machine or anything like that. Nowadays, if you've got a Juki machine, only use Juki um, bobbins. If you've got an Elna, which is also Janome, Elna and Janome are the same people. Oh, actually, it's, they're in Elna box anyway. Elna box anyway. But Elna and Janome only use Elna or Janome bobbins. Right, this box comes with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bobbins in. The reason they've got this little bit of rubber on here is you can just slip the thread underneath there and it means your threads don't go unrazzling. £19.99. £19.99. And Good that, isn't it? Right, now, <coughs> this morning we launched... Let me put these... The brand new designer block competition. Now, Christine, well, is the quilt still here? Or is it gone? Um, Christine, who wasn't watching at eight o'clock this morning, she won last year. She's won one of the winners last year. So let me show you last year's quilt, right? Thanks, Kurt. So it was pink and blue last year. <coughs> we had lots of people messaging this morning, like Jan was saying that the top right, top left hand one was hers. We had all sorts of people messaging in saying that, that these were there. So what happens is you buy this panel. It's blue this year, blue and white this year, or blue and cream this year. So you buy this panel, right? Then what you do is you make a block. It has to be 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. That's the size of the block that you need to send in. Do not wad it, do not quilt it, do not back it. Just send the, the patchwork piece in. It needs to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half so that when we sew them together, they're 12 inch squares, right? Now, uh, it can be anything. It can be appliqued, it can be traditional patchwork, it can be embroidered on. You can do whatever you want on it. Just don't back it and make sure it measures 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Out of the hundreds that we get, well, actually, from this morning alone, how many have gone this morning alone? Plus how many baskets? Okay, so almost 250 people, once you've all checked out, right, have got these already. So that could be 250 blocks, couldn't it, that, that arrive. Out of all the blocks we get, the team that do it will choose the 12, their 12 favourites, those, those 12 people will get £100 of credit added to their Sewing Street account. We can't return the other blocks, but what we do do is we put out a, a call to say, if you want some blocks to make a quilt for charity, we will send them to you for free. So like last year, Crazy Lorraine got some for her old folks home charity and things like that and made a quilt and they make them into a competition prize or anything. You can do whatever you want with them, but they're for a charity. There for a charity. Um, so, so, so basically, you need to get it into us by June the 14th. Needs to be, so you'll get sick of seeing these because these are going to be for sale every day until the end of May. Right? Now, please don't laugh when you see the address. It's made, they've made the same mistake as they made last, week, last year. It's not a unit. It's a, it's, it is a unit. It's not an untit just so you know, and it's not white fabric, it's actually creamy um, OT fabric. But you can make whatever you want. So have a look, oh, Christine's watching, she'll wanna see hers. So this is Christine's from last year. And what happens is, is I'll be unveiling the winning quilt, the winning 12, on the first day at Festival of Quilts. So there's Christine's. Look at that one, that's EPP and everything, look. Right, so that's that, that's that, that's that for 5 99 The other thing that I need to tell you about very, very quickly is Amber Makes launched their new project today. We sold out. We had to get Ian to find more, right? Now, he did. He did. Right, I haven't got the panels here, so these are the finished thing. What you get is you get the instructions and the panel. Now, this sold out completely at 9 o'clock. Right, hundreds of them. Hundreds of them went at nine o'clock. Ian got us another 75, and there's five left. And any in baskets? 26 in baskets. Tw Christine's bought five panels this year. You can enter as often as you like, by the way. You can enter as often as you like. So that's your Portuguese tiles. That one's going to sell out again. And then this one's your Shiburu. We then got another 75 of these as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, graphics will come in. There you go. 
£22.99. Oh, Levi's, he's had his hair done and everything. I think he's only just arrived there. He's still got his coat on with his coat, you know, bag. Anyway, beautiful, £22.99. Shall we look at tomorrow's menu? It's me, it's me again tomorrow. Oh, look, extra wide backings, how lovely. Eight o'clock, extra wide backings at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, we've got the Sussex Seamstress Rodmer. Now, there's been a bit of a mix up. Rebecca was told she wasn't in till Friday. When I put my thing on Facebook, you know, every week I go, oh, do you know what? This is who I'm on with this week. She messaged me going, oh, you got it wrong. I'm not until Friday. And I said, not on the master schedule. Not. Anyway, she's worked all Easter weekend and today to get them ready. So she'll be here tomorrow. Sussex Seamstress, Rod Mel Pinnafore with Becca Harrison. Uh, 10 o'clock, dressmaking tools. 11 o'clock, Sussex Seamstress. Now, Sussex Seamstress dresses. That tells you a lot, doesn't it? We're doing the Hove dress, I believe, but we've got lots of patterns for you. And then, oh, now I've got Yarn Lane tomorrow. Bo Peep Baby Range with Sarah Hatton. She's from the West Yorkshire Spinners. They haven't written that on there. West Yorkshire Spinners. Anyway, gorgeous day tomorrow. I was always lovely to see Rebecca Harrison, even though she'll be shattered. Um, so don't forget to check out on everything from today. Uh, well done if you got any of your machines, because a lot of them went after me being rubbish at it today. Uh, I'm going home because I've got another personal training session today. I didn't realise they were in upstairs. They don't work, work Tuesdays normally, do they? Hayley's not in. She's on holiday, so I don't need to go upstairs. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. So they've got Sizzix. Oh, you come with wet hair this morning. Yeah, she's left it. She's washed it and left it. Wash and go, like they say. And she's got a little... Um, what are you eating? She can't be eating. What are you eating? Uh? Harry Bows before she goes live on air. And she's got a Vimto and she, oh, a lot of E-numbers in your diet today. <laughs> Anyway, it's Sizzix now, coming up straight after the break. Lovely Levi's here and Jimmy. Anyway, I'm going now. See you tomorrow.